Good morning, afternoon, evening, or otherwise, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Shadowbringers. How goes it? How do you do, chat? Thank you, Zepkit, for the host. As well as Ready, Set, Roll D&D for the 14 months. And Decent Off as well for the Twitch Prime subscription. Sorry, I was, I was busy eating my sandwich. I made myself a sandwich for lunch. Just finished MSQ last night. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Will you cry today? I don't know. Have you been playing Halo Infinite's beta so far? Yes! I have many thoughts. Firstly, uh, the armor system, the armor customization system, is going to be an opinion you probably won't hear, but um, I feel it is a step back. Now, the, here, overall thoughts. The game itself, super duper fun. Loads of fun. Love them going back to form. Love that every weapon is has its own role. There's no redundancy. Uh, the sandbox is great. Some minor gripes like the gravity hammer not being able to manipulate gravity anymore and, you know, some, some minor things. But overall, the game itself, fantastic. Lacking content. Uh, also, progression system is oof. Oh boy, is it slow. Um, yeah, they need, to, they need to work on it. Uh, I would like performance, uh, performance affected EXP. If I do well in a match, I, I would like to be rewarded more XP for doing well, because otherwise there's no incentive to perform well. Um, they took the gravity out of the gravity hammer. Oh yeah, they gave it to a piece of equipment called the repulsor instead, which I think the grab, like, get rid of the repulsor, just give it to the gravity hammer, you know? Um, secondly, uh, the lack of being able to pick a game mode is annoying. Uh, there's only quick play and big team battle. I can't just select Slayer and just play Slayer all I, you know. I, I hope that they put in an option to just select a playlist like you could before. Rep uh, repulsor jumping is fun, though. You could do that with the gravity hammer, though. You could do that. <laughs> Halo 3 and, and Reach, you could do that with the gravity hammer. I don't know why they had to take it out to give it to the Repulsor. Just combine them. Uh, but like, I would like to pick when I'm f when I feel like playing Capture the Flag and just like pick Capture the Flag whenever I I, I want, and not just be like, oh, I feel like Capture the Flag. Oh, too bad you're playing Oddball, or vice versa. Oh, I feel feel like playing Oddball. Oh, too late. You're playing uh, too too bad. You're playing King of the Hill. You know, I would like to select that. Uh, secondly, I don't like the armor customization system. The armor designs look fantastic. I love it. It is just like super Halo Reach, and and I love that. But I feel as though I it's a step back that you can't change your chest armor or your arms or your legs. Now people will say, oh, you can. There's a chest option right there. But it's back to the Halo Reach and Halo Three way in that. It's not changing the chest piece, it's putting something on top of the chest piece, and I feel that is a step back. Um, I would like the option for both. Also, I don't like the armor core system, where you have to, instead of selecting, like, putting on the Mark 5B or the ODST on my new Mark 7, I have to select the Reach core and to, in order to have that. So I can't have the Mark 7 chest piece with the Reach helmet. Like, I, I wish I was able to mix and match not only those pieces, but also the individual, like, arms and leg pieces as well. I feel it is a big step back, and I feel too many people are caught up in, oh, it's like Reach, therefore it's good. It's like, no, 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 no. 4 was an evolution of Reach. Ignore the design of 4. 4's Four system of customization, of being able to change the entire chest piece and the arm piece, I think is superior to Halo Reach and Halo 3. Anyway, that is my opinions. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, last time on The Shadowbringers, uh, we had defeated the Light Warden of Lakeland and brought Knight back to 
the first part of the first. A small portion of the first. Uh, and, um... And now we're going to learn about this Minfilia, that apparently there have been generations of Minfilias in the first. And, uh... Oh yeah, color palette. I hate, I hate the coding system. Just let me pick primary, secondary. Just, just let me pick that. Anyway, off, off of Halo. Uh, yeah, Yulmore did not like us, uh, killing the Light Warden. And, uh, oh man, now I just realized I forgot to make an overlay for Ranjit. Oh, I knew I forgot something. Damn it. Next time, next time. But, uh, Yulmore didn't like it. Ranjit showed up, and we were like, oh, sheet, Ranjit. And, uh, so now we're gonna learn about the Menphilias, and we're going to go find more Light Wardens to kill. Morin, the good boy, the goodest boy, tell us about Minfilias, please, because you are the good boy who is excited to share stuff with us. Yes, if you're after books pertaining to the Warriors of Darkness, I'm afraid uh, most are out on loan at present. They're experiencing quite a surge in popularity. Oh, you wish to learn about the Oracle of Light? Then it would be my pleasure to assist. After I have finished off some uh, few outstanding tasks, that is, while I attend to them, perhaps you could fetch me a book. The, uh, the Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light, it's called. Though it's intended for younger readers, it provides an excellent summary of the subject matter, and the artwork is quite lovely besides. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to anyone in, uh, with an interest in learning about Menphilia. But you must see for yourself. The book should be located on the level below. Uh, I love picture books. Should, I say. For while there is a place for everything here, not everything is always in its place. Despite my best efforts, in short, if the books are not where it should be, it will most certainly be somewhere it shouldn't. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> Alright. Let us find... Oh, hey, Efren! Oh, you're a bunny again. Hello. What made you change? <laughs> Getting ready for Bunny Boy and Endwalker? Yes, very nice. Very, very nice. All right, let me go find that book. Hello, Zeke. Hmm, where is it? Where is it? Up oh, over here. 100%? Yeah, Efren's getting ready for Bunny Boy. They're gonna become a Bunny Boy, uh... Hey, Alphano, how goes the search? Not as, he, as yet. Reading up, Danny? Not here to be here. Do you know where? These days, any and, uh, any and every tome with even a passing mention of the Warrior of Darkness has been checked out. Why, I can't even remember the last time the Cabinet of Curiosity has seen so many guests. <laughs> nice. I'm making the library have business. This tome tells of an advanced civilization somewhere out in the cosmos creating a powerful weapon, one capable even of traveling between stars. What an imaginative work of fiction. Hmm. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I think I know what they're talking about, but no spoilers. Also, our guest might be ready. I have a special guest today. Uh, the illustrated tale of the Oracle of Light. Hey, nice. All right, you guys ready for the special guest? I have a very special guest with me today. Hello. 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 Hello there. Hello. Well, I'm a special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi. Uh, my name is Larry. Uh -huh. It's a ple pleasure to meet you. The a pleasure to meet you, too. This is our first time ever just talking with each other. Actually, yeah. <laughs> like, we, we... Oh, that's weird. We leave comments and talk on Twitter all the time. It's, it's nice to finally chat with you, man. Yeah. Hi. 
Yeah. This is so cool. If you guys Hello. don't know, Larry, also known as Larry Zor, uh, is one of the premier Final Fantasy XIV content creators. And I'm not oh. exactly, it's not just me flattering either. Like people, like you are the person <laughs> I think of when I think 14, one of 14's biggest content creators. And I have oh. you to thank. Firstly, I let me nerd out for a second, you guys. Uh, okay, okay. I have you, to th <laughs> you, you all have this man to thank for the crap guides. This guy <laughs> made the basically series, i.e. basically uh -huh. White Mage, basically whatever, on 14. Yeah. And I remember being in college when I watched those, and they inspired me to make the crap guides to Monster Hunter. You were in college? I was. Aww. I was, yes. Did you quit college? No, I actually completed it. I have a degree in really? design. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. Well, congrats on that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you for being fucking such a fucking good inspiration to me. <laughs> and like, not only with your content, but you're also just a cool guy. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting this as soon as I hop in to have feel good feels. <laughs> yes, take take all the ego stroking. Uh, yes, everyone, this is this you. is Larry, and he's gonna be joining us for as long as he is able, because he's <laughs> a man with things that he has to do. Yes, yes, and, I am here mm -hmm. in Shadowbringers. Um, would you like to, uh, to send me a friend request? Yeah, absolutely. And then promptly remove okay. it once, uh, uh, DC travel becomes a thing. Yes. Uh, actually, yeah. Man, it, it would have actually been out by now, huh? At some have, point. Yeah, but COVID yeah, and all originally. That stuff. What's your character's okay. name? Uh, first name is Tataru. Uh -huh. Last name is Norded. <laughs> all right. All right. That's me. Tataru Norden. Yes. Implying Tataru is not the one who does the Nording. <laughs> oh. There we go. You are. I and see you are also quibbles. a Dark Knight. Oh shit. We fucked up, huh? What? How are we, we can't party then? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We can, we can just like play multiple. Listen, I, I did Xenos synced in uh, Alamigo uh -huh. with four tanks. Oh, okay, we're I fine we'll then. we will be fine. We're good. We should be fine. We'll just have to pre-make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay, and good. we will have a second guest, although they will not be joining the VC since they are camera shy. Uh, okay. Some point, once they get back to me. Where are you? I'm going to head over to where you... Oh, I see oh, where here. you are. I can share my screen on Discord. Oh, yes. And if that there are any characters be... that you want to voice as well, I don't know how much how, how much you enjoy voicing characters, but if you want to call dibs on uh, anybody, by all means. Dibs on somebody. Mm, uh, Urianje. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Urianje it is. <laughs> I'll take I'll take hard mode. Thank you. Nice, awesome. Have you found the book? Yes, it's picture book too, so it's great for my dumb smooth brain. Intended for younger readers, this tome features uh, winsome illustrations, tells the beloved tale of the Oracle of Life. Oh, this part. Ah, yes. Yep, this is the one. I hope it wasn't too difficult to track down. I'm happy to say I've finished all my pressing tasks. If you want to call your friends over, we can begin learning at once. I like learning. Oh yeah, shared screen like this is a good idea. Actually, the stream is pretty close, but hmm. it's a couple seconds behind. Mm -hmm. Without further ado then. It began a hundred years ago when the flood of light threatened to swallow Norvrind. Just as all seemed lost, a savior appeared who halted the all-consuming radiance, a maiden with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear sapphire. Naught was known about her save that her name was Minfilia, and delivering the realm, she came to be revered as the Oracle of Light. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace, and fifteen years later her name would unexpectedly reappear in the annals of history. The way Morin hugs his book, yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> Ooh. When Sin Eaters laid ruin to the kingdom of Vobert, a young girl was discovered whom was an immune to the creature's blighted touch. This is meant for children? Excuse me? I, I don't remember that artwork at all. This whatsoever. looks horrific. I don't remember that. Oh. <laughs> what the f- 
one with hair spun of gold and eyes of clear sapphire, she was hailed as the oracle reborn and came to likewise be called Menphilia. Enlisted in the Yulmoran army, this Menphilia fought and vanquished countless sin eaters. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alas, like so many other soldiers, she eventually met her end in battle. You can see with the horrific blood splatter in this illustration. Why don't I remember this? Did yeah, I block her, it out? With her dying breath, she whispered unto her grieving comrades, Minfilia will return. <laughs> and true to her words, some years later, another young girl was discovered who possessed the self-same eyes and that self-same hair and those self-same powers. She too took the name Minfilia. She too fought Sin Eaters as a soldier of Yulmore, and she too fell in battle. Many more were to follow in her footsteps, and so the cycle continues to this day. And that concludes the tale. That's it. There, that's all there is to know. Yep. By their valor and sacrifice, these women have saved Norvrand on numerous occasions. Can you call them women, though? I mean, with how often <laughs> they would show up and die, you would think they couldn't be more than, like before like young adults right yeah Jeez. yeah definitely before yeah like 14 15 years old a lot that's a lot of dead children oh and were it not for them we might never have learned of the war uh light ones in their nature they sound like formidable warriors some perhaps the truth is rather less simple though the oracle is reborn with certain common traits she does not inherit the memories or the knowledge of her previous incarnations all of the Menphilias thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the ways of war and ignorant of the power they harbored. While some embraced their fate and devoted themselves to training, others did not, but all were made to, to face the Sin Eaters, and all died to keep our hopes alive. What can you tell us about the current Menphilia? She was found by the Yulmoran army some ten years ago and taken into their care. Or rather, their custody. She was a prisoner in all but name. For by that time, under Lord Vothery's rule, Yulmor had already abandoned resistance in favor of decadence. Minfilia was an uncomfortable reminder of the war they no longer wished to fight, a potential threat to the peace, and so they kept her under lock and key. There is no war in Yulmor. For a long while, we heard nothing more of her. She couldn't even uh, be, we couldn't even be certain she was alive, save that it was in Yulmorin's best interest for her to remain under their control. But then, three years ago, a gallant soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like a hero from the tales. Indeed, well, I believe we now have a good grasp of Minfilia's tale. Thank you for your time, Morin. Might I trouble you for a word, Victor? Outside. Oh no, am I in trouble? Yeah, yep. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Darn. Oh. Excuse me, Graha. Oh yeah, I have a I have a Graha that's been following me named Graha Tua ever since I did the Crystal Tower. Oh, hi Graha Tua. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're actually nice. Tataru. Wait a minute. I'm here. Oh fuck. It's the most I'm powerful Norded. scion. Tataru with a big, big ass sword. <laughs> Jesus. Oh Dark God. <laughs> well, don't tell you. Don't tell her about your financial troubles. <laughs> I have a million gil. I'm rich. Oh my God. This character came with it. Oh, that hello. I bought. Somebody want to trade me something? Top. Somebody just tried to trade me a, a coffee biscuit. I think <laughs> those are worth a lot of money. Oh yeah. So. That's right. Not for long, though. Yeah, not for long. Thank you. Uh, I'll be right back. I, I I made ramen. Oh, go get your ramen. I gotta go, go grab eat, my ramen. Eat good. <laughs> Even yellow nor eyes. Yeah, it's Tataru Norded. <laughs> she got Norded, you guys. <laughs> the, the goddess of capitalism is here. This seems a suitable place for a chat. We 
too. I like Larry. He's cool. <clears throat> As you will have likely uh, surmised, the gallant soul who rescued Minfilia was none other than our own dear Thancred. They have since been wandering the land together, never remaining in one place for long, which is why we have not yet had a chance to meet them. We know that Minfilia journeyed here as Heidelin's emissary to halt the, the Flood of Light. It could only be her that the people of the First witnessed a hundred years ago, the original Oracle of Light. I'm back. Hello, welcome back. We're about to go meet Thancred, I guess. Oh! But while there are plainly some connections between the women, the woman we knew and her namesake, the fact that these girls do not share the same memories must surely mean they are not the same person. Thancred has to understand that. I have no doubt that he understands. The question is how he feels. Regardless, the Thancred we know would not forsake his charge. If she has been captured, we may be certain he will not stand idly by. Hmm, there you go again, talking about your roundabout ways. If you think we can rescue Minfilia, just spit it out. It just so happens I agree with you. It's quite clear that this Minfilia possesses Hydaelyn's blessing. And it wouldn't hurt to have a second individual on our side. Right, Victor? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> One's generally, generally been, been enough. enough. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. We don't need another. <laughs> I see you've made up your minds. Oh. oh, Exarch, what brings you here? I wonder who he is. <laughs> a report hmm. and a proposal. Just some guy, apparently, who just Dude. pulled the crystal tower out of thin air, apparently. <laughs> First, the report. Our scouts have confirmed that the Ulmorans, uh, the Ulmoran force at uh, Laxon Loft do indeed have Minfilia in their custody. For the present, they are holding her there, but we can be certain that they will move her to Ulmor ere long. Should that happen, we may be forced to give up, uh, give her up as lost. So, if we mean to act, we should do so quickly. Which brings me to my proposal. I ask that you entrust this undertaking to us, the people of the Crystaria. Are you sure? Oh, uh, I'm not very trustworthy. <laughs> oh no, of course not. This guy has <laughs> pulled our family in the middle of a war, not told us what his name is, said that he yeah, just, he so just happened to find up. the crystal tower. Yeah, he just kept messing up. He's like, I'll try again. Yeah. I'll oh, oh, got somebody wrong? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, big deal. Oh, they're probably going to die. Yeah, I'll uh, try again. <laughs> You are doubtless eager to attempt Minfilia's rescue, and with your combined strength, you may well succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. I like his English voice. Mm -hmm. So handsome. It was not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. You listen to Japanese, Unlike right? You, we cannot contend with the light. Yeah, moment. like a but filthy so weeb. As hope burns in our hearts, we will fight on regardless. This I will prove to you. No, it means you get to learn uh, Japanese, like phrases such right. as daijobu. And, uh, yes. and... Tatakawa. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. He called there us something friends. I would ask you all. As many of you are aware, I received an emissary from Yulmor a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the general condemned the slaying of the Light Warden and warned me in no uncertain terms that should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. Let none be mistaken. 
We would be hard-pressed indeed to resist the might of Yulmor. Some would even call it suicide. And yet my heart cries out to fight. Better that than relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. The Exarch's breast. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to risk everything we have accomplished thus far. Hey man, flat chest is justice. No judgment. Justice. <laughs> Clearly, this is not a decision to be made lightly, <clears throat> nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? My lord, you already know our minds. It brought tears to our eyes to witness the knight's return. The whole of Norvrat deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Yulmor's influence is far-reaching. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. The flow of goods will dry up, and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do... We will. Hell yeah. Aye, we can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? We have always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Not just to endure, but to thrive. It really is impressive what they've built out of the foundations of the Crystal yeah. Tower. This place is massive. It's yeah. freaking crazy. When all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost. But even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on, that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those you moron bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Well, no one cares about you either, Kassard. <laughs> it appears we have a consensus. To to <laughs> Let it be known that the Yulmoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters, and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. So... I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, and let that be our answer to Yulmor's ultimatum. Yeah, let's kill him. Wait, yeah, yeah. we're not killing him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kill the Oracle. <laughs> In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. <laughs> We'll fight. Okay, how should we fight? Oh shit! I didn't think if we would have to plan. If you to denounce us as villains, <laughs> then we shall embrace our villainy. Will you do so as well? Uh, have have that guy do it. <sighs> the the one with the big sword. Have him do it. We will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. I love that line. Like, if we are to be considered villains, then let's be villains. Yeah, that's super cool. I love that kind of shit. My lord. Our proposal is as follows. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. Not all will succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. Very good. See to your preparations. Yeah, Grandma's gonna go beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Man, 
not going to get supper for several evenings. And what exciting crimes would you have us commit? Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at indolence. She could beat me up. <laughs> if excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. God, the Crystarium Royal Guard is just filled with angry women. Yeah, and I'm all for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna have one, our, our second guest, who will not be joining us in VC. Uh, I'll, I'll tell chat, yeah. So, chat, if you haven't seen, I made a little bit of a collaboration with Design Doc. And Dan from <laughs> Design Doc is going to be joining us uh, just in the party. Let's see. I wonder if, I wonder if he's in, Hi, the Dan. in the chat right now. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Uh, I wanted to ask you, Joe, uh, while we're in cutscenes and stuff, do we... Um, do you have a rule for like, do you want to keep talking to minimum like while they're talking? Like, oh, you if you have something to say, by all means, say it. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about gotcha. it. I trust okay. your judgment. Just go. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Why else have I had you on the show if not to uh, interrupt blah, 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 blah. all the and break the tension? Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. I, I wanted to make sure before I just did it. Yeah, no worries. I trust your judgment, like okay. I said. So yeah, this is cool. Dan. This is Dan from Design Doc. I was part of uh, an episode of Good Design, Bad Design, and I feel I, I'll I'll fucking say it. I'll I'll sell myself out. And we were supposed to do a collaboration, and I was supposed to make a video about character creators, just an end to the CCC series, because like. I don't know, I, I find myself saying a lot of the same thing in every character creator critique. So I'm just mm. gonna make like one master video of like, here's what I consider is good in character creators, here's what I consider bad, and then people can just use that. But I got busy and uh -oh. Necrohunt started and I started doing this, so. Sorry, Dan, thank you for being patient. I cleared my schedule for December. I'll work on that shit. <laughs> but thank you, Dan. Yes, you guys should watch. I'm gonna link it right now, actually. It's a, Beat I him love good shape, design, man. bad design. I talk about diegetic UI, uh, UI that's like in universe and stuff that the characters acknowledge or can be interacted with. Cool. Yeah, that's a good way to do it if you find yourself like just finding the same, saying the same things in all of them. Yeah. And just like all wrap it up, like, hey, yeah. This yeah, is, and then this if is people what are I curious, like. they can just use that and apply it. Yeah. So you will be joining the guard, but however highly the Exarch thinks of you, you will receive no special treatment from me. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. You're good at voices, Joe. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're real good at voices and talking. <laughs> Where is your salute, soldier? Uh, yes. That's twin adder salute, I think. Better. More spirited than the Exarch's feeble attempt, certainly. <laughs> old man. Uh, old young-looking grandpa. Now, first things first. You'll need uniforms. Go to the crystalline mean and report to Catalyst. She will see your measurements and, and fit it. Oh god, is it gonna be like Tataru all over again? Jeez. <laughs> oh, how did ooh, uh, how did she know, by the way, about making that adventurer's outfit? Uh, you know, it's look, it, that adventurer's outfit is pretty messed up looking. And um, she called it, no, she called it the traveler's outfit? Oh, the I one forget. that's all dark and edgy? Yeah. Yeah. How did she know? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess she That's wanted rough. to. She wanted to try something new. I guess, like, because the first one was all very business and nice. It was. It was this one. Yeah, exactly. Just like yes. all kind of businessy mm -hmm. and pleasant and kind of something Charlian esque. And I guess yeah. she was like, okay, let's do the complete opposite now. And she's like, hey, I heard your name was Azim uh, before you even know that. Um, <laughs> oh, spoilers! Spoilers, Larry. Oh, well, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, it's okay. No one knows what that <laughs> okay. means yet. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're keeping the spoilers. Uh, uh -oh. in, in fact, I probably shouldn't have said that it was spoilers. It's okay, yeah. you didn't know. It's okay. I, that, that's my fault. I should have prepped you. It's, it's good. I Nobody won't knows. say anything else. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just another uh, example of how Tataru is definitely evil and yeah. Zodiac. She's um, um, omniscient, is that the word? When you know everything? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ban Larry, I'm doing so right now. I'm just typing slash ban. No! Larry. There we go. So, um, I'm, I'm going to finish my ramen so I can I can voice things with you. 
Mm -hmm. And my um, ramen is not particularly healthy, but I added an egg to it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah. So I get some healthy stuff in there, and I think that counteracts it. Yeah. I mean, if you add in, there's lots of things. I mean, obviously, I don't because I'm lazy a lot of the time, and, like, I forget to. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I'm like, oh, I'm busy. I'll just heat it up in the microwave. But, like, there are things you can add, like, veggies and, like, green onions. Mm. And I know I personally like to add spinach. You could pimp out the ramen. Oh, yeah. Cook it in a pot like a normal human being, but... <laughs> no, I just... I have this ramen making bowl where I just I just put the ramen in and I boil water and I pour the water in and I cover it with a plate like a de degenerate. You know what? That's probably better than uh, than how I do it in the microwave. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that. You should do yeah. Just boil the water and put it on there and cover it and it's like it comes out perfect. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna try that. Glad I can help you be a degenerate as well. Ah, there's the last of them. Your friends are being measured as we speak. Right this way, we'll see to it that you look your da uh, dashing best for your first outing. Also, good to see that Dan is also a Dark Knight. We're just going to have four Dark Knights in our dungeon. <laughs> this is the true Shadowbringer's way. And we can do it. Done, are you? Let's uh, have a look at those numbers. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm -hmm. goes up? I love this version of the the prelude in the background. Yes. Sorry, Captain. So I'm afraid we don't have anything on hand that's ready to fit. But we do have a few that are fairly close. We should be able to make them work with some minor adjustments. Very well, then. See to it. And have the uniforms delivered directly to the field. I shall take this opportunity to brief you on the mission. Ooh. As mentioned earlier, we will deploy Amaro to scatter dream powder in the air, from the air. Once the powder takes effect, an elite unit will storm the fortress to rescue the Oracle. Her safe liberation is our sole objective. Engagement is to be avoided wherever possible. I assume we're to be part of said unit. Correct. The unit will be divided into two con contingents. One deployment from Fort Job and the other from the Ostal Imperative. You and Alphano will join the former. Victor, meanwhile, will join the latter with me. Before you proceed to your positions, you are to report to Chesamil at Spag... 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 Spagarix. Spagarix? Spagarix. Yeah, Spagarix. Yeah. There we go. She you will it. issue you with a serum to ward off the effects of dream powder. Reading's hard. Yeah. <laughs> we shall be on our way then. Take care, my friends, and we will see you in the field. It's like, it's so amazing whenever you hear the voice lines of someone, like, just say it naturally. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. oh, oh my god, that was like a mouthful, and you said it flawlessly. Right. Obviously, it's because, you know, they you don't hear all the takes of them fumbling over their words. Yeah, they still. did it first try, of course. Yeah. yeah. It's quite far from the imperative, so you may make use of an armor from the Rookery. After you've collected the serum, of course. An armor roll? Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Oh, I gotta remember to attune to everything, oh my god. Oh yeah. Those who don't know, this is not Larry's uh, primary data center. He's yes. a filthy I'm one on Primal. No, Aether. Aether, ah. Yes. Disgusting. Act I hard. used to be on Aether. Yeah. I hate those people. <laughs> oh, I hope Whimsy Shrimp's not in the chat. Man, the beginning of Shadowbringers is so good. Mm-hmm. Actually, the whole thing, but, you know, the, like, the way they introduced it, as opposed yeah. to how they did other expansions, it's yeah. just... You know why? It's because it was an isekai. That's why. <laughs> 
<laughs> if any, yeah, odd, oddly enough, it makes it a little bit more like accessible because like yeah you're being introduced to this new world and you don't have to like have as much prior knowledge mm -hmm. of the lore and stuff like it helps definitely but i think this one um you shouldn't but it's a nice introductory you know yeah, you literally could you really yeah. could you could yeah. just play it uh don't but you could yeah you could but like once endwalker comes then you're gonna you're gonna have no context again because you're back mm -hmm. in the source Yes, yeah, sweetie. Exactly. Is there something you need? Oh, what in the god comes for your dram, are you? Here you go. A dose of this will keep you firmly on the walking world, in the waking world, while your enemies are off in dreamland while you slaughter them and bring them to their knees. Grandma? <laughs> now, if this is your first time, I should warn you. It's bitter as sin. Prince's kiss, they call it. But if you ask me, it should be called Crone's kiss. <laughs> Just She's a witch. Side. Wait, what'd you say? She's a witch. Burn the witch. <laughs> Just aside, the stuff is foul. Most people gag like there's no tomorrow. But if you don't drain every last drop, you're liable to end up taking a trip to Dreamland yourself, where the enemies will slit your throats in your sleep. <laughs> no. So I must ask you to drink it here and now, while I watch. Come on, give the old crone a kiss. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. Foul tasting serum grants resistance to the effects of dream powder. Yes, suck it down. Well done, sweetie. I'm proud of you. Why, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you'd even enjoyed it. Now, drink more. <laughs> and now you needn't fear falling asleep on the battlefield. Just have care you don't lose any limbs out there, all right? They don't intend to grow back. Hold well, on, she just. We just got super caffeine. We just don't need to sleep anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, everyone's ready for the guard. Oh, shit. I don't have my guardware. Did they give it to me? I, if they give it to you, then I can glam it. I thought they did, but I thought that maybe later. Maybe. If not, I can always go to the inn. And yeah. Put on that glam. So you're, you're, you're on your main doing New Game Plus, right? I am, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, seriously, like... I have been meaning to do this New Game Plus run through for the longest time. I like half mm -hmm. of my glamour plates have just been filled with what outfits I will wear at different points in the story. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. Cause like I've I've made one for like when I first go to Heaven's Word and then like later on when we fight for Ishgard. Yes. It's been very, very fun. I can show you some actually. Let's see. That. I think I still have some of them, like uh no, I guess I got rid of them to make space. Oh, well. Oh, this one, though. This one was like when I, we I were fighting for Alamigo. Yeah, I think you tweeted it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, been that's fun. Cool. Oh, yeah, and then that's a crap guide outfit. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the same thing. I have like a uh, when I'm recording outfit and then, <laughs> and then like a se just a separate one just for that. Yeah. I was about to deliver an Amaro to Radiska's Bound. Uh, one of the locations where the beast will be flying. The tower lies along the route. Very good. All right. Awesome. So actually, while I have you on the... Oh, wait. No. Cutscene. Later. Unless... Unless... I still see the chat box, so I don't know if I'm in a cutscene or not. Ah, all right. There we go. Nope. So I was wondering, uh, what inspired you to make the Basically yeah. series? Ah, that's a good question. Um, it's been a long time now, actually. Uh, one of the big things was actually, uh, well, the, one of the big reasons why I got into YouTube in the first place was uh, Very Merry. Uh, Very Merry uh, did a lot of 14 videos back in the day. Mm -hmm. And he just did like a bunch of uh, machinima, basically, uh, like funny short comedy skits of videos mm -hmm. and he did like some guides on jobs as well and took like a jokey um pattern to them and so i was like i i really want to make videos like i have ideas i want to make videos but about your this first game. video was a machinima wasn't it yes it was so yeah so like he, he like inspired me i was like i could do this i can make videos about this game and then i met him too which was super cool i met him at fan fest so I was like, I'm meeting the guy who made me start <laughs> making videos. 
And now we need so, to yeah. see who inspired Very Mary and then just get to the bottom of the first video maker yeah. ever. Right. <laughs> I think it, I think he started doing stuff because of Ra Wow Crendor. Oh, I think. Crendor. I love Crendor. Yeah. He's I don't want to I don't want to say that like in case it wasn't, but I think it was. Mm -hmm. I remember him saying that. So. He recently made like yeah. a top 10 fishing locations, which is really stupid. I love his really? pointless top 10s. It's yeah. like so dumb and nothing. Like his his videos are partly just his style of humor and partly satire, but it's like mm -hmm. it's hard to tell now, but I still love them cuz they're so dumb and nothing. Yeah, I find people have that difficulty with my videos too. They're like, I can't tell if Larry's being serious or joking. I'm like, yep, that's exactly what I'm going for. Thank yeah. you. Because <laughs> I, I want yeah. it to be like that. Because I'm pretty sure he recently started playing 14 like every other WoW person in the world, but like oh, he, he purely oh. plays it for fishing. <laughs> I mean, you can. You can yeah. do that. It's yeah. basically an entire like campaign in and of itself. It is a whole game just mm -hmm. fishing, yes. I tried to do it because I wanted to get the Master Caster title, because, you know, I'm a caster main, of course, so I wanted to have the title Master Caster. Mm -hmm. um, in order to get that, you have to get a whole bunch of big fish, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, that that would have been like a whole full-time job for a long time to, to get that. Yeah, it's funny how fishing, time. either fishing or the gold saucer is usually what hooks people, because I was showing this game mm -hmm. to my girlfriend, Echo, uh, Echo Jalen. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys should watch her videos, Echo Jalen. And like, the one thing that hooked her was hearing about fishing and then seeing the uh, the major general, the little land shark. Mm -hmm. And then she saw that and she's like, oh, I must have it. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> let me show you fishing. Well, there you go. Yeah, That's how I got my wife into this game. Not fishing, but glamour. Mm. Literally just glamour. I was just, hey, uh, make a character. And she made a character. She's like, I love this game. <laughs> okay. It's so great that this game has like so many different things for people to get attached to. Yeah. So it seems that rather than the Amaro delivering you, you deliver the Amaro. I'll not thank you. I expected all my soldiers to make themselves useful. Speaking of which, I have a task for you. Jeez. So very harsh. Harsh. You do not deliver the Amaro. The Amaro delivers you. In the readiness of the, for the operation, the Amaro will need to be treated with the same serum as us. As you well know, however, it is not pleasant. In order to coax them into taking it, we have sprinkled it into their fodder. All that remains is to feed it to them. I ask that you, I task, I am sure you will enjoy. Fetch the fodder from the Amaro. All right. Lots of prep stuff. Why does she think you'll enjoy feeding the Amaro? Because Amaro are adorable, Larry. I, love, I mean, you're right. I them. When I first saw them, I was like, oh, they're kind of ugly. But then as soon as I got into the game, I'm like, oh, my God, I love them. Yeah, it's like a, it's like an ugly cute in a way. Yeah. Uh huh. It, it, ironically, like uh, characters that have like a little bit of ugliness to them. I kind of like more than characters that are trying overly yeah. hard to be cute. Right. You know how like some characters will just be like too much. And you're like, this is actually kind of creepy. Yeah. 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 Like the, one of those knockoff Pokemon games where like they give the character like huge, right. massive, but realistic looking eyeballs. Yeah. Oh God, that's so, ugh. <laughs> it's like concerning. <laughs> also, I appreciate your willingness to try and blast through all the MSQ to catch up i mean I'm even trying. though i'm not all that far it's still you gotta click through all the stuff and do all the duties and things so i yeah. appreciate your willingness to do that oh no problem it's it's kind of fun i mean i'm just skipping through the cutscene, but i'm you know it's kind of fun to go through this again mm -hmm. oh yeah at some time you're gonna have to go through holminster as well so feel free to leave the party when you need to okay yes Where I chose Alfino first. I can't, I can't remember who I did first. I think I did Alice a first at the time mm. on my first playthrough. They are Maro Fred. Yes, they are. Good. The rest have already been dosed. So we need, uh, we need not fear any of our mounts succumbing to the dream powder. All units have now entered this final stage of their preparation. The time is nigh. Make ready and await up deployment atop the main watchtower. 
I will send your uniform a along as soon as it arrives. Ah, so maybe it's just, I just automatically wear it, like just like uh, when we fought for Ishgard in the uh, mm -hmm. melee. That is all. May night smile upon us. I feel bad Dan is just kind of trailing behind me. He's just following you around. Uh, yeah. Too many reflections in the eyes. Uh, you want to join? I mean, that's probably what I would do if I were caught up. I would probably be doing the same thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to invite him to the VC. Let's see. Cool. Uh, four box. Here we go. Let's see. Add. Uh, all right. So we're going to be knocked out of the thing real quick. Uh-huh. And. Oh. Yo. Hey. Hello. Dan, right? Yep. Hi, Dan. You are hey, you Joe. you are an additional addition to my collection of Dans that I know. Yeah, um, that's not the first time I've uh, been a part of that. Uh, I've actually one time in college, I actually uh, once sat at a table and all four people at the table were named Dan. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not kidding. It was that's ridiculous. So good. God. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me think how many Dans I know now. I know you. Although, also, uh, everyone say hi to Dan from Design Doc. He makes fantastic videos that sometimes I wish I made uh, because I'm like, man, I'm not doing anything with with my design stuff. I don't know. I, I look at your crap guide stuff and I was like, I wish I was doing that. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, me, me and um, me and Rasputin. Uh, sometimes we chat about how like sometimes we'll look at other YouTubers and it's like. Hey, you just want to swap channels real quick, briefly? Like, yeah. you make two videos on my channel, and I make two videos of yours, so we could just trade. <laughs> I mean, we kind of just did that, like, with the good design, bad design. It's a, a you know, your writing, just my editing. Oh, I think. Yeah, yeah. And I will be able to bring you on mine. But yeah, this is, let's see, there's, there's Design Doc Dan, there's Dan Floyd, uh, the animator, who's part of uh, New Frame Plus. Uh, and play frame as well. Uh, Dan Jones, a uh, great artist. Uh, let's see. Dan... Uh... The only other Dan that's coming to mind at the moment, or there's two Dans that are coming to mind at the moment. Uh, Dan Riker, Dan Avedon. Yeah, Dan Avedon, uh, Danny Sexbang, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dan... I'm, I'm sure there's like a couple of more Dans that I know personally. Uh, King K is a Dan. King K? Uh, yeah, King, uh, Planet. He, uh, does a lot of, like, game reviews. Oh, okay. Very, very good videos, by the way. I highly recommend his channel. Nerd Cubed, that's Dan. He, he's a Dan. If anybody remembers that, Let's Player. <laughs> yes. Well, this is super... Dan, I haven't seen your videos before, but I just checked your channel out, and it looks really cool. And I saw a, a thumbnail of Majora's Mask, and so I subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. Yeah. That you was got me. All Thank, you. All right. Thank you. Uh, Larry, Thank you. I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of your videos, too, Larry. Uh, I've actually uh, been really? using your... Uh, I've been using your Endwalker videos for reference. I'm very excited about Red Mage coming up. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, like I said, you. Larry, you're like one of the premier 14 crea content creators. Oh, this is super cool. Well, now I get to watch. I have a whole bunch of videos of yours to watch now because I was just like <laughs> thumbing through the, the thumbnails here and be like, okay, yep, watch that one later. Watch this one. Yeah, this I is was great for game design. Too, I was originally so. just going to hang out here like for the uh, for the first major trial, but uh, mm -hmm. like I, you know, I didn't want to be a third wheel just in case, but it. Yeah. Oh no! After I just mean, listening to it, like it, it, it yeah, seems I chill. Mean, I, I don't want. I, yeah. Like you, you join in all you want. You know. Like this is this is a fun time. This is my chance, my excuse to finally hang out with all these people that I'm like, we should hang out sometime, and then never do. Yeah, that's. Only uh, when it's attached I, to I work do that, that a we lot. Ever can. 
Yeah, that happens to me a lot too. It, w just friends from work and just friends in general too. You're just like, hey, yeah, we should hang out. And you legitimately want to. And you're like, we literally should just go hang out like right now. And then you're like, yeah, we should. We should probably do that later. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. It's like, I don't know. Now's not the time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to go in an instance. Dan, I made you the party leader so you can invite me back whenever I'm done. But uh, yeah, okay. time to fight Yulmore. All I'm trying to remember more. what this instance was. We'll see. So is that your main, Dan? Are you a, a red mage? Uh, my mains are uh, Dark Knight and Red Mage, I would say. I'm currently leveling mm -hmm. up Samurai, and I have a lovely Dragoon. Ooh. And I thought about doing Conjurer, and then, I don't know, I, I, I'm not ready for healing yet. <laughs> I'll get to it. Oh god, healing. I'll probably oh, oh. keep moving. Don't point your sword at child. And now we get to see the the Yulmore purple working as uh, camouflage in real time. The Crystarium, I guess. Desperate fools. It'll take more than a handful of overgrown lizards to ground us. Isn't that the, uh, the Void Scent helmet from the Void Arc? <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, that always stood out to me. I wonder how they got that, huh? <laughs> Chat's jamming, yeah. All of the entire soundtrack of Shadowbringers is a jam. Soaking is a national treasure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is a cat jam. Because Uematsu helped with uh, Stormblood, and this is the first time Soken's been on his own. Yep. Unleashes yeah, just full potential. Free. Yeah, yeah, full creative freedom. This is Captain, what happens. The powder has I didn't realize Uematsu actually was on this. Yeah, battle. it's pretty cool. It's like he, he did a fantastic job. I, I love Stormblood soundtrack. Like a lot. There's some fucking really good mood setters in it. Did like all the Sukiyomi music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did answers. Uh, it Dragon is time. song. Let us free the oracles from their clutches. And then so Shadowbringers was Soken's first main theme. Mm. You did a fantastic job. I love how non-traditional fantasy it is too. It's like, I'm, all right, let's put a let's put a rock and roll song in here suddenly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what are we gonna do here? Uh, let's do um, let's do I don't know techno. <laughs> yeah, and then N Walker is just early two thousands rock band. Yeah. It's so good. It's like I could hear I could hear this being played in a Sonic the Hedgehog game. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I exactly. cannot I cannot wait for one specific N Walker trial. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the music's gonna be. Time to fight uh Hedonism Town. Hedonism, death cult. Like every time I see Yule more, I just think uh, Hedonism Bob from Futurama. <laughs> I'm currently venturing into Yule more right now from outside. This, this place doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, look, everyone's, yeah, everyone's pleasant with their lot in life, and you know everyone contributes. Yeah. Apparently, everybody says the bread is really yummy. Yeah, nothing to look at it to there. <laughs> Delicious butt bread. Oh my yes. He saw that. It's like, there's something going on with that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I follow the twins. There we go. 
Also, chat, let me know how my guests sound. Like, I turned them down a little bit because um, I remember when I had Gaijin on, like, he was way too loud and I tried to do some things with my compressor that just ruined everything, so. Let us know how we sound, chat. Testing, test, test. Are we cute, chat? I think you guys are. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. I hope we're cute. I'm gonna turn the game on there. Chat's cute. Aww. One of them sounds like Larry. I wonder. That's weird. Man, I love the um, the whole area around the Crystarium. Mm -hmm. Lakeland is all purple yeah. instead of green. It's like such a good way to make it feel like an alien place. Absolutely. Like a good, a good lavender. Yes. I, oh, I especially love that just all of Shadowbringers, and I said this yesterday from chat, so you're gonna hear it again, chat, but I have guests now, so I can say it again. Like, Drinking. how, you know, 14, Vanilla 14 and Heaven's Word, they're, they're not, they're like no. your typical high fantasy, right? But like, this is like, like, like storybook fantasy with like crazy yes. things and fairies and pixies and all that stuff. Yeah. Fantasy Plus. Yeah, absolutely. Ones that you would see in children's books. Like, this one really goes out to make it, like, magical. Because, I don't know, like, 14 feels grounded, so sometimes you forget that it is fantasy. Or at least I do, anyway. Yeah, it's... Shadowbringers is definitely very high fantasy, which makes me uh, super excited for 16, because Yoshi P is like, yeah, I really just want to make a super high fantasy. Yeah. Final Fantasy. And this so, would be the first yeah. one since, what, like, 9 that was, like, high fantasy? Like that. The rest of them, like, 10, 10 was kind of, like, a little a bit mix. of, like, techno stuff in there. And, yeah. Uh, 11, well, 11's an MMO, so it's, like, kind of something different. And then 12 was very kind of steampunkish with, like, motorcycles and stuff. 10 took place in a lot of islands, like a lot of island nations. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot more like water, especially in the early game. Yeah, that... and and the whole world where Titus is uh, from, that was all like techno and futuristic-y. The Azim yeah. step in uh, Stormblood is very Calm Lands-like. Yes, I did love is, the Azim uh, step. That's probably my favorite Stormblood zone. Like, there's even, like, a structure that's a little a bit off the beaten path uh, for, uh, like, some of the uh, optional summons that looks a lot like the centerpiece of the Azim step. Mm. But, yeah, just, like, great art direction. Um, and, yeah, like, 14 is kind of, like, the ultimate hodgepodge of, like, all of Final Fantasy. There's just references to every single game. Yeah, I mean, it's an MMO. I'm sorry, there's going to be there's gonna be so much content in an MMO that, like, eventually there's gonna be something i mean just look at wow like wow added like space things and all that because it's like mm -hmm. when you keep adding content eventually you're just gonna go crazy with it you know yeah and just like also the crystal tower and like the basic premise of shadowbringers is very final fantasy 3. Mm -hmm. oh yeah the shadowbringers is just a big uh, homage to 3. thank you are you from the crystarium Correct. We've come to rescue you. Your weapons, made to the same specifications as Thancred's. Be ready to use them. Uh, understood. Please, please, uh, please lead the way. Hansman Philia gun. <laughs> She's a machinist now. <laughs> But yeah, let's see. Uh, Twelve apparently. Apparently, people say Twelve was Star Wars, and I'm willing to believe them. Yeah, it's like the well. The, also, the Legatus is also like very Star Wars. In fact, they even like take some of the Judge designs from Twelve for oh, yeah, some of the Guardian soldiers. Is very Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, Evil Empire and you know nature like the, versus technology. Yeah, the Evil East raids, like the the Legatus in that, or at least I think he's a Legatus. Um, 
there's what there's a character there that is just taken straight out of Twelve's design. Hmm. Oh shit! It's Ranjit. I'm sad that I didn't make an overlay for this. <laughs> Brazen thieves! You will regret coming here. Let's see, and thirteen. 13 was very, like, modern, in a way. Uh, 13 is more sci-fi. I've never played modern. 13. All I know is, like, one instance of gameplay that I've seen in, from 13 was, like, where she was in just something that just looks like an urban city. Yeah, it's, yeah, definitely sci-fi. 15 is definitely the modern one. Ah, okay. 13, 13, yeah. has, 13 has good ideas, very bad things. Mm. That's a good way to say it, yeah. Because I, I enjoyed 13. I, I liked them. I didn't yeah, play I, all three of them, but... I don't hate 13, but I am very critical of it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, the main thing I hear about the problem with 13 is that it doesn't get good until, like, 20 hours in. When the combat actually and... starts to feel really good to play. Yeah. I have, like, a whole video of, like, comparing 10 versus 13 in terms of structure. Mm, yeah, because they're both very linear games, right? Yeah, that was actually like the first video that took off for us. <laughs> so yeah, like they're very linear games, uh, but like 10 subverts that linearity in like very key ways. We tell people that 14 takes 150 hours to get good. I would say for the MSQ, uh... yes. However, I would say there's plenty in 14 that gets good really fast, like the Gold Saucer. It's good right away, honestly, yeah. Right. Yeah, the okay. novelty of the MMO aspect carried it for me, like, uh, when I was playing back in, like, May. Yeah, and, like, I, even back when I wasn't all that into the game, I loved crafting. Crafting was great. Gra crafting was great immediately. In my like, opinion. I only... I only dislike ARR in retrospect. Yeah. Like at the time I was actually enjoying my time, but everything else just gets yeah. so much better. Mm -hmm. Like doing A Realm Reborn when it was out was, uh, it's very strange to hear people talk uh, bad about like, um, like some of the parts of it, like the parts that drag on in particular, like af like post uh, a Praetorium, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, at the time when I was doing it, it felt fine, but that was because it it came out in patches. So, you know, you had these little bursts yeah. of it. You didn't have to so do them it felt all fine. at once. Right, but then I, I was like, okay, yeah, I guess if you were to do them all at once, then I, I could see how that could be, it could drag on a lot. You know what's weird? When I did New Game Plus post ARR, I actually liked post ARR more than base yes. ARR. Because that, just yeah. all this mm -hmm. like filler of just you seeing the characters living their lives and going about their day in world building is like, wow, this is nice. This is pleasant. But then again, you know, I, I can't say that I would have felt that way if I hadn't played ARR because I was already invested. You know? Exactly. You I, need a Realm Reborn to enjoy that stuff. It I hear. Sorry. No, go ahead. I'm done. Yeah. Ahead. I, I hear a lot of complaints about like uh, post ARR, but like I actually found it way more interesting than like main ARR. Right? Yeah. It's like Good. whenever I think of ARR, I think of Company of Heroes, and it's like yeah. uh... <laughs> finding the yeah. the crystal for Garuda. Yeah, a, a lot of the interesting stuff happens post Praetorium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like after like Company of Heroes, I was like so tired of the story for a bit that I missed out on all the cool stuff in Curthus setting up Ishgard. Yeah. It's like every time I saw that Inquisitor, I just groaned because he was just stopping the plot from happening. Yeah. At the time. Like fucking post ARR, I get to tell a kid what makes a good adventurer and see him hang out with his friends and ah. I don't know. It's hard. It, ARR is such an anomaly to talk about critically, because it's like it's there's nothing like it. It's what it needed to be at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It needed. And again, go ahead. Go ahead. It needed to keep the uh, the ship from sinking, and it did it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And at the time, it was so good. Like I was super invested in the story at the time. Mm -hmm. It was really good. 
Yeah, people tend to forget when it came out, critics and players said ARR was amazing. But, and it's like, because, and I would say in comparison to most MMOs, it is. You boy. Because that was their expectation going in. It's like, oh, it's another MMO seek. that I can skip the dialogue and just grind through. It's like, no, 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 no. Pay attention to the story. See what it's trying to say. And even me, mm. someone who still considers ARR the worst 14 has to offer, there's some great moments. The build-up to Ifrit, I think, is the, like, on par oh, with some yeah. of the best 14 has to offer. Yeah. The ver the first time we, we fought Ifrit, like, we go in there and it plays the cutscene of Ifrit coming in, yeah. and then you're standing in the arena with him. I was like, I was hooked instantly. I yeah. was like, okay, I'm on board. I'm in for this game. And that was fairly early on, too, so. Yeah, even yeah. more than that. When you when I played it retroactively, like, when I played it in New Game Plus, and seeing how they plant all the seeds, it's like, oh, the Amalj are, are kidnapping people and collecting crystals. I wonder why. And it's like, it all connects together. It all, like, this yeah. mystery yeah. that slowly unravels. Yeah, I pre like I went through some of the story like on an alt and like I definitely caught a lot more details that I just like that I just uh autopiloted through. Mm -hmm. And like they do such a good job of like setting up this world. Absolutely. Anyway, uh Ranjit is about to kick Alphano's ass now. Oh yeah, the artist bit. <laughs> By all means keep your counsel. You will all have secrets. ample time to confess your crimes back in Yulmore. Now, I have this NFT to sell. <laughs> <laughs> Ranjit, no! That will destroy the environment, and you'll get scammed! Oh! Oh, boy. Daddy. <gasps> so much aether. Dancred? Dad Cred! So, you are the wretch who stole her from us. And what if I am? What? Pathetic. He's not Chad. Hey, he's not Thancred anymore. Nor is he Chad Crid. He is Dad Crid. Dad Crid. Such a glow up. Absolutely. My favorite thing was realizing he didn't need the fucking blindfold this whole time. <laughs> he was just wearing it to be cool. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, like, I always saw him, like, in the opening cinematic, and I'm like, wait, why does he have the, uh, blindfold? <laughs> what happened to his eye? Is he okay? time break has ever been useful why can't we get break <laughs> we do it's called bind try bind let's no, go leg graze or whatever the hell fool you would see your city raised i would sooner see it raised than conquered suffice it to say we are ready to receive you what now exarch Will you face me yourself? Ah, uh, no, my Rubik's Cube. I think not, General. I've quite exhausted my tricks. I love how cheeky if he you is. Give checks, I will not stand in your way. But you would do well to tread warily. For your quarry goes to a place where even Yulmore dare not bear its steel. Ilmeg, the fairy kingdom. Yo, let's go! I 
I love how Exarch as well is just like, just tells them where they're going. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Of still oh shit. Energy to unleash his uh, hello, Solus. Even the most pointless of conflicts may alter a world's course. And now the plan has gone awry. Remember, chat, no spoilers. How, how did the so called Crystal Exarch bring the hero of the Source to the First? It's your boy, Daddy Garlean. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough on my hands already. <sighs> then again, with a soul such as that. Huh. Mayhap there is another way. One which does not require bloodshed. Just hanging out. How did he get up there? Uh, uh, jump. Jump good. Not so long ago, here in the shadow of the northern ranges, lay the great kingdom of Verbert, a nation with a proud history that the Sin Eaters cut short, just like all the rest. I love that Ardbert narrates it. <laughs> Since that time, these lands have become a haven for fey folk. Ah, Twitter light mode. Dreamers frolicking amidst <laughs> the ruins of the <laughs> forgotten realm. Ah, oh, my retinas. They're burning. We should be safe enough here. Can you tell me about what happened back there? It's good to see you again, my friends. I don't know about you, but it feels like years since last we met. Five of them in my case. Oh, poor Thancred. He had to spend two years by himself. Why, it only feels like one to me, but long enough to warrant a more convivial reunion either way. What brought you to Laxon Loft? The girl, Minfilia. She and I were traveling together, hunting Sin Eaters. But as we were nearing Lakeland, she abruptly ran off on her own. I found her too late to stop the Ulmorans from taking her prisoner. And as I was considering rescue options, I observed that the Crystarium was on the move. So I consulted the Exarch, who apprised me of the details of the operation and issued me certain instructions. Should the situation take a turn for the worse, I was to see you all safely to Ilmeg. And here we are. Orianger has called this place home for a while now, yet we have never called upon him, I am ashamed to say. It was only at the Crystarium that we met. Hardly surprising. Orianger. This is not the sort of place one visits on a whim. Happily, having trespassed on Orianger's hospitality for a spell, Minfilia and I have an idea of how things work around here. Larry, I hope you're ready for big words. I'm ready. <laughs> Sooner or later, the Ulmorans will come after us. My milkshake bringeth do, all the boys the to thine yard. <laughs> no, it's uh, I think it's Thon Yonder Boys to thine yard. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Thon Yonder Boys to thine yard. Verily, they Verily. are. They are more. I don't fucking know. Tis better than thine. <laughs> 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 First, did that happen last week? Urianger. Like his actor record yes, that? Like last they week, got the voice actor for Urian J to read that out. We really? Uh, let me find the. It, let me find it. It's on YouTube. Hold no on. way. Urian no, it, it's there. It's there. Uh, yeah, because a, a couple of streamers got all the voice actors. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of the voice actors together. I think Yustola is there. Yeah. She did the little sun line. 
but yeah, I could have just thee, but I would, I would levy a fee. <laughs> so fucking, good. I love voice actors, man. Voice acting is such a fun job because, yeah, like, see. I, I because they're voice actors, they use their voice for more than you know multiple things. So you'll find like fucking uh, Emmerich reading the Gingerbread Man, or like Xenos trying to sell you a like a car. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And second, eliminate the Light Warden of this land. So, Minfilia. The song will speak for itself. Why am I now imagining Gaius doing the... <laughs> I've come to make an announcement. The Warrior of Light is a bitch-ass motherfucker who pissed on my Magitek armor. <laughs> He pulled out his big sword of light and said it was this big, and I said that was disgusting. Oh I'm choking. So I'm making an announcement on my Link Pearl that all, everyone who knows the Warrior of Light is a bitch. <laughs> what made you leave that behind? You don't mind me asking. Pissed on Dalamud. <laughs> He pissed on my red wound, Dalamud. <laughs> the hero from the oh, other world. God. I was asleep when I felt it. A presence. Someone I was meant to meet. They were close and... And I knew I had to go to them. But with all the commotion in Lakeland, I was afraid that Thancred wouldn't let me. And would I have been wrong? Had I arrived a moment later, you would be back in your cell in Yulmore. Oh, Dad, Crid. And now we have Ranjit snapping at our heels. You really have outdone yourself this time. Ranjit! I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. Oh, poor thing being scolded so. Oh no, they're Scottish. Poor thing. Poor, poor thing. Who said that? Show yourselves. Come now, put away that frown and have some fun with us. Yes, let us have some fun. Lots and lots of fun. Uh, which way was it to Uriange's? We've been there so many times, but I, I'm not. I can't. Oh, why can't I remember? Damn it all. We're already caught in their spell. Yeah, these are European fairies. The one that tricks you and makes you fucking like follow them until you're like 80 years old. Quote unquote play. Yeah, play. Proper fae are always dangerous. Oh yeah, like fae in like European mythology are horrifying monstrosities. Yeah. Ilmeg is a fairy kingdom, and as one might expect, it is home to the Fey folk. The most prominent among them are the Pixies, who have a per uh, penchant for making mischief. They use powerful illusions to play tricks on all who venture into the domain. By way of an example, they can make a familiar path seem wholly unfamiliar, or lead you to believe you're somewhere you're not. And we are now, I'm sorry to say, entirely at their mercy. Alright. Well. Just trying to think his way out of the prison. Oh yeah, thank you. Much appreciate. Hold on, I I'm in the quest thing. Ooh, there you go. Oh whoops. Nice. As it stands, we cannot hope to find a way to Uriange. For that, we must convince the pixies to lift the spell. Oh, is that a raid? <gasps> Ruricon, hi. Thank you for the raid, Ruricon. Hi. Thank you. You have raided me several times now. That's incredibly generous of you. I should return the favor sometime. 
if uh, the timing is right. Hello, everyone. Uh, once again, remember, I, I think Rurikon is going through his own set of MSQ, so um, keep in mind, everybody, that uh, we are in Shadowbringers, so big spoilers everywhere. Uh, so do be careful uh, for yourselves if you want to go through the story. Um, and also everyone else in the chat. So anybody who has gone through Shadowbringers, be wary of spoilers and keep it on, keep it on the hush hush for anybody experiencing through this with us. Uh, because in fact, I think, oh yeah, everyone who would have been a Sprout at this point aren't anymore. Because I, I was playing through the MSQ and there were some Sprouts that were playing through it with me. I mean, if you get a skip, you'd still I'm be a, a Sprout. sprout. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, no, but I, I think if you play through the story legitimately, yeah. after at, at a certain point in Stormblood, I think your sprout goes away. Yeah, I lost mine at the Star Shower Bringers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think, I don't remember if it was Zeke or someone else um, that had a sprout, but it should be gone now, which is insane. Thank you guys for coming with me on this journey. Jeez. But yeah, anyway, spoiler warning out there. Uh, we're talking to Thancred. From what I could make of the voices, the creatures want to play with us. If that is the case, we should permit to find their village. Uh, lead, Lida, Lida, Ra, Ran, Lida Luran. Come, I have a sneaking suspicion this path will lead us directly to their midst. Oh, and I should mention that Minfilia has been informed of our situation, of the different worlds in our mission. You may consider her an ally. Okay, I will. I'll believe you. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Lida Laron. Okay, that makes sense. Also, this is Danny Punch Your Face. Uh, he has been my bodyguard slash butler slash servant slash uh, brother in arms since Heaven's Word. He's a good man. Good man, that Danny. It was when I was investigating the, the house that uh, Iceheart was in that he, like, stood at the door because everyone was, like bombarding me with like trades and surrounding me but he stood at the door he's like please wait outside while master quibbles investigates the area and i'm like thank you danny <laughs> that's awesome nope well here we are yet the pixies are nowhere to be seen knowing them their games have already begun in which case victor there is a variety of uh, plant native uh, variety of plant I guess that works grammatically native to these parts with distinctive furled tip looking grass is the name so called because it can be used to spy pixies believe it or not I'll explain how I know all of this later but first I need your help uh, you need I need you to, to help me find some okay never tell a pixie your name that's how their magic works Just like Rumple Stilt Skin. A name is very powerful. Hate that guy. <laughs> yeah, when when they first were like, hey yeah, we're gonna go to the land of the fairies, I was like, oh cool, fairies are super nice and cute. Nope. Yeah, no, that's Zelda fairies. This yeah, yeah. that this is different. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Picking plants at our village is as good as indulging in our hospitality. And who are we to turn you away? body begins to feel heavy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ugh! Thancred, I didn't say anything just like you said, but I still got cursed. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> These fey edibles ate shit. <laughs> Sammy, are you are you making business with the fairies? Oh, no. You, you, you're picking apart. Okay, I see. I see. Sammy Thymas, everyone, the secret seventh member of the syndicate in Uldar. I take it you met with some trouble. Apologies for sub, uh, subjecting you to that. Can I assume from your presence uh, that you managed to find some looking grass? Here you go. Possessed of a furled tip, this particular plant can apparently be used to see hidden pixies. Yes, this is the stuff. Thus armed, we should be able to see through the pixie's veil of invisibility, and seeing them is the first step in dealing with them.
And this is another part that just really reinforces the feel of making it look like, feel like right. storybook fantasy. Yeah. Farasitha, Krakleth. Where'd you learn how to say that, Thancred? No, we are found! How did this mortal know our trick? Wait, I recognize their souls. These two have been here before. <gasps> look, look, twins! How adorable! Oh, God. Oh. We're with us. We have neither the time nor inclination to play. We have come to see Uriange. Oh yes, Uriange, the peculiar one. In he he for sure is. El Meg, he agreed to a riddle contest with us for seven days and seven nights without any <laughs> sleep. <laughs> God, oh, only Uriange. Oh God. If anyone could, it'd be him. <laughs> I bet he thoroughly enjoyed it too. Yeah, verily enjoyed it. Verily. <laughs> and then immediately collapsed. Oh, that was so much fun. We must do it again. He's I'm just sure built he'd be different. delighted. Now, if you'd be so kind as to lift your spell. The best part about Uriadre is that nobody else speaks in Old English. Just no. him. So he's just doing it to be cool. Like, yeah. he just does it on purpose. What now? It's not, yeah, it's not even an Ellison thing. Nobody even does it. It's no. just him. There, I think there is one other Archon in, like, this is their home, the Evil so East, uh, them. Ready said, speaks like Arianje, actually. Mm, but that's the only other one. Yeah. Let him have it. Let him have his thing. <laughs> it's all he has. <laughs> yeah. We've made up our minds. We will lift our spell on one condition that you first lend us a helping hand. Or two. Or three. Once you've helped solve all of our troubles, we'll let you see Urian G. Pixie's honor. Well, there you have it. Pixie chores. I suggest we split up. <sighs> I hope they're better than Moogle chores. Or Sylph chores. Oh god. Now here, this I'm working on a video uh, currently about my, my long story and experience of slowly learning to like this game. And uh, I, I'm gonna mention one point in the video about like, how this game does a thing that it's both good and bad in that these kind of chores, they establish and characterize the people that we're dealing with. But there's still chores. It, it's hard. It, it's like we do kind of need it to characterize them and kind of put you in the role play of like being as annoyed as the characters are and all that. But I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those weird things where it's like, yeah, it's, it services the story, but it's still kind of annoying. But it, it's, right. you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a careful you balance you have to it hit, is. And, I and I don't think you there won't is any right answer as to what that balance is. Everyone's tolerance levels are different. Mm -hmm. Like it does lend weight to the things that we do, especially like, for example, we did a little bit of chores before the fight with Yulmar, like, because well, it wouldn't feel as weighty if it's like we're preparing to fight for Yulmar and then immediately fight. It's like no, we're part of the preparation, you know, like. Mm -hmm. To really make it feel like, you know, the build-up. You're there for the build-up. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of reminds me a little I... bit of the Deadpool game, where it's like, oh, man, a turret section? Games are running out of ideas. And then it immediately follows up. Uh, okay, but we're still going to have a turret section, though. It's like, okay, well. <laughs> I think in... R JRPGs in particular, I have a pretty high tolerance mm -hmm. for that kind of stuff. It for me, I think it depends on the genre. For sure, most likely. Yeah, because if it's a JRPG, I'm mostly there for the story. So gameplay wise, I kind like I've noticed I mostly don't care what the gameplay does. Yeah, at the end of the day, like these kind of quests, they're not functionally that much different from the other 
main story quest stuff. Right. You're still just going to talk to people and click on an area True. until the taskbar is finished. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe it's the context that used... I, I say used to annoy me because I don't mind them now. It's just like these were one of the things I remember back when I wasn't into this game yet that kind of turned me off, but now I understand their significance. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Sometimes you're just ready to get on with the story and then, oh, I gotta go do a chore. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, they're dead. Oh, well, Turvy's dead. Crystal's enjoying herself. <laughs> they're fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, more fake. Okay. They're like, oh, no, you touched on water. Oh. Look at their little vests. Oh, yeah, these guys. I, I, I forget about these guys sometimes. <laughs> Sharp dressers. Mm -hmm. This game wants to be more RPG than an MMO. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and also, like, for better or for worse, the goal of all of these menial tasks is to do the more literal sense of role playing. You are playing the role of someone who's going through all these tasks. A lot of the side content does a lot better job of, like, integrating that kind of stuff. You think so? Yeah. It's like just the Beast Tribe stuff. Mm -hmm. And of course, they do they do have to have an excuse for you to meet these Beast Tribes as well. And it's like, you know, part of the whole story of like, well, they don't trust us, so we got to earn their trust, you know. It's a necessary evil. But some people, like Larry, are not going to mind them one bit. And they're like, oh boy. <laughs> yup. <laughs> it's very much, you know. That's why games are an art, not a science. They're, you know, one one man's awful, annoying gameplay feature is gonna be another man's oh boy content. Yep, that's that's me. <laughs> that's yeah, that's totally all me. totally fine. And I be yeah. I, I'm making sure to make that clear in my video as well. It's like right. I, I had all these complaints, but it's like I'm acknowledging that plenty of people, it's like it's everything's a banger. And it's like, yeah, it's really goes to show that games are, you know, all a taste thing. Really? Your mileage yeah, may vary. Speaking of most, annoying most quests, definitely. I'm trying to find this freaking receipt item thing from a kobold looking <laughs> thing and I... Uh, you gotta go eat the worms. I do? Yeah. Well, no, I think I'm just collecting their merchant from Mord Sook, their, oh, their yeah, merchandise. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. I have to find who's has it. I'm like, oh my god. I'm just gonna click all of them. <laughs> Ooh, hunt mark. Did you pick worms when you when they gave you the snack option? It is a I delicacy. don't remember. Oh I found it. Thank God. <laughs> Get the fruit, yep. Sorry for changing the music. Oh no worries. It doesn't really matter. I, I just saw it, Mark. I had to go for it. Gotta get my nuts. Gotta get your nuts, man. Please do not take that out of context. No. Hey, thank God I finished my chores. How goes it, Victor? Well, I collect some fruit, I uh, pick some flowers. So a mix of menial tasks and pranks. Yes, that pretty much sums up my own experience. They have no trouble worthy of the name. How long are we supposed to keep at this? They're clearly playing with us. Indeed. Whenever I inquire how much more there is to be done, the answer is ever the same. A little. I doubt they have any intention of releasing us in the near future. Urian J once told me a story about the Pixies. They're born from the souls of those who died as children, or so it's believed. Though they don't have memories of their previous lives, the desire to have fun remains imprinted on their souls. And so they live only to play, keeping hapless mortals for their pleasure for years on end, sometimes even until death. 
Hmm. In the past, when I sought to identify the true nature of ghosts, I came upon literature examining a similar subject. The soul was likeness to the core of the residence, uh, resides in the ether, and its presence is what differentiates us from such beings as sprites and arcane entities. Upon death, said core ordinarily dissipates along, uh, alongside the ether that composes the flesh. However, it may be held together and bound to the corporeal realm, either by the will of its owner or by means of certain arts. In time, the soul may regather ether unto itself to assume another form or find newly emerged life in which to abide. The pixies may be one such instance of this. Ah, reincarnation. If ghosts are merely souls without bodies, what does that make us? I think you've become that which you fear most, brother dearest. <laughs> However the pixies may come into being, if we leave them to judge us, uh, judge when they are satisfied, we will never be satisfied. They will be never satisfied. <laughs> Nay, we must negotiate new terms with the creatures. But where to begin? It seems to me we would need at least one among them to sympathize with us. Ah! <gasps> In the course of your chores, did any, did any of you encounter a pixie who seemed even faintly amenable to reason? Fail. Ooh. My caretaker. What? You knew a pixie from before. Yeah, they've been like talking to my retainers and stuff. Not only are you acquainted, but you've entered into a pact. You might have mentioned this sooner. At any rate, I dare to hope this will offer us a way out. Without further delay, then, summon this Feo Ool, if you will. You're like, oh, uh, wasn't I supposed to do that? <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, shit, they're gonna be so <laughs> mad. Uh, Feo Ool. No. I do really like how they handled them. Mm hmm Yeah, they're so they're such a fun character. Alright, I gotta go and say. Let's see, say. Feo Ool. Voice rings out in your mind. That's always the best stuff during like when the patches come out and seeing everybody <laughs> gathering there and, and the in, say chat box is just chat. full of it. <laughs> yeah. Or people going uh, like messing it up and going, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fail all. Ah shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, my sapling has finally remembered about his lovely branch. But with such half-hearted call, he may as well lock me off and cast me aside. I have no sapling. It's the goddess from the goddess fairies from Zelda. <laughs> Fail. Ooh, maybe if I do it in all caps. Oh, no. Nope, that didn't work. Ooh. Oh, fail. Ooh. I remember, like, the first time I did this, like, fail, ool, come out for fuck's sake. <laughs> Please, fail, ool, I need you. I like when they let you make your phrase so long as you have a specific word in it. So yeah. I can just make my own sentence. Hey, Alexa, get fail, ool. <laughs> I met this new character in the story right now because, you know, I'm trying to catch up. Uh, Tessleen, she's really nice. <laughs> How dare you? I hope nothing bad happens. How dare you, Larry? It's fine. It's fine. Is that your idea of a fervent call? A sudden log could do it with more fire. All right. Oh, loveliest of branches, please grant me your sucker. <laughs> when you have to do spell check. <laughs> <laughs> Google sucker. Did I spell that right? You're late, 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 late. I've been waiting for you to summon me ever since you came here. Waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm sorry? But my sapling didn't so much as utter my name. Such a heartless thing he is. Cold and cruel and heartless. Nice to see you too. <laughs> Another self-important little brat. Just what we need. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Oh, oh my god, I love that. Oh, I, I, <laughs> they're, yeah. they're so good. Alright, I'm sorry. No. 
joke, man. Just a joke. Honestly, just a joke. This is what we call character development. <laughs> but just now you called for me so earnestly, so fervently. I couldn't possibly stay angry at you. Very well. As your lovely branch, I will lend you my strength. Did somebody say Snailing? Do you kiss your mother with m that mouth? Well, well, well. Jeez. If it doesn't feel, ooh, the mold of feel. It's been too, too long. I'm gonna wash your mouth out with soap. Not long enough for you to think of any new games, though, apparently. If I were you, I'd be bored of myself. Now let me make something clear. That mortal is mine. No matter what you do, he will never be yours. Never, never, ever! Oh, not even a bit. But what about the others? Surely we can keep them. No, no, no! You can't keep them either! They're for my amusement and mine alone! <laughs> this really does sound like children talk. <laughs> it makes sense. And if you lay so much as a finger on my sapling, I'll scatter the contents of his bag all over your precious village. Oh, no. Oh, shit, that's a real threat. <laughs> Cold, hard metal, furry, festering food, stinky, sweaty, small clothes, hey. and, and all manner of other terrible, unmentionable things. How would you like that? Hmm? Listen, I clean my small clothes every day. Thank you very much. Everything else is true, though. Yeah. Festering food. Oh, festering food. Right, yeah. There's right. like 90 but pizzas in mine right now. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a bunch of totems Just from trials that I haven't turned in. Aye, aye, that's all we ask. And we promise we'll play nicely. Thousands, thousands of boiled eggs. It seems we won't be joining you. Aye! <laughs> we'll reveal the hidden fern neck to you at once. I still got a bunch of Vesper Bay tickets because I forgot I even had them. <laughs> they're all old and wrinkly and like they're basically tissue paper by now. I can't use them when I actually needed them. I oh, just got to experience it for real then. Got to uh, immersion. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I have to go to the Waking Sands, I just curse Lolo Rito. My favorite fate is pray destroy the Waking Sands. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Better. I think I remember the way now. Apologies for the delay. Shall we go and see Uriange? Yes. Your lovely branch is useful, yes? So whenever you're in trouble, you must remember to make use of me! The actress, so go, nice. the actress goes so hard. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zeke, fail Ool, bruh. Please fail Ool. <laughs> Zeke, you can do it. I believe in you, bud. Dying. <laughs> <laughs> For Alphano and Alize's sake, let us be quick. It would be a shame to return only to find that they had been made to play one game too many. Now, the place we seek is the abandoned manor of the nobleman and scholar, the Booksman's Shelves, as it's called, after the fellow, the fellow's vast collection of tomes. An agreeable habitat for our friend, I'm sure you'll agree. If we follow the path north, we should find, soon find the place. Come along. Say why he, thank you. You have been, say why he has been MVP, like gifting five subs almost like every stream. Thank you. Very generous of you. Send Uriange my regards, and tell him to live somewhere less annoying like next time. Uh, can't not, promise we shall that. Be fine. <laughs> no promises. I want to know what new players think when they start this game and then they just see the Final Fantasy XV car show up. <laughs> like, like, what do they think? <laughs> uh, Echo had a I wonderful reaction. Yeah. I wish I was recording it. He's like, I just remember thinking, I was like, I want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's usually what would probably happen, right? Like, oh, that's so cool. What is that? Oh, I want that. My favorite reaction yeah. was um, 
back before, everyone's favorite Final Fantasy XIV player, Asmongold, was watching, like, a video on all the different mounts. Like, he was, uh, yeah. you know, I'm not saying anything about his opinion on anything, but, like, he, a lot of the mounts were not his jam, and he's like, this is dumb, this is stupid, this doesn't look fantasy, and then he saw the car, and he was like, oh. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the car is what sells people, you know? Let's go. And here we are at long last. I give you Urianje's humble abode. Come, let's see if he's home. I like reading. Oh wait, is it time? No, time it's, it's to gonna be voice. Uriange? He's gonna be voice. I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. So you're safe for now. Thank goodness. <laughs> Time for a lore dump. You better talk, Urianje. Wait, I, I never wanted to say that. Urianje, <laughs> are you in? <laughs> never in my life would I th say, yeah. would I think to say, oh, thank God, Urianje is going to speak. <laughs> yeah. Unto a world weary of heroes, a hero wins his way. I hate him. <laughs> the Exarch did send him. word that thou would seek me out. But ne'er did I imagine thou wouldst arrive so soon. The new drip. <laughs> he is such a drama queen. Yeah. He slowly walks down the stairs. <laughs> Full glad am I to see thee once more, my friend, and none the worse for thy <laughs> travails. I also love time skips, even though this is just a slight one. And kind of also Do not a time outside. skip is the you get to have character reintroductions and like reveals like this and I love that right yeah it's got two of the best tropes time skips and isekai yeah there you go another one for you to imbue if you'd be so kind does anyone know if the astrologians are like directly based on another Final Fantasy class I think so, yes. Tactics, I'm pretty sure. Yes, there is one in tactics. I take it thou hast met with our Okay, I'm not very familiar with tactics, sadly. Mm. Time mage. That's okay, yeah. me either. I just know green mage, yeah, and that's apparently, it. <laughs> apparently they're inspired by time mage as well, which is another I don't know where they're from, but yeah. <clears throat> I always kinda of wanted a like time mage, but as a tank. Hmm. Reverse the damage done to you. Ref yeah. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> damage reverse it. Yeah, magic mm -hmm. tank. Closest we got is Dark Knight. So we uh, traveled and we met these guys in Yulemore, and then they were really angry. Hmm. That Master Alfino and Mistress Alize now travel in thy company is of great comfort to me. It beginneth in earnest. The hunting it of the Light beginneth. Wardens and perforce the war with Yulemore. Hark thee then to my words. And through them, behold the vision that I did glimpse, that of the Eighth Umbral Calamity. As I drifted hither to the first, traversing the boundary twixt reality and potentiality, I did bear witness to events yet to come. There I saw the combined forces of Eorzea and the Far East offering fierce resistance to the legions of Garlemald. So fierce, in fact, that they did begin to push the enemy back. Ilm by painful Ilm at first, then Yalm by Yalm, and Malm by Malm in time. So we were winning. Yet the joy they felt was short-lived, for in so doing they did force the Empire's hand. Faced with defeat, the Garleans turned to a weapon most vile, Black Rose. Its potency defied all reckoning. Once released, the gas took on a life of its own, wreaking untold carnage not only in Eorzea, but in the provinces of the Empire besides. From fighters upon the front lines to babes in their beds, None were spared. And as the casualties became too numerous to count, so did the fabric of civilization begin to unravel. Gee. 
Nor did the land itself escape unscathed. For spreading from the site of its release, Black Rose brought death to the very soil. To survive amidst the chaos and upheaval, men came to live by the sword, the rule of law giving way, inevitably, to the rule of might. Thus was the spark struck and the fire kindled, and swiftly did it spread as a blaze in a field of straw to engulf every corner of the world. Nations worthy of the name did then cease to exist, and those souls brave and true who might have risen to restore order Oh no. Not Tartaru. God, the fact that Urian J had to see this. Yeah, that's one hell of a vision. Oh, oh we're wearing Tartaru's outfit. Yeah. Ranji saw this and went, finally. <laughs> Were no more. <laughs> For the weapon spared not one. Not even thee. My plan is complete. <laughs> <laughs> All according to thine Keikaku. An endless age of Kekaku war, means begotten plan. by the blight of Black Rose. Me meaneth, means Such is the legacy of the eighth umbral calamity which I did behold. No matter the cost, we must forestall this tragedy. To that end, I have labored during my sojourn in this world discovering in so doing the answer to a pressing mystery. That of Black Rose's inexplicable potency. Come. Okay. You son of a bitch, Does I'm in. recognize <laughs> yonder chart? Uh, oh yeah, that is the chart of the other. <laughs> Something to do with magic. Nah, Victor, Victor does his homework. That's from Eureka. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. It's laid out like <laughs> Eureka. That's right. There it is. Yeah. The fidget spinner. Let me, let me learn you nerds up, uh, that the, in, in the source, we learn about the elements and their weaknesses. So, so like, uh, earth beats lightning, lightning beats water, and water beats earth. And then the other two, the other elements, uh, fire beats ice, ice beats wind, because apparently ice is the, the magic of stop, or the element of stop, apparently, and wind is the element of movement, as I, apparently I learned from Garuda. It's whatever. I guess it makes enough sense. And then wind blows out fire. Uh, and ice is also, in the source, the closest uh, element attuned to light because it's all like stasis and brightness and all of that, whereas lightning is attuned to darkness because it's all chaotic and movie and fast. That's why uh, Holy Spirit has like a, a snowflake. Indeed. Tis a rendering Fun fact, of the elemental wheel. Such that was a question they asked us at the... the um, at that trivia game in FanFest, they asked, hey, which element beats fire? And it stumped everybody. Yeah, because it was like ice, water, water right? wind. Yeah, ice, water, wind. And the answer was wind. Because yeah. <laughs> apparently water doesn't, I guess. I, I don't know. It's it's so that there are two rock, paper, scissors that make sense with each other. So you kind of have to get rid of your preconceived Pokemon knowledge. Right. As the chart make it plain, our world is composed of six elements, in addition to which there exist two poles in fundamental opposition. Astral, the active. Umbral, the passive. Right. 
As a reflection of the source, the first naturally comprises the self-same forces. Yet, curiously, there is a notable divergence in their nomenclature. To be specific, the denizens of this world employ not the terms astral and umbral. Thus was I moved to inquire what names said forces had been assigned. A simple question which yielded a most unexpected answer. Upon demanding the name of the pole aligned with activity and growth, I was told that as life's myriad colors combined to produce black, the people of the first had called it darkness. At this, did my mind begin to race. Yeah, so like, it's interesting how we're looking at the philosophical way of looking at the elements and the difference between the source and the first. And I'm probably boring a bunch of people with my lore talk right now, but I don't care because I find it interesting. But like world building. how people in the source see the uh, the elements as like uh, kind of aspects of light where all of them combined makes light. However, in the, in the first, they see all the elements as pigments. And if you know anything about paint, you know that all the colors mixed together would make like a dark color, i.e. darkness. It was only when I asked what name had been given to the pole aligned with passivity uh, yes, Kingdom Hearts. that mine eyes were opened to the truth. I don't start. <laughs> and tranquility being as purest white unmarred by color, I was told it had been given the name of light. Yeah, so to them, umbral, light is umbral, and darkness is astral. Just like a different philosophy because of the environment they've grown up in. It's super cool. Mm -hmm. That's umbral lights and astral darkness, yes? I'm no etherologist, but it strikes me that the nomenclature of the first is rooted in the generation of the two forces, while our own appears to focus on their effects. Which makes one wonder, have we had it backwards all this time? Kingdom Hearts is umbral. <laughs> Tis indeed a compelling question, and one which beareth closer examination. Yet what knowledge we already possess sufficeth to explain the chain of events. The phenomenon of etheric thinning observed in the source is the consequence of light, the power of stasis, flowing in from the first to stifle the movement of ether within the land. And according to Master Alfino, Black Rose slayeth by halting the circulation of ether within living beings. Yep, and apparently a flood of light would be, you know, that stasis. A flood of light from the first would be that stasis that their, you know, Black Rose is all about. Mm -hmm. Should such a weapon be unleashed even as the first were rejoined, replete as it is with light. So it's like they're kind of playing into, they're kind of feeding into each other where all this flood of light makes Black Rose stronger and vice versa. Yeah, I was wondering how those two connected it because, like, we would have I remember hearing this at the time and then forgetting some of hands. these details. Yeah. The calamity. Yeah, they it's have to happen at the same time. High That's like concept. the whole. Yeah, it's very high concept, like in lore, like magic physics. So. Yeah, that that's like the whole Ashian's goals. Like we know about this by now. Yeah. But um, they're like they need to cause these calamities at the same time as they're uh, making these other things happen on the source, so that the, that way they sync up. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. And effectively, what we see in, like, the cinematic intro is pretty much where the world would be, like, if Black Rose got unleashed. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Well, at least we have a better grasp of what we're facing. Our objective, however, remains unchanged. We are to eliminate the Light Warden of Ilneg. It's kind of like, you know those plastic wrappings on, like packages that like you just can't open unless you make a single little puncture it's like, right, yeah, like uh -huh. causing causing uh, a little like chaos in the source is kind of like making that puncture and then you ripping open the open uh -huh. the wrapping is like the calamity and the influx of of ether from the other reflection being flooding in yeah 
That's a very good analogy, yeah. actually. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Speaking of which, were you able to ascertain its whereabouts? Aye. Tis all but certainly ensconced within Lear Gear, the castle which standeth in the midst of the lake. Listen, uh, analogies are half of my humor, so. <laughs> use ensconced in another sentence, Uriange. Uh, <laughs> what is the definition of ensconced, please? <laughs> That is a good question. Where are you pulling these words from? He just has a thesaurus with him at all times. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say his favorite book is the thesaurus. To it enter definitely said is. stronghold, we must needs turn to the pixies for aid. Fortunately, I have become quite adept at courting their cooperation. Henceforth shall I accompany you and do all in my power to ensure that my vision doth not come to pass. What did they say he did for a week? Oh, just play riddles with them, I guess. I assume, I assume they gave him a bunch of riddles and he was able to solve like one after another and probably took a lot of time thinking as well. And that's probably the only reason why he's not dead there. That's like why he's able to live there in peace just yeah. fine. It's because he outsmarted them. Yep. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're crazy? I'm, I'm a little crazier. <laughs> All right, Larry. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Let's go. Uh, my friend, <laughs> ere I speak of the task at hand, there is a question I would pose to thee. Uh, what thinkest thou of mine <laughs> appearance? <laughs> Am I cute? <laughs> you're adorable, Orianje. Um... Ooh. Thanketh thee. Did you lose weight? <laughs> Did I lose weight? If tis of flesh thou speakest. <laughs> flesh. I cannot rightly say. However, in taking up astrology, I may have shed with some yams of fabric. <laughs> My my present attire better suiteth the art. The <laughs> fuck? <laughs> though, <laughs> though the night be losteth beyond the shroud of blinding light, doubt not but the stars shine still. I have chosen to avail myself of their guidance that I might navigate the sea of uncertainty that stretcheth before us. Larry, can you give me uh, a... One uh, Levio saw. Of Levio saw. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one. Ronald uh. Weasley. <laughs> but enough of myself. Let us now speaketh of our task. As I did mention, if we are to enter Li Gia, we must needseth gain the Pixie's cooperation. This is a simple matter of presenting unto them a suitable gift. Ooh. It's Christmas time after all. Oh yeah. I shall procureth a selection of viands and that shall please their palates. Thancred, pray assist me in this endeavor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Meanwhile, Victor. I bid thee obtain that which please their eyes. In these parts there abideth of a vilkin known as a butaceous wings. The, okay. The hawker. I shall lend thee a receptacle within thou mayest capture a weakened specimen. Here you go. Thank you. You did this to yourself, Larry. I'm sorry to myself. <laughs> Look at all these book nerds studying up on their homework. Reading all about the ether flow and the astral and umbral elements. I appreciate you for not talking to him after the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> all this magic science. Mm -hmm. e e oh. Wee. 
god, this has been really fun. Like, everyone who's been following along and, like, role-playing each area I go to. Like, when I went to the Azim Step in, uh, Reunion, people were, like, peddling with the merchants and stuff. It was very fun. Oh, yeah? That's cool. Uh, oh, I'm at the dungeon, so I hop out it now. Alright, see you on the other side. God, the music goes so hard. <laughs> oh, did I not get my thing? Okay, I guess not. Oh, I need to capture a weakened one. Ah, I'm dumb. Oops. Use the receptacle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just, I just see a thing, and I just gotta, I just gotta kill it. Larry, you're doing a uh, home insert switch, right? Yes. God, that is also such a good dungeon. Best this starting is... dungeon. Yeah, I think I meet Tesleen in this dungeon. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, unfortunately, that is it for Larry. I hope everyone enjoyed his guest appearance. Uh, say bye to Larry. He's kicked out. <laughs> no. Here I go. It's Tataru seeing Tesleen being turned into a Sin Eater and fly away. Bye, Tesleen. I hope to see you again. Uh, Norded Tataru, thank you Sorry, very much. Sorry, Norded Tataru. Kidding you know, <laughs> I'm Tataru, but I, I just put the eyes as Norded color <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Keyblade. Aqua got Norded. That sounds vaguely sexual. Is that oh, I wanted a step on you. That's that is sexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a tank. I have to tank. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody dark. to go. The pixies shall be well pleased with these gifts. Ah, lest Thank I you for forget. talking, Rian J. Oh, where the hell did you get that? White orosite, newly that looks forged dangerous, for dude. Use. I don't Our think you should hold that. Water rejoining, we will most assuredly cross paths with those who crave the contrary, our eternal enemies. Thus did I choose to abide in this ether-rich land, the better to fashion a trap for the Asian's essence. Well, he just made one. Just out of all right. Well, geez, you've leveled up. Moonbrita would be proud. Mm -hmm. Oh, Moonbrita. Moonbrita, I love you. I miss you. So does Orianje. That minion description. <laughs> yeah, the, oh Japanese, my God, yeah. the Japanese the description is apparently a lot more wholesome, talking about how, like, he made it from memory. Mm hmm. But the, but the English one is like, I wonder what he's doing with that. <laughs> he's like, oh, stop. Yeah. That is true. He did have three years to work on it. I guess that's enough time to make lost. one singular piece of white oresite. That's my girl. Thank you. Pet, pet. I should probably explain. Though my body remained behind in the source, its limitations saw fit to accompany me, which is to say, I cannot manipulate ether. Still. I took up the gun blade for its defensive advantages, but on account of my little impairment, I cannot imbue gun. the ammunition myself. Luckily for me, Minfilia has quite a talent for it. Minfilia, once we set forth, we are not like to return for some while. If thou wouldst choose tomes to take with thee, let it be now. Aww. Really? May I? Of course, my dear. Yet have care thou dost not add overmuch to thy burden. She's adorable. Lest I incur Thancred's ire. <laughs> Hell yeah, two dads. Crazy Uncle Ariange.
This is the boss from the Shadowbringer cinematic. Hast thou spoken to him of thine encounter with the Minfilia of Eld? Well, I suppose now is as good a time as any. As you know, I freed young Minfilia from captivity in Yulmor some three years past. Not long after, the two of us journeyed to the south of Armoreng, to the edge of the empty, where the flood was halted. It was there that she awakened. The Minfilia of old. My Minfilia. Aww. Don't cry, don't cry. Tell me, tell me, what must I do to bring you back? My dearest Thancred, as I am now, I am no different from an Asian. This child is but a vessel, one of many I have used that I might spread word of her enduring blessing and preserve the flame of hope. In my name, each has died, never having lived her own life. I have taken enough from these children. I will take no more. But what of your suffering, your sacrifice? This isn't fair! I will not stand for it. I cannot. There must be something we can do. Tell me! Should the day come when this child grows weary of fighting and wishes to cast it all aside, then shall I take up her burden. But should she wish instead to become the master of her own destiny, then shall I bequeath to her my all. Imbued with the strength that I reserve for rebirth, she may come to wield my powers as her own. And what of my wishes? What of Flamines? What of all the people who love and care for you and want nothing more than to see you again? It is not their decision to make. It is hers. This child's. This Minfilia's. You have ever watched over me, Thancred. Oh, 1.0. Now I ask that you do the same for her. Protect her. Teach her. Stand by her as you stood by me. God, that is such a nice touch as well that, like, they still call back to 1.0. This must have been, like, a crazy yeah. fan service for those who, who played 1.0. I do wish they had a few more, like, scenes actually showing off the 1.0 cutscenes mm -hmm. just to get better understanding. Yeah. Would be nice. Maybe someday. There is it would be really good in particular for Coil. She oh, needs yeah. a guide to show Coil her the ways of the it. world, or she will never find her own path. Yeah, Coil, Coil feels like a bookend to 1.0, like the conclusion of 1.0, mm -hmm. in a way. Yes, yes. When the time comes, you will find me here. Until that day. Minfilia, wait! What? What happened?
and then she was gone. Minfilia, the girl, claims to have no recollection of any of it. I have told her many things, where we came from, what we fight for, but of that day, I have not spoken. I'm not going to pressure him. I'm actually not going to say anything here. I don't want to make him come up with an answer right now, because I'm sure he doesn't even know. With the coming of another possessed of the blessing of light, the first hath begun to rise up in defiance of its fate. The question remaineth, however, who shall take up the flame of hope which Minfilia hath borne for so long? Whether we will it or no, the choice must soon be made. We can do it. Found your book? I'm sorry I took so long. It was so hard to choose. In the end, I settled on just the one. Oh. It's your thesaurus, Arianje. <laughs> that is well. <laughs> now, if all is in order, let us set forth for Lida Loran. She knows what she's doing. She's stealing his book so he can't say any <laughs> big words. Uh, saith thou... Uh, per, per, He's like reaching in his like his back pocket. <laughs> Where didst I put thine thesaurus? Um, <laughs> it was all an act. <laughs> that was that was a great cutscene. Um, I, I would like to say something about this dungeon though. Uh, this boss I'm fighting uh -huh. uh, also has a, a boss named Tesline. <laughs> I thought that was kind of anyway. weird. get to teleport back to the fairies and not worry about trauma of good people dying and being transformed into horrifying monstrosities. When did that happen? This boss is just also named Tesla. <laughs> it's just the sheer coincidence. <laughs> it just happened, so happened. It's a common name. That yes. could be any Tesla. <laughs> it yeah. could be anybody. <laughs> we weren't expecting you all back so soon. We had scarcely begun playing with the twins. That said, your gifts are truly wonderful. Let me tell you, the milk and honey and biscuits won't be uh, won't last a day. And the wings are the loveliest that we've ever seen. You've done us a great kindness, and it's Fay custom to return the gesture. If you desire anything of us, you but name it. How about a bunch of XP for my dragoon? Let me do my dailies. Oh, here we go. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> oh no. I'd be willing to wait for you. I, I might take the moment to get some snacks so you can quickly catch up. I think after this dungeon, it because like I was watching like so far what you've done, it didn't seem like it was a whole lot. No, I you've mean, got after the dungeon, you've got one instance and then just like the chores with the pixies and that's kind of it. Yeah, yeah, like that might okay. still be an hour. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, what is it you desire? Rusty old coins like you mortals aren't wont to collect, perhaps? I'll take them so you could focus on your thing. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no worries. We are I'm being resolved. well done. We are resolved to vanquish the light one of this land. To that end, we desire entry to Li Li Gia. I can I can do what I can do uh, A R R Thancred pretty hard, <laughs> or rather uh, Urianje. Same thing. What a strange thing to wish for. You might as well ask for your death. But if that is what you want, who are we to argue? Very well, I shall speak with the others. So you've clearly been busy, Ariange. Would you be so kind as to tell us what we've missed? Thine happest that I was... Wouldest thou? So, that was the purpose of the gifts. 
Is there anything you can tell us about this Light Warden? Aye, my lady. By circumstances most tragic, the Light Warden of this land is our king and ruler, Titania. Oh, is our king and ruler, Titania? Sorry. <laughs> it was not always so, of course. Our king fought the first Light Warden that threatened our home, you see. Fought it and won. Are you sure she doesn't sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> But all the horrible light that came out and went and clapped at them. <laughs> That's so Uyin's new voice now. Turning them into new light wardens. <laughs> now, their king only in name, not the remains of the wise and the just ruler that once what used to be. We no. have no choice. No. <laughs> but uh, but <laughs> to seal them in the castle, huh? No. <laughs> the magic for breaking the seal, we divided into four and wove each into a different relic to be kept apart until the time was right. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> And this dress is one of them. It's been in our safekeeping for years and years, but we've decided to entrust it to you. Are you sure? So good. <laughs> ah, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made a friend. See, this is why you ha I have you on the show. <laughs> Though so you're, you're okay. most certain going to your death, we thought we should at least let you try. That way we get to watch what happens. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can't break the rule, break the seal until you have the other relics too. The shell crown is within Firth, the, the stone scepter is within Numor, and the crystal shoes are within Amaro. It's not a tumor. <laughs> it's not a tumor, it's an Amaro. <laughs> Good luck finding them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fact thus disclose confirm my own understanding. Our quest lieth now before us. First, let us he to the lake, there to claim the shell crown from the foie. If we call them before the untouchable gate, they will answer. Seriously, what's those with the accent? On you want an Arnold Uwu? <laughs> Uwu! Ha ha! What's this? Ha! Ah! So good. What is this bulge, Uwu? <laughs> now we gotta get some MacGuffins. Mm hmm. Before we do though, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna take a snack break and uh, turn on my fan because it's hot in here. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, Dan, Larry, uh, I don't know, be yourselves. We are back. Hi. Uh. Uh. <laughs> he left us. Oh jeez. It's our stream now. <laughs> Chat it. It's our stream now. Well, uh, I'm playing as Tataru Norded. I'm fighting this last boss. I think it's called a Light Warden. Not sure why I'm doing these good things for people because I I, I, I think Tataru Norded prefers darkness, but wait, that wouldn't mean I would want to do this. Oh, I'm standing in everything. No, 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 no. That boss was just named Tesling. You guys are wrong. It's a sheer coincidence. Sheer yeah. coincidence right there. You guys are wrong. I am playing as Tataru, who has joined the Sure We Love Being Xehanort Club. Has it been on record that uh, like Yoshi Pete wants to stay as far away from Kingdom Hearts as possible? Eh, that, that would make sense. Just for like rights reasons? Yeah, because Disney, like not even Square Enix wants to touch Disney. Which is why it's crazy how they managed to get Sora and Smash, because... 
Not they even Square Enix wants to talk to this. They spent billions on that one keychain. <laughs> yeah. They had to go to the to the Mickey Mouse blood pool and just throw a bunch of money into it as a blood offering. Banff Knight, you're right, is not simple and clean. <laughs> what, Kingdom Hearts story? No, no, no. No, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts uh, rights. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that too. They are both not simple and clean. So, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. Really? And um, because oh. because I hear such conflicting things about how many people, just as many people love it as there are people who hate it, and usually they're the uh -huh. same person who does. It's oh. a yes. beautiful mess. Should I play them? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. But, okay, I would love... Kingdom Hearts is one of those things where I would love to be able to just forget that I played it and replay it. Mm -hmm. And so you have a beautiful thing, Joe, that you can do that. All play right. it without knowing it. That's a beautiful gift. Mm -hmm. um, and then some people may ask, well, which game should I play? Because there's a whole bunch of them. To which I would answer all of them. Oh. Uh, Even in the, the order that they were released. Even the card game? Yep, just release order. Yep. Mm. Especially the card game. <laughs> Wait, you mean Chain of Memories? Yeah, that. Yeah, that's important. Mm. <laughs> I actually like Chain of Memories. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm alone in that sometimes, but I like it. I liked it. I liked Recoded, and that is something that a lot of people probably did not like, but there was one thing at the end that made the whole thing worth it. No. Yeah, we'll go that far for Recoded. No. <laughs> no, no thanks. I draw the line there. Do you think I would not I, do it again. Do you think I should play the mobile MMO game? Well, I think it's dying you now. Can't. Oh, oh, you, you can't. can't. Oh, which is it, great because it, <laughs> it has integrals plot. Oh. <laughs> it's so much background plot from what it's I hear. Super important. Jeez, it's like half of the villains rely on it. <laughs> All right. I I joined this dungeon with Very, and she goes. After we finish, she goes. If thou requirest mine aid again, let me know. <laughs> I'm like, Fuck. Uh, thank you, anybody who, in, who's watching the stream and helping Larry through his dungeon. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. I need the help. All right, has anybody in chat, because maybe we can uh, crowdsource this information, has anybody in chat recently gone through and just skipped through the cutscenes of Shadowbringers? Not like you should, but, you know, on an alt. Um... How long did it take you to get from the first dungeon to the second dungeon? I'm sure there are some people who must have. Like, I remember there was one, like, a yeah. few hours, ten minutes. It's not a few hours. Yeah. Skipping sk skipping cutscenes. Yeah, skipping cutscenes. I, I can't imagine. Yeah, probably, like, 15 minutes. That, that sounds reasonable. 15 Unfortunately, minutes. I have a friend who is, like, skipping all of the 14 story just because they kind of have it in their mind that like MMO storylines are just too long winded man and they're just not giving it the time of day sadly ah uh, like 14 is a book yeah and like skipping through it is like I mean the, you're uh I this is not WoW's fault right but I feel as though WoW has tainted a lot of people's view on how to play other MMOs Mm -hmm. and I'd say it's exactly because of WoW that he does not want to give the story the time yeah, of day. It's because of WoW, but it's not like WoW set out to do that. It's just a shame that that's most people's experience with MMOs is WoW because, you know, WoW's story hasn't really mattered all that much. Yeah, the, the WoW experience is I'm going to start this game and I got to grind to max level to start the game. Yeah, but like 14, that's not the game 14. is always there. Like, especially considering like, when when someone was like, I want to, uh, I can't wait to do all the end game raids. I'm like, the raids are always there. Like once you hit fifty, it's like a bunch of raids open up. Then once you hit sixty, a, mu a bunch more raids open up. It's like mm -hmm. they're always there. It's not Walls' yeah, fault. Playing the it really game. Is. It's, it's like like I said, it, it didn't set out to do this, but it's a shame that that's just kind of the mindset people are. And and other MMOs kind of have to go out of their way to like push you out of that mindset, like Guild Wars. Guild Wars, I love the way Guild Wars presents its story, how you get to, you know, 
have your character's backstory and stuff come up and have them talk and stuff like but that must have taken a lot of budget to to do that i'm sure and the raids are always relevant yeah i love that i love that about this game and that that there's a reason to play old content not only just because of the level sync thing Yeah, the level sync and the way that you can play old raids and stuff is one of the best parts of this mm -hmm. game. The fact that the end game like currency having being given to you by doing the roulettes, like giving you an incentive to to match up with people to do those old content. So smart. Yeah, and like how WoW just, yeah, like somebody said they leave their old content alone, like yeah. in the trash, basically. It's like, yeah, like you, you spent all this time to make this thing. Don't throw it out, yeah. like utilize it. Yeah. 14, like, obviously they still have, like some of the content in ARR and uh, Heaven's Word is very much neutered because of just uh, like just the fundamental changes that have happened. Right. But it's like they still incentivize you to play that content even after mm -hmm. you've gone through it once. So like that content's still alive. You can still do Odin if you want to, stuff like that. Yeah, and like because they're there, and like some people will want to just do them just because, like for fun. Yeah, I'm still waiting to find a stack to do like men I level like extremes like in ARR. Like just I want to do some of that stuff, yeah. but I don't really want to pug it. So. <laughs> Well, like the the older raids yeah like i i want to do like mm -hmm. some of the extreme trials just because yeah. just to see that content but like also some of them can be pretty involved so doing it with randos might be kind of messy yeah yeah you need a pre-made group mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's like i've done like ramu extreme um like ramu extreme leviathan and shiva extreme with like a couple friends and like those were really fun to learn but uh yeah, just it's a little difficult when you're working with randos who may or may not know the mechanics. Yeah, right. I mean, like it can be done, but it's definitely going to be more painful. Ramu is during a run we're born. Ramu was the hardest one by yeah. far, in my that, opinion. That was actually the first one I learned. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it was it was hell. But like as a tank, it, like just learning the tank swap and that that was like a really fun experience that I'm hoping to have again pretty soon with another group. Yeah, because it was cool. Like, you couldn't, like, it's like, oh, we got to do a tank swap. But no, you there's a whole mechanic to let you do the tank swap in the first place, which was super interesting. And a lot of tanks at the time couldn't do it. So I, I just learned how to tank because nobody else was doing it. But yeah, like, but whenever I do it, I was like, all right, if I'm going to have a tank partner, I need it to be a friend that I can just contact. Yeah. Uh-huh. That I can just tell, okay, so we'll know when we need the swap because some like i've had to explain to other tanks uh like how to focus target just so they can see oh, the yeah. timer and see you that was yeah, a game yeah, changer how long when I you what focus target was yeah because like i haven't had to do that aside from my move granted i haven't done a lot of the other extreme fights mm -hmm. yeah the thing is with, with Ramu, it, it was so hard to do the tank mechanic that people elected to just do a single tank strat instead oh so they could burn him down faster well, because the the mechanic to do the swapping was too annoying, oh, so, so they you would bother. just so they didn't bother. So they would just single tank it and have the tank just eat up all the orbs. Mm. But the problem with that was that it made the tank harder to heal. So back then, you you were able to use a scholar's lustrate, and lustrate was HP percentage based. Ooh. It wasn't just like it wasn't just like a flat heal. So because the debuff get, uh, made it harder to heal, the percentage base less straight wasn't affected by it. And so you could just bring in a bunch of scholars and heal through the infirmity. Mm. That's I what will people did. Yeah, someone said, or use Titan, which I learned from your video that you mentioned that yeah. you just bring a summoner, just have mm -hmm. Titan tank it. 
They yeah, they nerfed that pretty quick mm -hmm. <laughs> because they did not like that. <laughs> yeah, that got nerfed like in like a two weeks or something. Oh jeez. Yeah, like super quick. They were like, uh oh, this is a problem. Yeah. The more I learn about WoW, the more I'm like, be kind to WoW players. They've been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. They've had a rough time. It's like the more I I'm just video. like, Wait, what? Why would you do that? Right. Yeah. Like hearing how their grinds work is like, oh my god. Yeah. The best analogy I've heard is like, if, uh, if you've only played fourteen, I guess an analogy could be used of like, let's say you wanted to get gold saucer coins, right? But um, uh -huh. in order to do it, you had to basically, uh, if you did nothing but gold saucer, you would get diminishing returns on your MGP. Um, Good, of course. <laughs> and then uh, in order to maximize your MGP, you would have to go do one run of Palace of the Dead. Uh, and then that would give you like a bonus to your MGP for a little while before that diminished. Uh, and then um, you would also okay. need to go do... Uh, basically, you, you if you wanted MGP, you basically had to do duty roulette instead of just yeah, stay in the gold saucer. To keep getting it. Yeah, don't you want to do that? It, doesn't yeah. that sound fun? <laughs> you don't get to, to make actually play the game the way you want it. No. Yeah. That sounds fun to me. Yeah. Makes me think of uh, Carbot animations. <laughs> I, I used to watch his videos like back I like when Carbot. I played Starcraft. Yeah, like. It, I, it threw me for a loop that he made 14 stuff because I remember watching his stuff like back in the Starcraft days <laughs> and then I saw he made a video about like uh, WoW players like leaving their ship and, <laughs> and like they're all starving oh. and trying to find a new home and they see 14. I love his first video where he in the character creator the only thing he does is turn the boob slider all the way to <laughs> <Yeah>. 100. <laughs> yeah. And then hit end. I'm like ah oh, that's yeah. yeah. I'm back. I'm back. We'll come back. Also, Larry, I uh, saw that you're in Ilmeg. You're, you're nearly there. I'm nearly. Wait, no, I'm not in Ilmeg. You're not? No. Wait, hold on. I saw Tataru. Tataru That's Nord. not me, Tataru. I'm getting drunk at the moment, oh, apparently. Oh, nice. Also, I since. Drink uh, a, I drank that potion. Oh, no, you're at the Crusader. Okay, never mind. Also, since we were talking about uh, uh, Ramu, I actually got this mount like first try. Oh, nice. <laughs> first <Let's> clear. Go. <laughs> Got very lucky. Wait, is that the entrance to the... Do you have the dungeon unlocked right now? Uh, no, I don't think so, but I still wanted to okay. wait just in case. Yeah, uh, so keep doing it, and then if this takes too long, then go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm sure you'll be I'll, caught up by the I'll time we do the tell. trial, I'm sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Hearken to me, O oh spirits of water. We are come with an entreaty. On the talkative mood, apparently. I'm not sure, exactly sure how the gate works. But if the Fwath are water spirits, perhaps we, sh we should take us our search into the lake. <laughs> uh, oh, I suppose a brief dip wouldn't hurt. That boy just isn't very buoyant. We all know Thancred swims like an eel, but what of you, Menphilia? I can swim well enough. Thancred taught me. Excellent. Okay, so we're at least here. <laughs> what about you, Uriange? I'm not sure I've, uh, I've ever asked. <laughs> Rather than swim, mayhap it would be more expeditious to walk upon the surface by means of magic. You too, Uriange, that you should be so be a kindred spirit. Worry not, my friend. I know some helpful tricks that I should be more than happy to share with you. Together we shall conquer the waves. I love how enthusiastic he is about it. <laughs> well, well, aren't we a lively lot? And you have an entreaty for us, you say? An entreaty from, from mortals? What a treat! What That's the perfect voice. <laughs> That's really good, yeah. That's really good. <laughs> Aye, my comrades and I are on a quest to vanquish the Light Warden. 
To that end, we would humbly beg the loan of the Shell Crown, which we are given to understand is in the safekeeping of your people. Oh, is that all? Of course, of course, you may have it. You shall have it. Just like that. What do you want from us? Oh, -ho! no need to be so suspicious. <laughs> the crown simply doesn't mean much to us at all. As a matter of fact, <laughs> nothing means much to us, for we, fwaf, it's over before it's begun, and we ca couldn't care less what becomes of the Fairy King, nor the world for that matter. Having said that, we do s so seldom have mortal visitors, and it would seem a shame not to make the most of you. Touch the untouchable gate, and come hither to our domain, Don Meg. In your tongue, it means forbidden realm. Sounds forbidding, yes? And so it should, for we are one of the water, our home wrought with ripples and waves and currents. Find your way through, give us thrilling spot, and we will give you the crown. Can you... When we see more of them, can you give, like, one of the Floth, like, a Kermit voice? <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to Don Meg. Alright, so, <laughs> I got Dan here, so let me get my list. Hold on, who's who's next on the list? Uh, I have a list of people because more people keep showing up and I want them all to have a chance to play. So, uh, let's see, is Megalar. Megalar has gone to sleep and has not come back. Uh, appears not, so we'll not worry about them. Uh, Let's see, uh, Ash is Ash here. Ash is not. Uh, la la la. Uh, I think we did have Helen, actually. I don't know why I didn't scratch her name out. Do, 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 do. Nadia. Is Nadia here? Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. Yeah, the, I think we went with Helen last time. Uh, Nadia is not here. Sammy. Does Sammy want to go? Sammy's not here. Uh, Lind. Is Lind? Yeah, Lind's here. Hey, there you are. Nadia's in front of you? Oh, sorry, there's a, a lot of people. There you are. Yeah, we'll invite you. There we go. So, Nadia and Lind. You guys, I'm crossing you off of my list. There we go. Okay. So, uh, you mind one of you change into a DPS if you have one? I mean, we can't do two healers. This is a very hurdy dungeon. I'll just stick with Red Mage. I have Dancer. That would work. So, the, uh, this was the dungeon that was at the Mediator. So, at, at Mediators, they always do the the second dungeon. Ah. So, it's interesting why at this recent one, they only did the first dungeon. Hmm. So, that would mean that everything past that is way too spoilery. Ah, I, I see. I think is what that would mean. Wow. Yeah, so that just makes me even more excited. Me too. It's like, what What could there possibly be? Is this going to be like hit after hit of story, apparently? Right. I can't wait. Also, this dungeon is extremely pretty. I really like this dungeon. All the Shadowbringers dungeons, honestly. Yeah, and this one uh, really teaches you why the uh, the theme song for the boss is now fall. Oh. Like they just go all out with the like environmental art, art design. It's incredible. Like Absolutely. look at these greens and purples. Mm -hmm. The rolling hills of flowers. God. All this topiary, which is probably cursed. <laughs> <laughs> That's made of some kind of soul. Water is love, water is life. Drink up, ye parched souls. <laughs> That's so perfect. And Don Fast Basket. All right. All right, yep. Like I said, this dungeon is very hurdy. For some reason, like, Shadowbringer's dungeons hurt for some reason. All the ones below uh, 80.
and the old, uh, and then the, the flowers. Flower curtain, just like, mm -hmm. oh, oh, so pretty. So good. Mm -hmm. Like, all these dungeons are just 10 out of 10 knocked out of the park. Mm -hmm. I can't wait till we can explore the rest of the dungeons, because I think they're slowly adding explorer mode to, like, previous expansion dungeons as well. I think some Stormblood to our the explorer mode works on already, right? Come back. Uh, explore mode on older dungeons? Yeah, I think I think I remember Does seeing it? a few. I don't know. I could be wrong. I actually don't know. I I've actually never even done it. Oh. <laughs> I've never even tried. It's great for video making. Yeah. I did it for the first time at the media tour. Oh. <laughs> Nice. I was like, I've never even pushed this button before. Oh, I'm in the instance, by the way. Oh, nice. So yeah, I should meet up by the time you're at the trial. Yep. Cause that's that's 73, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh god. Yep. And here we see the uh, the hurdy, how hurdy this dungeon is that the healer was not able to keep me up <laughs> because uh, which I do not blame them because this dungeon hurts a lot. Yeah. It does. I might be able to stay alive. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no worries. This dungeon's hard to heal. I probably shouldn't have pulled that big anyway. You're okay. You're okay, Lind. They covered my Tataru glamour. How dare they? Tataru has now found armor. There's nothing can stop her now. Yeah. The day Tataru picks up a sword, we're doomed. I'm waiting for it, and then Walker, it's mm. gonna happen. She's gonna come in, we're gonna fight Xenos, which is not a spoiler. Uh, like, we, we see Xenos is alive uh, at yep. the end of Stormblood. We fight Xenos. And Tataru comes in and she's like, that's, that's enough out of you, mister. And then Xenos just like, gets annihilated. Ah! It's just like, Tataru comes in to This was not the hunt I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> well, mister, it's time for you to have a nap. And then Xenos just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> He just gets erased, just <laughs> Thanos snaps. Tataru with the Infinity <laughs> Gauntlet. <clears throat> and then she shows up in Kingdom Hearts. Did somebody <laughs> say the door to darkness? <laughs> Someone say the door to darkness. Oh god. There you go. She would build like a like a uh, tourist locale in the world of darkness and charge absorbent amounts of money. Yeah. Spelt with a Y <laughs> at the end. M U N N Y. Money. Sorry for this mediocre Dark Knight play. I haven't done it in a while. So I'm missing all of my cooldowns. Oh yeah, if these NPCs could judge me in this instance, they would uh, they would fail me. I'm just pushing buttons. The ones that light up. <laughs> ah, and Dark Knight doesn't even have much going on either, so... <laughs> Yeah, which is why I don't know why I keep forgetting to push my cooldowns when they're... Because, like, it has yeah. less going on than, say, like, Paladin. But I don't know, mm -hmm. I guess my muscle memory is not good enough. That's why. Muscle yeah. memory will be the death of you. Yeah. Which is so weird to say, too, because Paladin used to be the, like, the brain-dead tank. Like, oh, the yeah. just, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, one, two, three. Before, like, before, like, Stormblood, like, it was agony playing Paladin, because that's all yeah. I've been doing for, like... Roleplay reasons? Oh god, you didn't okay. wait. Uh, no, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's like, like I hit it like, and then the marker came on. Combo, this is like nothing. Mm -hmm. 
Paladin really needed that. Mm -hmm. And now it's so good. Yeah. Paladin is so good. Hammer. Like, aside from Shield Bash, I like, Paladin is perfect. IMHO. It's like, is this, is Shield Bash is like mm -hmm. the fluid aura of Paladin. It's like, why is this still here? Yeah, I agree. Paladin is super good all around. Mm -hmm. There, JD. Oh, is this the Wii? Oh, wait, no, 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 I know. I know what you're talking about. Never mind. I was like, is this the Wii Fall? Because we get long stuff? No, it's later. Uh, the Wii Fall is in there. It's just a little bit more subdued. <laughs> no, see, Dan, you will see the Wii Fall. Oh, I know the Wii Fall. Yeah, you know the Wii Fall. I know the Fall. Wii Fall. Keep that line f uh, f uh, form the rest of the way. That fine form, sorry. It's hard to read and so play. Good. Onward, my friends, onward to your prize! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have pulled. Oh, geez. Oh, I pulled. Okay, well, we're gonna fight the honeymakers. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I probably shouldn't Bees! Have. Bees! There's nothing but bees! Not the bees! Did you guys know about the dungeon where they took the bees out? Oh, Because they were too hard. There was... Oh. <laughs> it, it, in Amdapur Keep, I think it was like... Yeah, there was like two dungeons, like level 50 dungeons and a Realm Reborn. So this was like the very first two endgame dungeons. Amdapur Keep was one of them. And there was the Demon Wall. And the Demon Wall was a DPS check. Um, and these two bees would pop up during the DPS check, and they would final sting the tank if you didn't kill oh. them. So you had like a double DPS check, and yeah, it was too hard, so they removed them. Fuck. <laughs> so now whenever like we, we do like a dungeon or something, we'll be like, it needs more bees. <laughs> needs more bees. Just bring out the pain from MGS3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pain. <laughs> God, these, like, these, uh, plant bears always creep me out. Oh, I think they look cool. Oh, no, 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 like, they're great, but it's kinda, like, the freaky looking. scary. Yeah. Just because they're controlled by the plant. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. And those are real! There's, like, real plants that do that! Oh, God. In real life! Do bears? <laughs> well, no, not the bears, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, my gosh, bears are real! It's like, I, I know, like, insects oh, can get infected what by stuff mean? like that. Bears? It's like maybe some frogs. Yeah, they do it. Yeah, they do it to insects or frogs. Oh or some yeah, shit. cordyceps. Yeah. Yeah. That's our. That's how we'll have our, our zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the. <laughs> that was the fungus that The Last of Us was based off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta play the second one. I haven't played it. Just never talk about it, it to anybody because you'll be murdered no matter what you say. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I don't. Very, I don't really it's know a very anything. Divisive game. I just remember uh, being frustrated with the first game, and after being it, I just didn't really want to play the second one for gameplay reasons. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, so I if really you ever like play the it, first never one. talk about it to anybody. <laughs> no yeah, no. It, it's a pre, someone, it's a pretty vicious. Uh, someone's conversation. gonna get mad at you for for talking. Oh, about it. thank you. Yeah. I don't want to get canceled. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glitter apple. Thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you. Oh. That's very generous. See, glitter. Yeah, I movies. remember. I remember hearing things about it. I just I didn't keep up or mm -hmm. read anything about it. So, it seems so, which is good. <laughs> you you missed the parade. Yeah. Like regardless of your opinion, it was just charged. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm if you say it's good, people get mad. If just you say all it's around, bad, people get mad. Yeah. This wrong G fight is hard. Good thing I'm a tank and I can just stand in things. <laughs> I 
I think we got stand in these. Yeah. Because the, the juicifying. And then we get to pump them up. Pump up the jams. Pump it up. If you guys have ever played Magic the Gathering, you know that green is the most powerful <laughs> color and uh, that's this whole dungeon is uh, just a whole yeah. bunch of green creatures. Like the green cards. <laughs> yeah. I recently got a little bit into Magic the Gathering and it's like yeah. faster than I thought it would be. Like matches end quick. I don't know what I, I was wow. expecting. I recently got into it. I'm no good at card games. I don't know how to build decks. <laughs> oh, if you, I would highly recommend Slave Aspire then. I don't know if you okay, actually like, played that's a, that's a little different because it, it's also a roguelike. But yeah. yeah. But it's like, it has been like a great game for people who are bad at deck building, because I'm bad at deck building as well, but it's great because it's like, you only get one card at a time, so you get to be, you know, make baby choices. Ah. I know Mike has uh, played through it, and I think now he's playing Inscription. <clears throat> yeah, Inscription is another card game that came out that everybody loves, right? And for those who are wondering who Mike is, he is the other half of the design doc. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if anyone's new here, uh, hi, my name's Dan, also known as Warbot. I do oh, uh, design doc on YouTube where yeah. I talk about video games. You guys should subscribe to design doc because it's fantastic and great. And I already did. More and more that like with all these different YouTube channels that teach you things, I like learning. Why did I not right? like learning in school? because it was done in a really boring way. I guess so, yeah, that's true. And you, and you were forced to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Learning is great, and you get, you had to, you were forced to learn about things you didn't necessarily care about either. Yeah. So when you learn about stuff you're interested in, then you want to learn more. Mm -hmm. When learning is fun, it makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I got lucky. I had math teachers that made math fun, and so I ended up liking math. Yeah. I, had but a I think great... if you had early teachers who didn't were, weren't good at teaching math, you might end up not liking math. Yeah. Um, my first uh, Japanese teacher was like one of the best teachers I ever have had. You had Japanese in school? Oh. Yeah, I, oh. no, I only did it for a couple of years and I don't remember most of it. <laughs> oh, that's still French. super cool though. Yeah, I had French. <laughs> I took French and I failed it, so I took sign language. <laughs> oh, hey, it that's was, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It was specifically in high school. Not uh, like middle school. In middle school, we had to do uh, Spanish. Hmm, yeah. Welcome, welcome to our humble palace. Oh, hey, the crown's right there. Psych, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> you thought, bitch! Uh, oh, the fae. Search for looking glass. Does anyone get Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy vibes from the music? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it's very mm -hmm. deliberately mm -hmm. that. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta... I gotta play Rayman 3 again. Does anybody remember Rayman 3? I played 1 and 2. For some reason, I'm not huge on 3D Rayman. I don't know why. Uh, fair enough. I've never had a chance to play 3, though. Although, part of the problem is I played the PS1 version of 2. So this one, I'm only pulling this one uh, horse and not doing the whole thing because the horse is hurt. So, this one you have to small pull. There's no way you can heal through. Out of curiosity, has anyone played Psychonauts 2? I have not. I'm no. like staying away from everything so I can go in blind whenever I have like a decent chunk of time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be like, goodbye, job. I'm, I'm gone to war to play Psychonauts 2. I will see you in a little while. A little while. Oh, by the way, fun fact, Joe Cat. Uh, when we were initially working on the good design, bad design, uh, Psychonauts 2 was gonna be a segment, oh. but then the delay the happened because of the hurricane. Right. Yeah. So that Oopsie. moved over to a different episode. So you've played it, yeah? Oh yeah, I've been in it. It's very, very good. Yeah, I heard good things. Highly recommend. I need to play the first one. I've never played the first one. Oh yeah, Me first too. One. First one's <laughs> aged, but still good. I have played it, but 
Only like a little bit. It was like one of those ones that I just like tried out. You know, the first time I heard about Psychonauts was when I was playing the Jaws game, the Jaws PS2 game, and there was a uh, an in CD trailer for Psychonauts 2 in one of the in the extras menu. <laughs> that was oh. the first time I've heard of Psychonauts. Yeah, games used to do that. Yeah. Or like come with demos of other games. Yeah. I remember the uh, Mario Kart GameCube uh, demo disc that had like F Zero GX, uh, mm. Sonic Heroes, Sonic and uh, oh god, uh, Mario Party Five, I think, mm. and a TMNT game. Nice. Yeah, Rats and Clank uh, Three had oh, had a, uh, I think it was a Sly Cooper demo. Yeah. Is that them? There were those three companies, uh, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, and Sucker Punch. They were like the three bros of the PlayStation era, and uh, still are. They do a lot of PlayStation exclusives. Yeah, the Yay. platforming trilogy. Yeah, the, I you love had Jack them. and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and um, what is it? Uh, like Sly Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. I love all that shit. Mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank was my jam. Ratchet and Clank uh, and Sly Cooper probably the favorites of those three. Yeah, like they're neck and neck. Oh yeah, classics. Jack Did you guys too. play the new one? I have on not. PS5? I, uh, uh, there are no, too I, many I good games that. out, man. It's so good. I I was just smiling like a kid the whole way through that game. It was. It just brought me back. It was great. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, I played most of the ratchets. Um, I have <laughs> not played Into the Nexus, and I have not played. Uh, the uh, newest one, or the well, I played a little bit the 2016 game, but I wasn't into it mm -hmm. just because it was a weird remake. Yeah, yeah, that one was. Uh, we forget about that one. Yeah, I, I, like I bounced off that one pretty fast. I still liked it, but it was it was definitely weak. Yeah, of a ratchet this game. Guy. Look at those legs. More. Here he is. We want to see more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to frog? Oh, uh, one sec. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I was like, oh, geez. Time for the musical interlude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this gift. Uh, one more. Yeah, I got it just in time. Oh, no. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought. Ah, uh, Dan got God damn it. Uh, I Point, reacted everybody too slow. Laugh. Point and laugh at the red mage who doesn't know how to do mechanics. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet melody. Take phantasmic form. Ah, we fall. We fall. We fall. Uh, uh, rescue. Let's go rescue uh, him. Uh, <laughs> don't you dare. Uh, uh, yes, first place. <laughs> You're powerful. Liar's liar. Come on, I believe in you, Lind. You can make it. Uh, you mastered the melody. Actually, bravo. yeah, the healer can't the healer just choose to just not do it. Like <laughs> the healer can just be like, I don't gotta go over there. Ah, my eyes! Can't see. Sh oh, oh god, you're beautiful. Oh, void scent. <laughs> oh, Kermit. Hello, <laughs> it's I, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I put on a few pounds, don't worry. Are you speaketh of my fleshith? Oh, Arianja, you lost weight. Oh, are you speaketh of my flesh? <laughs> like, the fuck? He put on this cool new outfit and you don't even notice. He's so sad. Yeah. My new threads. Oh, that's vile. 
Yeah, speakest thou of my flesh. Thou noticest my new drip. <laughs> Here for teasing mode. God, I love the Blackest Night. It's just like, oh, you hit me. I get a free uh, cooldown. Yeah, and it's it so has good. story to it. It's so good. I want more abilities that have story to it. Like, what freaking summoner? It's like, uh, level 70, we got Bahamut, and it's like, hey, uh, why? Why, why, why can I summon Bahamut? I mean, thank you, but can you tell me why, please? Yeah. And then same with Phoenix, like, hey, why? How is this possible? God, I... I oh, that counted? Oh. I was casting and it counted it. <laughs> and you got frogged! <laughs> Whatever. It's, it's the same picture. <laughs> oh, Ribbit. Oh, Ribbit. <laughs> Actually, we do know the reason is that Bahamut and Phoenix's Aether is, like, everywhere in mm -hmm. Eorzea, but then, uh, how does it work over here? Yeah. On the first. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, the real gotcha. Bahamut was inside us all along. Exactly. Inside every summoner is an angry, fire-breathing dragon that wants to destroy the world. Yup. No! Alright, well, that was fun. <laughs> Doris, trust me, dude. <laughs> and we're here too. <laughs> I like the trusts showing up at the Yeah. Me. What did we miss? <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Ooh. Oriante stubbed his toe. <laughs> Forgive uh, my mine absence. I had business to attend to. Meanwhile, it was like, uh, like in another area. Ah, ah, ooh, 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 ooh. mine yeah. pinky toe. Ah. <laughs> Guys, I'm oh. sorry, I can't make it to red. I hurt my toe. Wilford, Wilford. Wow, that really was the voice that I used, huh? Yeah. Oh, jeez. This is good. God, it's so spooky, ominous. Spooky, spooky, scary, scary. Oh, fanfare. Come Different out. fanfare. <laughs> this is that Final Fantasy song. Yeah, no, oh, on. You do not hold back. From Final Fantasy VII. But I would have it no other way. Seldom have you, I enjoyed you nailed such it. sport. <laughs> maybe a little bit more, more like oh, like then maybe a little more <laughs> right. exaggerated. But yeah, it's kind of similar. We have satisfied thy demands. Will thou now satisfy ours? Of course, of course. You can satisfy these nuts. There it is, the relic you seek. Yours for the taking. Have care you do not break it, though, yes. Ah, but you, my friend, you are mighty indeed, and pleasing to the eye, besides. Oh, thank you. Yes! Forever. <laughs> a happy on birthday to you! <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't hit Why a guy with glasses, would enough? you? Yes! One of us! One of us, one of us, one of us! One of us, one of us, one of us! One of us, one of us, one of us! <laughs> what a fine idea! Why ever didn't I think of that? 
You may have the crown, but in exchange, we will have you! Oh. and Blessing, don't fail me now. <laughs> kiss <laughs> what if we kissed in the ill meg lake ha ah, just kidding unless. unless i'm sure you had your reasons but the first rule of dealing with the foie is do not deal with the foie it's said that they are born from the souls of the drowned were it not for your little trick you'd have joined them your friends are safely back on dry land in case you were wondering They'll be searching for you, I expect. Oh yeah, we never really told them that we can breathe underwater, can't, did we? Only really Alizé knows. Maybe she relayed it. Hmm. That's the royal capital of the Kingdom of Verbert down there. It's seen better days. They were a stubborn lot, the Verbatites, set in their ways. But once you got to know them, you couldn't find a more welcoming people. It always froze over in winter, being up in the mountains. So we'd pull up our chairs round the fire and trade tales over steaming bowls of lamb stew, while the street lamps burned hot and bright outside. Sounds like Ishgard. <laughs> All dead and buried now. Them and anyone else who might remember. Yeah, we are in the region that would be Kurthus in the source. Everything we did, everything we gave, what was it for? I wonder, I hope you'll have a better answer than this when all's said and done. Arbert is my favorite part of Shadowbringers. Mm -hmm. Oh, it makes us think of definitely, a the, definitely the best actor, I think. Like him or one other person. Yeah, he's super good. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure he was in Game of Thrones. Yep, Gendry. And like you go back to his like, and you can hear it. It's like, oh yeah, I hear the yard bird in there. <laughs> That's that was me after I learned uh, that uh, Emmerich was Hawkwood from Dark Souls Three. Yeah, uh, who's uh, who did Shulk's actor play? Did he play Pippin? Pippin, yes. Every time, really? every time I voice him, I throw in a backslash every now and then. I will say, I do backslash. miss I do miss Orianje's old actor a little bit. Not that his new actor is bad. Like his new actor is great. But I also like the old actor because yeah. he was bald here. <laughs> Did a great job, the old actor. Uh, I love uh, in the Japanese voices, Pippin is Link. So oh. he's, he's just like, he goes, Chichue. <laughs> yeah, his voice is super deep. Wow. <laughs> it's great. Hey, Orianje, how are you doing? I'm... I'm going back in. Nay, my lady, exhausted as thou art, thou wouldst only endanger, endanger thyself. I prithee, rest a moment. Wait, but I'm right there. I, I clicked on you to <laughs> start the quest line. There was nothing where I looked. Victor. Oh, that was Thancred, sorry. Victor! T 
Dear gods, were it not for Soraban's blessings, but I need not labor to the point. I'm glad to see you safe and well, my friend. Have you any idea how worried we were? To wash up on shore, only to find you weren't with us. Oh, but I'm forgetting. Here's your crown, your majesty. Fwarth kept that part of the bargain, at least. Well, while there were certain twists and turns, our work here is done, with everyone none the worse for wetness. Oh, thank goodness you're still here. Oh. Sul'uin, is something amiss? A great big mob of mortals is marching into Ilmeg. Mortals with <laughs> ugly God. weapons and uglier faces. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I, I love the laughs thrown in. <laughs> just, a, just a random. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't happen to be your friends, would they? Rather, they would the happen reverse, to be two would they? <laughs> I have they come to hear the lamentations of your women. Rather, the reverse, uh. I fear. That you're more an army, as I guess. Meaning we can play with them? <laughs> I don't want to hear Arnold say that. <laughs> as much as you like. But just be sure, I will return to you, uh, with you to confirm their identities. If there are, they are who we suspect, we will require your aid. If Alphino is coming, then Alizé will be too, yes. We can't have one without the other, you know. <laughs> Tubble man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just remember, we're not your playthings this time. Your playmates, sorry. I'm afraid we must leave the rest of the relic hunt to your hands. Uh, uh I'm just I've done this sort of thing before. Oh yeah, with the uh the Kojin. Indeed you have. Very well then. See you afterwards, my friends. Yay, let's annoy the shit out of the, the Yomorans, yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, so I'm gonna quick, uh, I'm gonna mute myself for about half hour to an hour and I'll be back. Okay, okay. Yeah, you go do your thing, whatever it is you gotta do. Boy, I, just gotta I, do I might, I might be gone before you come back, so it was nice meeting you, yeah. Dad. Yep, nice meeting you too, Larry. All right. Go, sorry, go if you do, here. sorry if we couldn't do anything together, Larry, but I still appreciate you coming on the stream nonetheless. Oh, it's fine. I've had fun going through this, so <laughs> I'm going into Donbeg now with some people from stream. Thank you, guys. <laughs> if, for whatever, you for me. if for whatever reason I don't come back, you can kick me out. All right. Also, Shen, Shenpai. Shen's here. Hi, Shen. Thanks for the 29 Hi, months. Hello. Larry's with me. It's me, Larry. <laughs> I have him kidnapped. He kidnapped me, and I am currently... Uh, leveling through Shadowbringers again. <laughs> <laughs> with our enemies fast approaching, time is of the essence. We must needs accomplish our mission with all possible haste. Of the two remaining bearers of the relic, the new Mo on the nearer. We shall seek them out next. Among the Fey folk, they bear the distinct distinction of having abided these in these lands since before the flood. They are also the friendliest to men, and have served me faithfully whensoever I called upon them. Indeed. They are the source of much knowledge I have acquired in my time. The path leadeth past my dwellings. Lead away. <laughs> I like Shen shows up and the entire chat just fills with arrow spin. <laughs> it's a good emote. Yeah. I need to make more animated emotes. I've got more emote slots than I know what to do with. Yeah, they're super cool. What kind of animated emotes would you want? Do you have any? No, I actually haven't streamed in a super long time, so I the last time I streamed those weren't even a thing. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> damn, yeah, you've been so you've if, probably been busy mm, with all this stuff. Yeah, if because uh, I have a regular job too, so like when yeah, I'm not doing that. YouTube's not your I make full videos. time. videos. Yeah, it used to be, but yeah. So with the free time that I do have, I just make videos instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I were to do animated, hmm. I like that spinning one, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Just silly shit like that. 
Oh yeah, like some kind of cat jam. Yeah. I would love to see the little Larry spinning his sword. <laughs> A summoner horn that just keeps growing. Oh, I died. <laughs> yeah, it could be like like one that just like continuously gets bigger, like one of those looping, uh -huh. like zooming in sort of things. But it's a summoner horn. <laughs> For where the lake now lieth, there was a valley, in whose midst thrived the city of Ferber. Twas only when the Fwath came, in the wake of the flood, that the settlement was drowned. We stand now upon its former outskirts, grazing lands where shepherds once tended their flocks. Now one cannot help but pa feel a pang of loss when faced with such a spectacle. One can scarcely blame the Fey folk for so altering the land. The blame for that lieth rightly with the light, a form terrible enough to bring an entire civilization to its knees, an entire world that it should have been allowed to rise up unchecked is the greater regret. It's heavy, dude. Yet in spite of all the tragedy which surroundeth me, full glad am I for the chance to be here. Twas these hands which brought together the warriors of darkness and Menphilia, lest thou forget. Therefore, even were there no eighth umbral calamity to forestall, it seemeth only right that I strive to deliver the first from its doom. Yeah, Orion J, I'm sure, feels a slight bit of responsibility. Mm hmm. Only right, I say, though such words ill convey the strength of my resolve. Yeah, I mean. Urian J probably has the strongest will of all the Scions, being the only one who would have been, you know, he was the one who basically sacrificed Minfilia to save the first. Yeah. I don't think yeah. any other Scion would have willingly done that. No, they wouldn't have. That was a hard decision. He wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Nobody else would have done that. No. And also like him having this vision and knowing about um, the calamity like that and having to like bear that burden like for all these years too. Yeah. It's crazy. It's rough. And yet he just seems still okay in his himself he's fucking strong as shit mentally yeah i like to make fun of him but he's actually a really good character <laughs> absolutely yeah <laughs> just tease him yeah we tease him yeah in truth i can say no more ignore i can no more ignore the plight of this world than i can choose to stop breathing and thus do i labor for those we have lost for those we can yet save the coming struggle promiseth to test us to our limits, but so long as we stand together, I doubt not but that we shall prevail. Aha! Mortals! Just as we thought! <laughs> oh, jeez. Just the change of pace. <laughs> Hast thou business with us? Business? Ha! Nothing so boring. We smelled you coming, and we thought we'd come to play. Do th uh, they do not appear to be pixies of uh, Lida Loran. Mine apologies, but we are in some haste. Mayhap another day. Oh, in some haste are you? Then allow me to hasten you on your way. Tee -hee -hee. Oh. Oh, they killed us. Pff, we're dead. We're dead. The end. Oh! They can teleport. Oh, God. Teleportation magics. For a mercy, we are not sent far from our course. Should the pixies find us again, however, they will most assuredly repeat the trick. We have not the time to waste. Let us avail ourselves of an enchantment I have learned. Fey Cloak, tis called, a most ingenious magic which rendereth one invisible to Fey Folk, albeit briefly. Okay. 
Okay, time to solid snake this. Yeah, that's the genre they were missing in this game. Stealth. Stealth. It has every other genre. Okay, fake look. I got one minute. Also, I'm so sorry to who I'm running with. I got hit by every single <laughs> one of those uh, water AoEs that shoot you up. Nice. I got hit by every single one. I think you might supposed to do that. I think that might be the goal. Unclear, but you know. Oh my god, this whole time I didn't realize I have the one two AoE combo. <laughs> oh my god. <Larry. laughs> I know what I'm doing, I swear. <laughs> I've played this game for eight years, I swear I know. Larry playing a tank is like, when, when, when do I summon Bahamut? <laughs> Yeah, when does that happen? <laughs> I like the jobs that build up to something. Yeah. So I don't think... Yeah, tanks don't really have that. No. They're kind of like always on. Mm -hmm. The closest right, I can think... that's the next tank. Yeah, no. I mean, like, they, they build up, but they don't build up nearly as much as any of the DPS. Like, they build up in, like... Right. Like, a, a minute. Like, like a second. And then they, their build up is done, and then they build up again. <clears throat> pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, I guess Paladin would be the closest now yeah, with the Confidior combo. Yeah. Like, it, it'll build up to doing the Confidior combo, but, like, yeah. Yeah, no, it's nowhere near time. the other DPS. Like, with, um, like, say, Dancer, you're waiting for your, your technical mm -hmm. step to come off, and then you do that, and you just press a bazillion buttons at once. Or, like, you know, yeah, yep. like with Bahamut. Reaper, <laughs> Reaper building up to its Shroud mode. Mm -hmm. Black Mage, like, doing Fire 4 until they can despair. Yes. <laughs> How far is um, the trial from where you are? I feel like it's close. Like, I think it's right after you finish this town. Uh, well, we still have the Amaro. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. it's so it is a deceptively bit. further away than it seems, but not too far away. Yeah, Ilmeg yeah. is an entire arc. Yup. <gasps> hey there. What's up, dude? <gasps> ah, mortals. Mortals are here. Lots of them. Oh, wait, come back. You're cute. <laughs> I thought you said new Mo were men's best friend. The poor thing was beside itself with fear. Aww. It was beside itself, perhaps, but not with fear. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable, I tell you, to have so many mortals appear at once. Hey, how do you read that guy's name? Uh... Pop quiz. Uh... Wid... <laughs> Wid Ank? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. Uh, sure. We'll go with that. It's more excitement than we can bear. <laughs> Weed onk. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Elder Weed onk. Tier ni. Tier ni? Or ne? Because I know that's like ne when it's like Japanese. Actually, it's pronounced Weedle. It has a silent L-E at the end. What the f- what? Really? <laughs> no, no, Okay, no. I was gonna say, I would have no, believed no, you. No. <laughs> I you would know, never you know, lie apparently to you. It's a, it's, you know, apparently the goblin uh, Charlene is supposed to be pronounced uh, Edel Shear. No, 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 no. No, it's not. I don't. I refuse to believe you. There's no way. I mean, it's Idleshire. It re yeah, it's Idleshire. No one. It's Idleshire because you idle there. That's why it's called Idleshire. <laughs> that was the end game zone where everybody just hung out. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Someone in chat told me, and chat lies, so I'm only half believing them. Chat would never lie to you. <laughs> I don't think that's never. true. Yeah, never. Pray forgive my brevity, but time is against us. We are come borrow the stone scepter of Numo. The stone scepter? Then you mean to lift the seal over li uh, li 
This is unacceptable. Mm. Unacceptable, I tell you. If the king is set free, I can't. I, I'm just gonna make him Brooklyn. <laughs> Unlike our cousin, the, our fake cousins, we knew Mo have called upon this land our home since uh, since time immemorial. Like is unthinkable. Leaving is unthinkable. Thus did full many of us lay down our lives to seal away our king when they corrupted the light. Wait, they were corrupted by the light. If we do hey. as you ask, our sacrifice would have been in vain. Hey, I'm walking over here. Go hey. we'll get him a bacon, egg, and cheese. Hey, you come from the light? Hey, well, I come from the darkness. <laughs> uh, no one will come to harm. I was safe. born in the darkness. Molded by it. Easy said for one who hasn't experienced the king's wrath. Honored elder, pray believe me when I say this man is possessed not only of the strength required to vanquish the king, but of something still more valuable, a means to resist the resultant corruption. Indeed, he hath already laid low the light warden of Lakeland, all while without succumbing to an influence of its light. He is yet a stranger to this land, it is true, but he harboreth the selfsame desire to see the Sin Eaters eliminated as we do. Wilt thou not lend us thy hand, that we may might see thy beloved home restored to its former glory? Mmm, you've always done right by us, Irianger. But you've been placed Irianger. <laughs> <laughs> but you've placed your faith in this man, so then so shall we. As you yeah, say, we want nothing more than to be rid of the Sin Eaters. Be that as it may, it's not a decision made lightly. We require time to deliberate and uh, turn of the moon, perhaps. We don't have a turn of the moon, unless we want to debate this with the Umoran army. Elder, given all that is at stake, I cannot well expect thee simply to roll over and acquiesce to our request. But even now, a powerful foe draweth near, and I fear I must beseech thee to hasten thy deliberations, that thou mightst fetch us the scepter while there is t yet time to use it. Roll over! Fetch! Ah! Ah! <laughs> you know full well that naught gives us greater pleasure than to render aid to men. You know full well, yet you speak the words of power regardless. <laughs> it's unfair. Unfair, I tell you. Uh, the, the words, words of, power. of power. Fetch. Yes. Go fetch. You want to go walkies? Go you want to go walk? You want to go outside yeah. and get some walkies? <laughs> <laughs> in happier times, it was our honor to assist mortals in need and receive reward befitting our deeds. Since the king kingdom of Verbert fell, however, we've been starved of man's patronage. After so many years of deprivation, it is difficult to ignore such an earnest entreaty. Wow, they're actually dogs. I love them. They're that, good boys. <laughs> they're all good boys. Very well, Urianger. I, pr I promise to give you as swift an answer as I may. In return, I ask you to give me belly rubs and head pats and lots of snackies. Oh, he said that? Okay. I believe you. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're adorable. Uriangi. Uriangi. <laughs> Very angry. Speaketh now not. I am Angi. Yeah, so their names are uh, a t just a tier above the uh, Limsa Lominson people. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the names where, like, Rogadins, where they literally just took their fingers and just mashed it on the keyboard. <laughs> just roll yeah. all over the keyboard. Uh-huh. Like, that's the name. Okay. What is the... There's a Makote girl that gives you... I think that teaches you about the... Um, I don't know. It's someone in the, dr uh, the Drowned Wench... Mm -hmm. That either helps you with the aesthetician or something. That it just it just a mass of consonants. Yes. Yeah, I, I know exactly the one you're talking about. I don't know its name though, so yeah. I don't know. But I know exactly what you're talking about. 
I didn't fall. Nice. But did you sprint? Uh, no. It doesn't count unless you sprint the whole way without stopping. Damn it. <laughs> I messed up. I'll go back. No. <laughs> You know when you turn do, around you, and you know, go do it. Oh shit! Um, actually, you know what I can say. Uh, do you know who is the fastest when you do it with trusts? Uh, spoiler. Spoiler is the fastest uh, when you do it with trusts. Let me guess. Because right, I've never done it actually with a trust. Uh, I'm gonna it's guess. Tie, it's a tie between Alize and Spoiler. Oh, I was gonna guess Alize. Yeah. Well, I think Alize is. Well, she is among the fastest. Okay. She just runs to the other end, but spoiler as well, and people say that they mm -hmm. have the zoomies, and I love that. <laughs> not Thancred. Thancred used to be fast, but he's not a ninja anymore. <laughs> which, that was how they revealed ninja also, which was super cool. Back in A Realm Reborn, I think it was the patch, uh, it was the patch where uh, Leviathan was coming out, and you were going to go fight Leviathan. And uh, Urianje comes in to go fight them, and he just takes out two knives, and you're like, oh my god, he has two knives! And he just starts doing ninja moves. Yeah. And that's how they revealed that, uh, yeah, ninja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you return with a moss, uh, fungus legs. Yeah. Oh, how many legs? I'll give three. Three legs. But I asked for two. Oh. This wasn't the agreement. Oh, I should have read the dialogue. Ah, shit. If you think me a bad Nomu, then a bad Nomu I will be. Oh, yes. I will make a fine mess of everything you're wearing. Rip it to shreds. Oh. Hmm? Wait, there are two legs here. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. You mustn't tease us fairies so. In my agitation, I would have done much worse than simply snap at you. You see, for there to be an honor in a task, you must receive precisely what it is worth. Too little means you belittle our ability. Too much means you question our integrity. You've given me fitting payment, uh, so my services are at your disposal. I shall begin by inspecting your equipment. Oh, jeez. I need to pay more attention to the culture of the area. <laughs> I must ask for a small fee for the materials. I am pleased to say that uh, all your arms and armor may be restored. Okay, so they repair things for me. All right. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go to now. <laughs> uh, that's okay, man. I appreciate you stopping by for whatever time you could. Like, yeah. It's very nice to hang out and chat with you and just like yeah, it's finally cool. get to chat with you because I've looked up to you for like such a long time. Uh, well, I look up to you. Ah, <laughs> ah. This is like the best part of like, you know, uh, you see creators get together and you just see them like just compliment each other. <laughs> and it's like, wait, yeah. That's, yeah, that's exactly how it is. Yeah. It's like, I'm just a fan of your videos. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. All right, you you have fun, man. Thank you. Yeah, have a have a good time. Enjoy the rest of uh, this fairy land. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Right. Bye. Bye. And that was Larry, my my hero. Okay, Larry Zar, everyone, watch his videos. They're very fun and entertaining. In fact, recently he did a couple of videos. If you're interested, Larry's been playing fourteen a very long time. So if you're interested in um. So, uh, his talks, like when he was talking about how the game works in, in past patches and expansions, he's got a couple of videos about of those uh, on his channel, you know, the history of 14 and how things worked previously. Yeah. Even for 1.0? I don't know that he played 1.0. I don't know. I don't think that it goes that far back. But uh, there's still some very interesting insight. Ah, uh, to to have so many men visit us at once. This is a joyous day indeed. If it pleases you, please give me your personage. At my as my patron, I ask that you remove the noxious mushrooms. All right. Remove the mushrooms. As for 1.0, watch no clip. Well, I, 
eh, no clip gives like insight into 1.0 but i want someone to just like really who played 1.0 to like really talk about all the different parts of it i would love to like hear more about it. i'm very fascinated by 1.0 because no clip touches on that but i don't know that there's any real like review like long in depth like i want to i want a uh joseph anderson length essay on how 1.0 works you know make it like five hours You can set up private servers of 1.0 to at least get a feel for the game and zones, even if you don't have the ammo. Yeah, I, I actually, one, uh, like last week, I was trying to set up a private server because you can play 1.0, but you gotta jump through a lot of hoops. And someday I would like to see what it's like. Play it out of curiosity. Oh, hey, Minfilia. <gasps> I wasn't spying on you or anything. I've just been finishing my task and. Uh, I should go and report back. No, no, you don't. Yeah, but I want to. I I want to at least see it. Like, I'm not going to play it, play it, but, like, see what it's like and just interested in see. I want to experience it, you know? Out of curiosity. Oh, you've returned. Have you dealt with the flame spores by the western entrance as well? Excellent. No more poisonous spores irritating our noses, and for what little, uh, for a little while at least. Oh dear, I believe I'm getting sentimental. Having a person again, it reminds me of the old days. There, every day, I would carry my wares to the castle to offer in exchange for men's personage, uh, patronage. Back then, the castle wasn't called Li Gia. The Verbatites built it and named it Grun's Lich. It was their last bastion in the struggle against the Sin Eaters, and now they're gone, all of them. Nobles and knights and common folk alike. But enough reminiscing. I give you uh, what you've earned. And if you desire anything else I possess, I would be glad to offer them to you, for a fitting price, of course. Yeah, apparently the ga the resource, like, minigames at the Gold Saucer was how you normally gathered resources. So you know where it would be, like, the, the bar that went up and down and the circle? The Gold Saucer gathering minigames was how you actually gathered. I have returned. Hello, welcome back. Larry left. He had stuff to do. I see. All right, we doing stuff with the dog people? Yep, the dog people. We're giving them belly rubs and head pats and snacks and walkies. Well, this one's took my invisible ink, and without it, I can't make my arcane wares. Honestly, they kind of look more like Eeyore to me. Eeyore? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because it's the eyes, I think. They look tired. I think it's the tails that make them kind of dog-like, but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, they're more dog-like in personality, because they're like... <laughs> You know, like... Oh, they're please. very fond. Yeah. <laughs> they're very fond of people. I was too weak to resist them, but you, mortal, you look quite strong. Alright. Oh, Infilia. Excuse me, Victor, but I couldn't help overhearing. If you mean to undertake this task, will you let me accompany you? I would learn from you and help in what little way I can. Uh, yeah, of course. Anybody who picks option number two is a big meanie head. Thank you so much. The lawless one makes their lair to the south, inside the cave of Father College Chambers. All right. The Nomu are from the Final Fantasy XII universe? Oh, neat. 
I thought they were specifically in uh, Tactics Advance. Might be. Does 12 and Tactics share the same universe? I believe they're different. Like, it's Evil East, but I think it's like a different Evil East. I don't know that for sure. Right, because I hear a lot of, like, a lot of things are, like, from 12 are also apparently from Tactics. Same, it is the same Evil East? Okay. Same uh, universe, same world, different time periods. Gotcha. I thought it was, like, an imagined uh, Evil East. Hmm. Because, like, the, Tactics Advance has, like, kind of a weird framing device where you're, like, kids kind of in the modern day, and then you're kind of isekai into Evil East. Oh. I could be misinterpreting that, but that's the impression I got. Tactics is at, uh, for, uh, 12 is after Tactics. Okay. Tactics Advance does weird things, says someone. Hmm. Tactics Advance. Okay. All right. I don't know. Maybe I should just play it for myself and just clear it up for myself. Father Collard's chambers is through here. I peered inside, and sure enough, it was mulling with Nomu. They looked none too friendly. If Thancred were here, he'd tell me to go about it quietly and quickly. Let us split up. I'll find all the ink I can and then come back outside. See you shortly, Victor. Daughter, go stab. Go knife a thing. Excellent. Excellent. Just give her MMO quests. <laughs> go stab 12, uh, uh, I don't know. Oh god, we're actually fighting Numo. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh jeez. I forgot there are uh, other Numo. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez, they're my level. Oh shit. Oh, you gotta fight for real now. Yeah. Oh no. I actually have to pay attention to my rotations and stuff. Numo Savage. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the lore reason that we're fighting these guys again? <laughs> uh, you know, I I honestly didn't read all of that dialogue because this is just like chore stuff, so I don't really... Just to speed up the progress a little bit. I haven't really paid attention. Because fuck them, that's why. Because they're mean and they don't believe the same thing or something like that. Okay. They stole paint. Ah, shit. Time to murder. <laughs> These ones are just hostile and play dirty. Gotcha. See, they're bullies and they deserve the guillotine. <laughs> Bit of an escalation. Yeah, they're bad dogs. Not like the good dogs. It's fine, we oh, just sent goodness. them to the timeout pen. <laughs> Those new Mo were rather frightening. I'm glad you're safe. Mm. I see you use daggers, kind of similar to Thancred back in his day. Thancred taught me, but I'm still a novice. The Minfilius before me battled Sin Eaters as part of the Yulmoran army. But that had all changed by the time I was found. They held me captive so that I wouldn't follow in the other's footsteps. I'd still be in my cell now had Thancred not spirited me away. When he found me, I knew nothing of the world. I didn't know how to live, let alone fight. Thancred once told me that if the efforts to summon you failed, it would fall to me to face the Light Wardens. I realized then that it was the only reason he kept me close. As a contingency. The truth is, he can't stand to be around me. Because I'm not her. I'm not his Minfilia. <sighs> Once, we journeyed to Nabatharang together. To the place where the Oracle appeared and stayed the Flood. 
As we drew near, I felt as though I was fading away. I shut my eyes and covered my ears, and then... And then... Uh, I'm not sure what happened after that. I have a vague feeling that I said something to him. Only it wasn't me at all. It was her. Afterwards, Thancra didn't say a word. Only kept to himself and brooded. There's nothing I can do for him. Nothing I can offer but my presence. Though it only reminds him of his loss. She should be the one to live on. That's why I tried to find you. Because I knew that was what she wanted. But now that you're here... I'm not entirely sure what it was she intended me to do. Was I meant to tell you something, or bring you to someone, or somewhere? I can feel the answer at the edge of my mind, just out of reach! I know the dubstep found us. Uh, what? What really is got that? Us. Oh, this. Why? Why did you imprison us? Such boredom, such tedium have we suffered. It is unfair. Unfair. Come. Come and play with us. I'm uncomfortable. It came from the castle. <laughs> yeah, so that is Ishtola's VA. You can hear some of, like, hear a little bit of her in that. Hello, really? Medieval Marty. Thank you for the raid, everyone. Welcome to Spooky Hour. Uh, this is uh, Sh Shadowbringers, Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. So if you're not at this segment, be wary of spoilers. Uh, and I will see, I. Uh, totally understandable for you don't want to stick around if you would like to experience the story yourself but otherwise anybody else who is sticking around welcome uh i'm joe cat and with me is dan from design doc say hi dan hey you fairies are scary marty just finished 5.55 nice awesome wow yeah and walk so close <laughs> so close <laughs> it's like next week basically wait is it next week no a uh, week, week and a half i think yeah 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 so a week and a half yes the third the third is early access oh i can't wait and that's perfect on that's friday i play on fridays ah oh. yeah honestly the delay actually works out fine <laughs> yeah the delay helped me uh heart goes out to anybody who got paid time off for this week but you know you know it is what it is yeah, just like full on jump scares with that scene. Mm -hmm. I can't say I expected that. This is everything I have. Please see it delivered to the Numo. I will bear word to Thancred and the others. I had to push the lunar eclipse back two weeks too, yeah. Isn't it, wasn't it that uh, there was supposed to be like some kind of like full moon or something on like Endwalker's release date? Or am I, did I just make something up in my brain? I feel like there must've been something with the faces of the moon was, right? It was, okay. Yeah, I thought so. Lunar Eclipse last Friday. Ah. Oh. There was a Lunar Eclipse. Gotcha. The longest Lunar Eclipse in history. Man, that would have been... Yeah, that's some good-ass marketing, but unfortunately, delay, you know. Mercy, Your Majesty. We had no choice. Please forgive us. Oh, it's you. My ink. Were you able to retrieve it? 
Oh, I guess you heard it too. Yes, this is the ink. Almost all of it too. When our king spoke to me, my day went from bad to worse, but thanks to you, it's simply bad again. <laughs> what? You had the visions too. Oh, woe is us. Ordinarily, when a living being turns into a sin eater, it loses everything about its mind that defines it. However, the king has retained some of their instincts. This manifests in the desire to play and be free. So strong is that desire, it often leaks through the seal to invade our consciousness. For a long time we've ignored it, but we can't do so forever. But forgive me, I was going to thank you for returning me with my ink. You did exactly as I asked, so I will give you the service I promised. Nothing on my sleeve, and voila, may it serve you well. Ah. Pat, Pat. <laughs> There's nothing like honorable work. Thank you again for giving me the opportunity. Oh, I should mention that uh, Elder Weed... Ankh. I'm Wid Wid Ankh. Turned a moment ago. If you would seek them out, all right. Awesome. <laughs> December fourth. There's a total solar solar eclipse on the southern hemisphere. Ah. Oh. Well, that's something. Ah, there you are. Uh, I'm informed that you've been an excellent patron to our people. For that, you have my thanks. Now then, you will be pleased that to hear that we've come to a decision regarding the scepter. If you would gather your companions, and I will deliver our answer. Before I begin, please allow me to express my gratitude for your kind patron uh, patronage. Having been deprived of purpose for long, our people are overjoyed at being able to serve again. But on the matter of the stone scepter, during our deliberations, we were forced to concede that we would uh, will never have the power to deal with our fallen monarch. We can release Titania neither from the castle nor from, her, from torment. In light of this, we have decided to entrust their fate to you. Was this accent? <laughs> He's, he's from Brooklyn. Take it, <laughs> the stone scepter of the Numo. This makes three relics. One more, and we can arrange a meeting with the warden. Ere you continue your quest, allow me to enlighten you as regards to your foe. Know that Titania is not a name, but a title bestowed upon one chosen to lead the pixies by the grace of nature. This leader upon Ilmeg's founding arose as ruler of all fey folk to bring order to our right, uh, uh, riotous kind. In our turn, we fey folk render our blessing unto nature, unto water, wood, and wind, and that our king might be further empowered. Though they are become a sin eater, their power remains unchanged. When you face them, be prepared to face a full fury of nature. Oh dear, is there anything else we should know? Yeah, you smell, they smell really bad. Only that if you feel unready for the challenge and none here would blame you for it, you are welcome to remain among us a while longer. After all, I myself have yet to enjoy your patronage and who knows when I will next have the chance. Well, we would see that you were comfortable, of course, and do all in our power to make you feel at home, he <laughs> Oi! Honestly, I look away for one moment, and every fairy and their nuncle tries to steal my sapling from me. This is my sapling. Mine! Do you hear? Not yours, not the Fwaths, and anyone who so much as thinks about trying to seduce him will wish they hadn't. The final relic is a pair of shoes wrought of crystal. They are held in the Amaro's safekeeping at the settlement. Whoa, whoa, dwarf. Wolkdorf. It beareth mentioning that these Amaro are unlike those which ha thou hast heretofore encountered, owing to a particular 
uh, peculiarity of evolution. They are capable of speech, and thus we may negotiate with them as we have the Fey folk. All right, so off to Ganondorf. Yep, off to Ganondorf. <laughs> Though it saddens me to see you leave, we wish you well on your way. When you arrive in Ganondorf, seek out the largest of the Amaro. His name is Seto, and he is the leader and the bearer of the relic. And just remember, it's not about the relics. <laughs> it's about it's the about Mets, about baby. The Mets. Yeah, gotta get the Mets. It's all about the Mets. Let's go, Mets. Get a home run. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Mets. Get a home run, Mets. Let's go, let's go, Mets. Ah, I love the Mets. Ah, yes, the Gandalf Mets. Has there been any statement as to whether or not they're going to add Blitzball to uh, Final Fantasy? Zero. Or have they... It's all It's okay. all rumor and hearsay. Like, anybody... Because... It's because of one thing that they hinted at that was a 10 reference that they think that it's like, oh, Blitzball, see? Because Final Fantasy 10, you know? And it's like, I think you guys are getting your hopes up. I mean, I, it might, I'm, but they did not promise anything. I'm, st I'm still waiting for it. Yeah. Like, I'm still waiting for that. I want a Blitzball player class, a ranged <laughs> DPS Blitzball player class. Let me do jack shots on people. An enormous Amaro slumbers, uh, slumbers peacefully. Uh, Seto. Oh, whoops. Hello. Oh, forgive me, I was having a dream. Seldom do men visit. What brings you to our village? Uh, the Lou, Lou, we, relics. Do I, did I hear you all right? You desire the crystal shoes that you may confront the light warden. No, no, you mustn't think of such thoughts. Even if you are indeed immune to the light's corruption as you claim, vanquishing the king will bring you naught but sorrow. Forget this folly. Return whence you came. While we appreciate your concern, we have no choice in the matter. Will you not reconsider? Come, my friends. Let us leave him with his thoughts. Hmm. Tis harder by far, far to change the minds of they who mean well than they who mean ill. Forgive me, but I'm not sure I understand. And little wonder, it is the first time thou hast set foot here. T'would behoove you to uh, all to learn something of the nature of this community, I think. And there's no surer way than to do a bunch of side quests. In such wise, you will come to understand Seto's reasoning for refusing us. And, I hope, gain an insight into how he may yet be persuaded. So I bid ye seek out the Amaro and make yourselves known unto them. A gentle touch shall suffice by way of a greeting. I love giving pets. Someone in game chat says the goodest boys and I agree. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, these are the uh, first equivalent of chocobo, right? Basically, yeah. Although they do have chocobos as well. These are the more common mounts. Uh, where are the chocobos in the first, like in the lore? Um, just around, I think the north. I think more so. Apparently, the north. 
more often ra- rode chocobos frequently, but uh, Amaro are apparently the more common. Most of them died in the flood. That would explain it. You see some at the Crystarium, yeah, and you see one at the beginning as well. It's just where, oh, yeah. where, where are they mostly used? I guess is the question. But I assume the answer is, you know, the same. Why we don't see any other part of Norvrend destroyed by the flood? Are there yeah, Amaro in the danger. source? No, there are not. Well, no, it is not often we are visited by men, much less unglamoured ones. What brings you so far from your own kind? To give you pets, that's what. Hmm, ah, how long it's been since I last felt a man's touch. I cannot help but be reminded of my master's hand. He was a knight of Vobert, a noble and valiant soul. But like so many others, he died fighting the Sin Eaters. Though he is long departed, I remain in this land out of respect for his memory. Aww. <laughs> Danny says, Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Aww. Of curiosity, what's your uh, chocobo named? Mine's called Mudclaw. My uh, my in-game character lore is that uh, because I raised him from an egg and that he liked to play in the mud. <laughs> he could not keep, get... keep his talons dirty. Mine is named Joey Chocho because <laughs> I named all my pet slash uh, minor party members uh, Joey Jojo. <laughs> Aww. Do you have any lore for him? Nope. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Still a lovely name. One of the treasure hunt, uh, the treasure hunters. There's nothing left for you here. Aw. But what if I get pets? That tickles enough. I've had a master. I'm not accustomed to it. I've never had a master. Gotcha. Not that I dislike your kind. You understand. On the contrary, we Amaro were bred to be fond of men. In the beginning, we were all of us the mindless beasts. But then a mage of Ronka gave, gave us the gift of intelligence that we might better serve our masters. After the empire fell, those were the gifts eventually, uh, those with the gifts eventually died out. On rare occasions, however, we are born with the seed of our ancestors in us. If we live long enough among men, uh, this seed may quicken, restoring the power of speech to us amongst other things. So it was with me, though I never had a master, as I told you. The uh, Joey Jojo uh, Junior Shabdu is also where uh, my character's last name comes from. Oh. <laughs> the uh, Shabba. Shabdu. The worst name I've ever heard. <laughs> I think it's cute. Bad uh, reference. <laughs> What's with all this commotion? Did something happen while we slumbered? Yes! I come to attack you with pets! The deadliest weapon of all. A good pet. They'll never expect it. Oh, my dog Mocha loves belly rubs. Mm. Goes for them all the time. And as soon as I stop, she just whines. It's just a quick little whine. It's like, oh, just stop like making more. me want to have a pet. Ugh. No. <laughs> Gosh. Seldom do we have the chance to enjoy the attentions of men. You kind are loath to come here for fear of the faithful. But then we are faithful too. When we first made our home here, we swore an oath to the Fairy King, you see. It is easy to forget sometimes. Mm. His name is Nimbus, like the cloud. Huh. <laughs> Look at its T-Rexes. Oh, I see, because they're Yoshi. Because it's, it's Mario, he's on Yoshi. I see. Yoshi there too. Small Yoshi. Thou hast peered into the hearts of the Amaro, I take it. Then thou canst not choose but see the intense and abiding love they bear for men. It is out of concern for our welfare and not scorn that Seto seeketh to dissuade us from confronting their king. Yet confront their king we must, and to that end we must needs have the crystal shoes.
Victor, might I prevail upon thee to confer with Seto in private? The task of slaying the Light Warden will ultimately be thine, and it is for thee, I believe, that he worrieth most. Tell him of thy many great deeds. Spoken in earnest, thy words may yet move him to change his mind. Aw, he cares for me? He doesn't even know, even know who I am, though. You have spoken with my brethren. Then you see, it is not out of scorn that I deny you the relic. I simply cannot bear to see men fight and die. Not anymore. None of us can. To lose one who has placed a gentle hand on us even once fills our hearts with untold sorrow, as my brothers and sisters will readily attest. have to do it. I have to. Oh, what am I to make of such de declarations? Tell me, why do you wish this? This land is no longer man's to fight for, nor will your doing so compel the Fey folk to change. And in order to obtain the other relic, you will already have paid the due price. Not more is owed. Why then would you risk all to face our fallen king? I mean, yeah, to save the world. Make the world a better place. What did you say? The very words. Could it be mere coincidence? Very well. You may believe what you say, but we shall see it if you have the strength to do it. Sim Eaters have been prowling the area of late. Prove yourselves against them, and I will consider giving you the relic. See that you are well prepared, then meet me in the clearing to the east. There, I will lure out the fiends, that you may slay them. Aww. The boy. Good boys. Good boys, all of them. The lot of them. Oh, look, bears. Sin bears. Uh, I will use my voice to lure out the sin eaters. Feeble cry for the ravenous. Come, we begin our signal. At your signal. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, geez. That's a lot. Okay, they, they ain't that bad. Then again, I'm also level 80. And bears! More bears! Thank goodness bears aren't real. Could you imagine? God. They're so large and ravenous. So grizzly. Oh. Uh, I uh, forgot there's more. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's other people. I was like, why can't I speak to Seto? Do I have to keep going? You made yeah, short... I think we got a few sets here. <laughs> you made short work of those creatures, I will don't deny it. I've seen enough. I just returned to Ganondorf. Hard rock and roll electric guitar. Yeah, it's very SMT. Mm -hmm. Like, especially like you first hear it in Amarang, so like it's even more SMT looking. Yeah. By the ease of which you slew those Sin Eaters, I see that you are capable. However, I still require time to think, and if you are willing, there is a favor I would ask you. This is not a test of your strength, but a personal request. Please hear my tale. A while ago, I fought Sin Eaters who had wandered into Ilmeg. In the heat of battle, I dropped a prized possession medallion. 
Of all the places that it should fall, it was Long Mirror Lake. We are Maro are not fond of water. We certainly cannot dive very deep. I breezed entertained the thought of turning into the foif, uh, turning to the foif, but they are more likely to keep my medallion out of the mischief than return it to me. I had despaired of re retrieving my treasure, but having seen that you, what you are capable of, perhaps you will be able to find it. While I ponder your request for the shoes, will you not go and search for my medallion? If it should elude to even you, I will accept that it has gone forever. No, we'll go find it. We'll go find it for you, buddy. I'm gonna go do it. Watch me go. I'm gonna go swim. I'm gonna be like Michael Phelps. Give me the gold. Give me the gold medal. <laughs> get it. I'm gonna get it. Gotta do it for the Mets. <laughs> do it for the Mets, baby. Yeah, I love the Mets. I get a home run. Yeah, Mets. Love you, Mets. Uh, let's do some underwater baseball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> underwater baseball. Underwater Mets. See Mets. Yeah, get a baseball. Mets. Let's go, Mets. Let's go. Home swim. Home swim, baby. Home swim, baby. Come on, do that. Do that butterfly paddle. Yeah. Let's go, Mets. Oh, here comes the doggy paddle. Oh, here it goes. Here the doggy paddle. Oh, he's... Oh. <laughs> oh, now they're drowning. Oh, oh, oh geez. Oh, this is taking a turn. Oh, oh, oh that, that's not very good, Mets. Oh, no, Mets. <laughs> oh, this is why we don't do it the wild baseball. <laughs> oh. There we go. Let's have a look. Don't Despite mind the thunder horse underwater. Despite its age and prolonged submersion, this golden medallion still retains its luster. The Zanarkin Mets. <laughs> The greatest blitzball team. <laughs> the Xanarkin Mets. Not to be confused with the Xanarkin Apes. I wonder if they did add, like, blitzball in, like, where would the lore, like, have it be from? Would it be from, like, Charlian somehow? Probably. Yeah. They gotta, Chad, what do you think? They gotta have some kind of extracurricular activity, right? You can't just yeah, all be like, books and learning. Just underwater soccer when they're not uh, studying the end of days. <laughs> ah, you are returned. How fared your search? Medallion, you found it. Oh, I know not how to thank you. It is my most treasured possession. A gift from a dear departed soul. You know what I really like about the Amaro is they kind of remind me of like a labyrinth puppet. Like one of those characters from, from Labyrinth. Oh yeah, you know what? He was I, a traveler. It was on the tip of my tongue. Like together, when I saw these guys, it did remind me of Labyrinth. The ends yeah. of the world and that and like Dark Crystal. Yes, Dark Crystal. Yeah, yeah, Jim Henson puppet. Yeah. One of those those like life size things where it's like animatronic yeah. and there's a person like underneath. Very gritty too, like mm -hmm. in their design. In those days I could not speak. But we found joy in each other's company nonetheless. Oh, the memories. This medallion he found during an adventure. Fashioned it into a necklace for me. His partner in crime. Aww. I had not the words to tell him then. But it filled my heart with pride. I was so, so happy.
His name was Artbert, and he was my friend. Artbert, thou sayest? Everyone blamed him for the flood. Him and his comrades. Some few who spoke up for them, of the many whose lives they had touched. But as the years went by, their voices were drowned out by those who only uttered the adventurers' names as a curse. It was too much to bear. And so I left behind men and their lies and came to this place. Artbert was a trusting soul, constantly being drawn into the troubles of others. Yet in spite of this, he never thought twice when he saw someone in need. He always tried to help. It was no different then. The world needed heroes. It needed him. And yet... He was a good man. He deserved to be happy. I wish I could have told him that, at least. I'm sure Artbert knows how you feel. You remind me of him. Your kindness. When we Amaro were created, we were granted the ability to perceive souls. Thus did we recognize our masters. That ability has long since faded from our kind. But due, perhaps, to my reversion, I can see your soul, faintly, but surely. It is reminiscent of Artbert's, <laughs> strikingly so. Of course, you are you and no one else. We are defined not by the soul we are born with, but the path we walk. Nevertheless, I cannot help but feel that this is more than mere coincidence. Which is why I will place my faith in you. The relic. It is yours. Thank you. Something happened at Lida Loran. Together with the twins, we were playing tricks on some nasty mortals to stop them from setting foot in Il Meg. At first, they ran off screaming, which was lots of fun. <laughs> but then a scary, bony, wrinkly old mortal came along and spoiled everything. None of our tricks seemed to work on him, which is no fun at all. And now they're getting closer and closer. Ranjit. If he manages to find his way in, all our efforts will have been for naught. Oh, she it's Ranji. Hmm, as thou sayest. Should we be discovered ere our mission here is complete, and the Light Warden yet liveth, our task will be rendered nigh impossible. Ranji and Fun are like oil and water. We must needs divide our forces. Thus do I propose the following. Whilst thou salliest forth to meet with the Light Warden, we shall join in the effort to obstruct the trespasses. Should we succeed in staying their advance, all the better. Yet even should we fail, if we can but delay our enemy's arrival long enough for thee to secure victory, our plan may still be deemed a success. So the moment the lights go out, we all beat a hasty retreat, yes? Let me come with you. I have the blessing too. Hmm. No, Minfelia. You'll only get underfoot. Now come. Oh, Dad crit. But Dad! I wish there were more I could do. Please be careful. Yeah, no trust trials yet. Maybe one day.
All right, getting close to the trial. Uh, getting close, yep. One of the best trials in the game. Forgive me. It seems my indecision has cost you precious time. But I am convinced now. Convinced that you will triumph. To the south, you will find the bridge to Ligia. It is the bearer of the four relics. The gate of the castle will open to you. Here we go. Trial time, trial time, trial time. Someone was stating that Ranjit is a is uh like a teacher that forgets to assign homework and i replied he's the teacher that forgets uh he's the substitute teacher that assigns his own homework oh i've never had a sub assign homework before thankfully but that sounds i think i've awful. only had one I i've only had one i think that sounds terrible but like and you know they would be like the most cantankerous like old mm. like codger they're they're the sub that loves to say the bell does dismiss you i do yeah oh, oh everyone's geez. here hey yeah look it's everybody unfortunately only about only a fraction of you are going to be able to play with i'm so sorry but nonetheless Gates have recognized that you bear all four relics. The seal is broken. The EX version of this trial is easier than the original. I, I remember it being not that hard. Yeah. I don't know if it's yeah. easier than the original, though. I don't think it's easier, but I think there's only a few extra mechanics. Yeah. It's not, not that much harder. All that I remains. Mean, the, oh, go on. Uh, the like the heavens where trials are practically the same fights with their ex versions. Yeah. All that remains is to enter the castle and confront Titania, a being bereft of reason and mercy. It is sure to be a ferocious battle, but if anyone can bring an end to our king's torment, it's you. And seven other adventurers. Yet know this. My adorable sapling, though we fair folk may appear to live unfettered lives, there is still laws that abide that bind us. To take back as much as is taken, to create as much as is destroyed, to give as much as is received. In all things, balance must be preserved, and the same will be asked of you. Worry not. Come what may, your beautiful branch will ever be at your side. All right. Okay, use a duty finder. Okay, let's see who's on the list. Uh, so Dan, you're in here with me. Uh, e yep, I'll stick with Red Mage. Yep, yep. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, la 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 la. This is a real fun one. Mm -hmm. Like one of the best trials in the game. Oh yeah, I love this one. You know what? Even though Danny, you're my regular, I'm gonna have you come along with this one because I haven't had you in a while, and you're part of the regular A team. Uh. See the BA Baracas. <laughs> so next is let's see, Crystal. Crystal, you'll join in. Uh, Yukino. Let's see, where is Yukino? Are you here, Yukino? Yukino. Oh, there you are. You're right in front of me. Whoops. All right, Oberon. Is Oberon here? There you are. Shoop. And Nero. Oh, Nero. Whoop. And 
And lastly is Nadia. Is Nadia here? There you are. Wait, but I had you on the, uh... Wait, do I have you on twice? Sorry, Nadia, you joined I... for the dungeon, so I'm gonna... What? Why did I write you down? So sorry. Yeah, N Nadia was in the dungeon. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, Balawa, Balawa, Balawa? Balawa. Was there a Balawa here? I guess not. Ready to fight. I haven't leave. seen any. Balawa, okay, we'll go next. Uh, which would be uh, Loyo? Loyo? Is there Loyo here? Is that the Elizan man? There you are. <laughs> Hello. Okay, and I'll write down any names that I ha do not already have. So let's see. Uh, Hezoret. Uh, William Kaplan. <laughs> Uh, all right, William. Wind up. Wind up, Michael. I remember you. Uh, let's see. Yulanti. I think you're new. Yulanti. Uh, chat, remind me. Does uh, LB3 in the middle of the arena hit all three of the ads in this fight? I don't Or do I need does. to, like, angle it in the corner or something? I think you have to do the corner. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. okay. Center hits all. All right. Neat. I'll I didn't keep know that. that in mind. Pretty sure I never wrote you down, Kitran. Okay, so. Yeah, when they're large. Not, not the first part. Okay. All right. We've got our squad. Let us go. Do fight, yeah. Dancing plague. I've got a dancing fever. And the only cure is more dead sin eaters. You ever played Bayonetta? Yes, I have. I played the first Bayonetta. I haven't played two, but it was loads of fun. Two's real good. Who goes there? Are you the one who broke the seal? Is this supposed to be quiet? Ah, so much time lost. So much frolicking and feasting left undone. We must take make up for it. We must begin by playing with you. All right. Get ready for some great music. Soken was really stretching his mus his uh stretching his muscles in these Dude, they strike such a good balance with this song. It's like, it could easily be annoying, but it's not. Yep. Come and play! For the night is bright, and you can sleep when you're dead. This actress also does such a good job. Mm -hmm. I think this is Yustola's VA, pretty sure. When you play with fire. All right, who's gonna get the smack? You're gonna get the smack. 
No smack. No smack. There we go. Nothing. No smack, Jack. All that for a drop of blood. So, the order we want to kill him is uh, the one on the right first, right? Um, Pretty sure. I don't quite remember. Someone will likely mark it. Yeah. I think right first, middle second, and then left third. Uh, I think you go counterclockwise. Yeah, mustard twice. puck. Yeah. Mustard then puck. Yes. These are all Midsummer Night Dream references, right? Sure. Chat will know. <laughs> oh, wow, perfect. Right back here. Nice. Is that random each time? It is, yes. But I got lucky because I didn't have to move at all. Alright, here we go. Get ready. Oh, wait, we don't have LB3. Oh, well. No, oh, no, no. We second part. Now. Okay, so Mustard Seed first, then Puck. Okay. Yeah, no, we just need it for the big version. Yeah, big version. We'll have it in time, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, we always do. This, this trial is definitely a big, like, difficulty jump for a lot of casual players because it's the first one where, like, a DPS check is pretty important. Yeah, if, like, if I fail this trial, it's always the DPS check. Yep, absolutely. Bigger is better. Bigger is better. Bigger is better. Pretty sure otherwise it's the same order until we get our LB3, which is very soon. Alright. Okay, I'm doing. Do it, Dan. Are you able to hit all? Yes. Okay, I take Dan. it. Go. Oh. oh, I got interrupted. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Got it. You died, but. No, I'm still alive. Oh, you're still alive. Somebody else died. It was the healer. Okay, cool. Oh man, a bunch of people died though. Oh, hold on. I'll try to get them. <laughs> shit. Ah, shit. Ah, it's like shit. I, I hit it and then I was like, oh, I'm dead. Ah, Fuck. shit. Oh, Jesus. I don't like <laughs> oh, I think it is. Yeah, only the uh, tanks are alive. Whoops. <laughs> what happened? Tanks uh, need to grab the ads. Oh, I guess I only. Okay. Whoops. All right. Well, I will grab the uh, I will grab uh, mustard and puck, and I guess Nero, you can grab the the third one over there. RB. Yeah, my bad. I, I didn't uh, I didn't uh, get the dual cast raisin. <laughs> <laughs> they have big, oh, big tank again. busters. Gotcha. No worries, Nero. Don't worry. I won't tell Sid. Sorry, that right. really... You sleep when you're dead. Hey, it just means that we get to watch, uh, listen to this great music again. Some more. 
Like, I'm shocked I'm not sick of this song. Yeah. Sung by Millie? Oh. I don't know who that is, but. When you play with fire. Oh, sweet. Shrek. I'm Titania! What are you doing in my forest? <laughs> oh, it's all over now. I'm king of the fairies! Uh, I just did my core core. <laughs> Son, there'll be peas when you are done. Yeah. Bigger is better. Bigger is better. Bigger is better. All right, Nero, remember to grab uh, peas. Once you're in a safe spot, Dan. Do it. Oh, uh, I'm doing it. Yeah, and yeah. it's stacking full me. Full stack, full stack. And nice. That should do it. Blinding people with the LB3. <gasps> My eyes! Okay. I could have angled that better. Oh god, I don't know where to go. <laughs> so much going on. The boss's model is blocking my view. <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll get it done. Almost. Yeah. 
Oh, if we could get it. Oh, no, 70. We had it on no. 70. Oh, we were so close. Oh. If we were just a little bit faster. Not nice, not nice. Not nice. Oh, by the way, the uh, episode uh, that we put out together, uh, that is uh, number 69. <laughs> nice. The uh, collaboration. This is so much fun. Let's Let play some more. Now just a repeat of everything. Oh yeah. Does it ever go to that phase again, the ad phase? Uh, no. The the ad phase, no. Yeah, I was gonna say, that would be hell on... I mean, at that point, you deserve... If it takes you so long that it would reach another ad phase, you deserve to have another ad phase. I forget if there's just another DBS check that just wipes you if you're not fast enough. Mm -hmm. Probably. Probably, yeah, an extreme version, yeah. Aw, oh, two brambles. Right. Find the corner. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I should have angled her better. Lost rune. Okay, this is a safe enough spot. I like that this is very much like Shiva's uh, thing. Yeah, it's the same attack, I believe. Yeah. Makes sense. Cross rune. Yeah, Danny, yeah, Danny, hell yeah. Oh crap, no, I didn't read the backflip. Oh no. F. No, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. you're good. Okay, nice. It's like, oh, no, I don't want to dragoon it. <laughs> and done. Just one wipe. Just one. Just one. There we go. All right, and with that, I actually have to go right now. Okay, so, <laughs> thank you. Once I'm again, glad we were able to make enough progress for you to join in the trial. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us, no, I have a chicken sandwich calling my name. Yes, go eat that chicken sandwich. You deserve it. Yeah. You've earned it. Thanks again for having me. This was a ton of fun. Yeah, I'm glad. Thanks for being a part of it. Yep, all right. Oh, yeah. See ya. Bye. Well, actually, uh, wait, oh. did you want to do a photo or? Yes, let's do a screenshot before you go. Yeah, let's do that first. Mm -hmm. Everybody stick around for the for the depot. Oh, someone left, though. <laughs> I'll do a step dance. Hell yeah. The night returneth to Ilmeg. Yes. Ah, oh, somebody left. Well, I guess they're just gonna have to not be in the screenshot. All right. Here we go. G pose. Yeah, everybody got their thing ready. Nice. Oh, it was Danny who left. Okay. Oh well, I've got plenty of screenshots of Danny. Yes. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Very nice. All right, Dan, you are free to go. All right, thank you once again. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, thank this you. Was a thank ton you for fun. joining in. Dan from Design Doc, everybody, go watch his videos. See later. ya. Bye. Just let me know whenever you're ready for your video. Yes, <laughs> yes, I will. Ready anytime. I will. Take your time, though. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for understanding that. Right. Bye. Bye.
That was Dan from Design Talk. Our fallen king. Not that I expected any less, my Snayak. The dress, the crown, the scepter, the shoes. The time has come for these relics to serve their true purpose. Oh, yeah, uh. For they are not only keys to the castle, they are also blessings to be bestowed upon the new king. The way into the castle is opened when it is time to relieve the reigning monarch of the throne. And the brave soul who does the deed has the honor of taking their place. Uh. However, should you ascend the throne, you will become one of us. Never again to live as men do. My adorable sapling, my precious mortal. I'm surprised they went with King for Titania. Well, the thing is, the fair, the fairies, even though they look more feminine, they are non-binary. We fey folk live forever, but such is not your virtue. To strive for a dream you will never see. To sow seeds that others might one day taste the fruits of your garden. That is the beauty of your kind. Burn bright and shine as only you can. These blessings, your lovely branch will accept in your stead. Yeah, they stole the term king from actual kingdoms, so they just call it king. But they are genderless. Yes, King Fail Ool. Kinla, Ilichla, Ilmeg, Okbra. Now, shall we attend to those unwise enough to trespass in our realm? <laughs> Let's show them our custom, shall we? Confound it. How did they get here so fast? <laughs> Damn these pixies and their tricks! I see why Yulmore doesn't come here often. <laughs> oh. How in the seven hells? Listen well. We come in pursuit of villains who have fled to this land. You know who and where they are. Now show yourselves and answer me before I lose my patience. Oh, stop it! Hurts, it hurts! Jeez. Enough! Lift the enchantment! Minfilia, willful child, how many times must I come to collect you? I won't return to your moor, and I won't let you hurt my friends. Yeah. What is this stance? Where did you learn it? No oracle I trained would make such an unseemly show of herself. Know your shame, girl. You're parlous. 
You have no life nor purpose, save that which our master sees fit to permit. Yes! <laughs> Dad Cred! Who are you to dictate her purpose? To lock her away and deny her a life? If she was powerless, it's because of you, you sanctimonious swine. But no longer. Fool. Defiance only begets more suffering. It is through acceptance alone that one may find solace in this God's forsaken world. Look, the sky. Hey. He's done it. The warrior of darkness has triumphed. Hey. General, what are our orders? What do we do? <laughs> we do what we came to do. Subdue this rabble and find the warrior of darkness. Forward, men! Take the villains captive! Are you deaf? I said! Oh. Axla Orwain! Axla Orwain! Axla Orwain! What? What's happening? Water? Oh. oh fuck. Do not mess with the Fae. What do I can see? What do I can see? This is terrifying, oh absolutely. God, the Amaro are angry. Look at their red eyes. General, they come in greater numbers. We must retreat. All who stand with a warrior of darkness shall face justice. My master demands it. Now I'm going to peace out. Just not today. Hell yeah! Your Majesty? I see. Well, it's a good thing Fair all volunteered to become king in your stead, for all our sakes. We are grateful for your timely aid, Fair all, or should I say, your majesty. King shit. It was the first night in recent memory. We all of us but wish to make the most of it. That's something you must remember about us Fey folk. Though our existence may be eternal, we exist only for the present. We live in the here and now. Paying no mind to futures that may or may not be. To wit, we are not driven as men are. We cannot fight for such causes as men do. Does that mean you won't aid us against the Sin Eaters? <laughs> not unless the mood takes us. 
But if it was to repay a debt, well then, that's another matter. To take back as much as is taken. To create as much as is destroyed. To give as much as is received. Such is the way of Ilmeg. <laughs> that's what she told us on the mountain. By this law, we shall lend you our strength. In return for the beautiful sky you have restored to us. In times of need, do not hesitate to call. Yes, my lord. Uh, what about our pact? Silly sapling. I shall remain at your side. Even should my body be in the castle, tis a simple thing to have a little part of me accompany you. Aw. Treat them as you would your isnefis. nice. I think we're getting close to finishing part one of New Game Plus. Thank you everyone for joining me in this. Much appreciated. Never for a, mo uh, never for a moment did I doubt that, uh, that thou wouldst triumph over thy foe, yet the majesty of thine achievement delighteth me nonetheless. Nigh hath re night hath returned to Ilmeg, and we stand one step closer to delivering the first from its doom, and averting the eighth umbral calamity. Tis but a pity thou wert not present to see the faithful put the Yulmorans to fight, to flight. Twas a sight to raise the spirits, I do assure thee. Ah, but what valuable allies they might have proved, were the mood only to take them. It was pure luck that we managed to hold the Yurmorans at bay long enough for you to succeed, but we have earned some good fortune. And while it is plain we've not seen the last of General Ranjit, I, for one, am glad to delay our reckoning with him a while longer. Alizé? It seems I was wrong about your friend. Had Fael Ul not stepped in, you'd be frolicking with the fairies by now. <laughs> Infilia? I'm going to train harder. Having seen what you've achieved, it is the least I can do. Oh, new glam for royalty, sir? Oh, oh, that's right. Yes. King Danny. Titania Danny. Thank you for taking my place. I much appreciate you. I hope you... Do well in the Dreaming City. Though the battle is over, the war is far from won. Let us fix our gaze upon the road ahead. Hold on, I need to do something important. Pet. <laughs> you look good, Dan. You looking fly. I knew you could do it, and not only because of your blessings. You have the strength all of your own, and it has seen us through many a trial. With the warden defeated, I believe our work here is done. It is time we were going together, needless to say. To the bitter end, the fate of our two worlds being at stake and all that. Now then, I suggest we hurry back to the Crystarium. More, much and more may have happened while we were frolicking with the faithful. That Ranjit elected to pursue us makes me hopeful that the city was spared uh, Yulmore's attentions, but I would sooner see for myself. Besides, I believe I speak for us uh, all when I say that I've had a bellyful of Ilmeg. Let us away before the fairy, uh, fairies think to play with us again. To the Crystarium. Oh. Oh. 
glitter apple. Thank you. Thank you for gifting five subs. Extremely generous of you. Much appreciated. Congrats to those who uh, received it. And here we see Dancing Thancred. He's a regular on, on uh, Brynhildr, and um, he just finds a spot, and he just dances there. No one, really, no one ever, uh, don't ever question it. He's just kind of there. seems well at the Crystarium. Yes. Yulmore was plainly more concerned with finding us. How flattering. Ah! Oh. Hello, Solus. This will be our first encounter, wouldn't it? You certainly took your time. I had half resolved to complete the task myself. I've seen you in history books. And you are? Were one to study the annals of Galian history, one would find yonder visage on many a page. Though by rights, its youth should long since have faded. Well, well, we have a historian in our midst. That spares me a lengthy explanation. I am Solus Sos Galvus, founding father of the Galian Empire, and under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. You look relatively healthy for a dead man. As for my true identity... I am Emmett Selk, Asian. spoke of you, a native of the source. Equal in rank to La Habrea. And you came all this way just to introduce yourself to us. Behold the sky, restored to its former glory. Have you ever seen a more affecting spectacle? Oh, it is truly, deeply, Infuriating. Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? Following the flood, the first had been listing ever further towards the light, towards stasis. The end was in sight. Enter man and his indomitable spirit. He would haul the world back from the brink. And adding his lump and weight to the power of growth, he duly tipped the scales, if only by a fraction. Yet a fraction was enough to spoil the perfect imbalance needed to bring about a rejoining. <sighs> Had mankind continued to live in idleness under Vorthry's rule, all the conditions would have been met. Oh, what are you gonna do, cry about it? But you had to come and ruin it all. Thanks to your meddling, light supremacy is in doubt, and our painstakingly laid plans are in tatters. Well, I should begin by thanking you for confirming Uriange's theories on the inner workings of the Calamity. He will be most pleased. <laughs> As for what happens next, might I suggest you admit defeat and walk away? Happy to let me go, are you? 
because the murderous glint in your eye suggests otherwise. Indeed, it is enough to make me think better of confronting you alone. Look, it did cross my mind to simply side with Vorthry and kill you all, but that's no different from what Lahabred did. And we all know how well that ended for him. Mm. And so, while it is liable to be troublesome, I have settled upon a different approach. Cooperation. Sauce! I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the Light Wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. This is such a... Oh my god, did oh Emmett is such a he plays us like toys because like first he comes to us just like oh you ruined my plans uh, meh, meh. but maybe we can work together and it's like I don't know which one I hate more. It's like I don't know which one makes him more suspicious. The fact that he would reveal himself to us to admit that we've been ruining his plans where there is no tactical benefit for him to do so or the fact that he would be willing to work with us that's why he's such a good antagonist yeah i love him i i say i hate him but i love him he's such a good villain because it's like what what since time immemorial you and yours have labored to rejoin the 13 shards at the cost of countless lives over analysis book i can't say anything right now because like th we're, we've just met him we're only just meeting him, so I can't really say much yet. Do you expect us to believe that your objective has suddenly changed? Love to hate, yes. Nay, our I love objective to hate is the same as it ever was. Though I dare say, you do not know our motive. A war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once, might we not seek to find common ground? For good or ill, I am immortal. Provided I have the inclination, I can always begin anew, scheme and conspire to my heart's content. But this time I thought that I might instead try to see eye to eye, to understand what drives the hero of the source, to determine if our goals are truly incompatible. Hmm. So come. Shed your preconceptions. See beyond the unscrupulous villains you take us for. When all is said and done, we may find ourselves pleasantly surprised. The proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. Think of it. Mm, press X to doubt. Big on! Ah. Uh. Thou hast delivered thy proposal, and we would not dismiss it outright. If I may offer thee counsel, however, to make thy case via an illusion reflecteth poorly upon thy sincerity. Yeah. My apologies. You will forgive me if I'm not entirely at ease in the presence of a famed Asian Slayer. I felt it only prudent to take precautions. You know what, that's fair. Honestly, that, that's fair. <laughs> Nonetheless, your counsel is duly noted. We did kill Lahabrea, that's true. Well, we didn't kill him. Lord Thor I take King Thornton did. Rest assured, we shall meet again soon. We killed uh we killed Nabrealis and Igiyor. But uh you know what I love? There's a YouTuber called Lucron who uh, is famous for his, uh, well-known rather, known known primarily for his video, 15-year-old wild nerd plays Final Fantasy XIV, and he just recently uh, finished the Nier raids. The one thing that actually tempted him to try out the games in the first place. Uh, Lucron, go oh, bringers. And he has, he's an amazing editor. He is hilarious, you guys. He's so funny. And there's this one clip, let me find it. I love this clip that he did for this moment in the story. Uh, hold on. Ah, rain at the right time. 
Perfect time. Uh, let's see. Is it this one, I think? Yes, I love... Okay, I love his recaps here. Let me show you one of the recaps. Who ate all the sandwiches? Previously on Shadowbringers. Come. Come and play with us. Answer me. Before I lose my patience. Ow. Harder, Daddy. What? Look. The sky. What do we do? <laughs> that wasn't there before. I am immortal. Might we not seek to find common ground? Be gone! I love that. Oh my god. Here, here's the link. He did an entire playthrough of Shadowbringers and he, he recently caught up. Oh, it's so good. The, the fucking be gone! Ah. <laughs> Lucron's hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> Cooperation. He can't be serious, can he? Well, we've certainly been giving much to ponder. First things first, we should report to the Exarch. You can run along, Victor. We're perfectly capable of handling this little task. In light of your recent extensions, I should, uh, I'd say you've earned a rest. Go on, take yourself off to bed. We'll see you later. Refresh and ready for more. His editing is amazing. All right, back to the pendants. Ah, time to go talk to our, our buddy. Also nice that it's nighttime. I'm glad that I, my timing is so lucky that I always come back to the Crystarium at night. find refreshments laid out in your quarters. We hope they are to your liking. Will you be retiring now? Very good, sir. I bid you a pleasant evening. Doesn't the story set time at specific points? No, this is uh, this is the in-game time. My buddy, uh, my buddy got to this point and it was daytime when Emmett was like, ah, look at the night, and it's like day. And foggy as well. <laughs> But yeah, Emmett is sus as fuck. He's like, like, we're gonna do our thing no matter what he says, but the fact that he's encouraging it is like, I don't, makes me not, uh, it makes you not want to do it because it's like, but that's what you want me to do. But I mean, what am I gonna do? Not go slay the Light Wardens? Uh, anyway, we've got some sam sandwiches. I hope the past few days have not been overly taxing. Pray, take your rest and recover. From the Exarch, is it? Uh, with that mirror of his, he can watch your every move, you know. You'll probably think you're talking to yourself. <laughs> he, he accepts my privacy. Uh, still, he's keeping you well fed. Judging by his people's faith in him, he seems to be a decent sort. But so much about him remains shrouded in mystery. Like what was he doing back in my day? There was no such person when I was around. Hmm... A lot's happened since the flood, though. Since I was set adrift. I know little more than you do of this city's history in the Exarch's past. Not that it matters. It's Emmett Selk we should be concerned about. 
When our world was about to be consumed by light, the Asin in white appeared before us. He said that the only way for us to live on was to bring about the rejoining. Oh, yeah. Elidipus. Desperate as we were, we heeded his words, not realizing that the flood was of the Asian's own making. They cannot be trusted. None of them. But Emmett Selk had one thing right. One should not fight blindly. That's what we did. And it cost us everything we held dear. Um... Seto. Tell me about Seto. Bon? What about Seto? What is that to say? <sighs> All right. He's done some growing. When we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big, and he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. Aww. What about you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? <laughs> Come on, you tell me something for a change. Uh, well, I've got this one called Mudclaw. I raised him from a hatchling. And he would always roll around in the dirt, no matter how. That was a lot of sandwiches ate? Yeah. Gotta eat it all. Gotta finish my meal. Before I can have dessert. Oh boy. Good evening to you, sir. I do hope you are well rested. The Exarch and your companions are presently gathered in the ocular. We ask that you convene with them at your earliest convenience. Right. Good morning, Danny. Good morning. Good morning, Graha. Good morning. Raised from a hatchling, yeah. That's okay. Oof, that's some heavy rain. Hi, Joe. How, how goes the flow? The flow goes well. The vibe is nice, and the energy is sweet. Those sandwiches were delicious. Much appreciated, Exarch. Very nice. Very filling. Ah, oh, there you are. You're just in time to welcome our guest. Mm. Mm. Just you say. So the. explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. Sorry, that's a little loud. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, uh... do that one more time just so I can lower the volume, so... pardon, one second. I'm just gonna... Uh... There we go. 
That should fix it. Your Exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. You honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe? Or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon? Even if there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help. Not in my darkest hour. Not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. Yeah, Thancred's kind of got a personal... Uh, personal beef with you guys. So petty. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters, put each and every Light Warden to the sword, prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Well, now I don't want to. I mean, I was going to do that originally, but now that you're telling me to. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. Be lucky Lise isn't here. And thus did the olive branch wither and die. Fitting. Well, let no man say I did not try, futile as it was. Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? What was that all about? A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most like. Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. I'm sure you will. But consider for a moment. If he meant simply to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself, at least not in the manner he did. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question, but since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission. Then let us discuss the Sin Eaters. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. I did mute myself, whoops. That I was may be, but coughing. the Wardens of Calusia, Amareng, and Raktika remain. Indeed, and their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. I'll take Armoreng in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. <laughs> if there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around Yulmor that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. There you will find your Stola. With her assistance, I doubt the Warden will evade your grasp for long. Is Yushtola the conjurer you and Uriange used to talk about? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since she left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is... disinclined to speak with you. Right. I think all the Scions were pretty mad at you. You have visited her, have you?
Have you not? Might I trouble you to... It would be no trouble. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. Oh, he just got invited to Smash Bros. Yo! What's that? A missive from Lord Vorthry. He invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Leda Loran. And? Did he even bother to offer any bait? It's obviously a trap. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. Mm. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I am willing to take. Master Alphano, might I impose upon you to accompany me to Yulmore prior to beginning your reconnaissance? Of course. Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. Before you leave, I would make a request of you. There is a church, or rather, the ruins of a church, at Fort John. Might I ask that you go there before seeking out Ishtola? It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. Alas, it has long since fallen to disuse. Yet within that hall, there remains a tablet whose writings, I believe, may prove to be used to Ishtola. At the very least, such a relic would make a suitable gift for your reunion. A most considerate proposal, very well. Ere we depart to Raktika, we shall journey into unto Fort Job that we may secure this relic. There are so many ruins scattered throughout Hammering. I'm honestly not sure where to start. I confess, a great deal of my time in Colusia was spent befriending the people, but that is not to say I gave no thought of our primary goal. Once I have escorted the Exarch to Yulmore, you can be certain I will do all I can to discern the whereabouts of any warden that may be hiding in Colusia. Right. So, anybody in chat know when part one of New Game Plus finishes for Shadowbringers? What's the name of the quest? What is the quest? Because I know I'm getting close. After Roktika. Yeah, but where after? After the 75 dungeon? Really? Damn. That's quite a ways away. Yeesh. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that is a long chapter. Okay. Yeah. Roktika dungeon is like, oh, jeez. It's a ways away. I can do it, though. I believe in me. I've got time. Sunday is my day off, and I don't have D&D &D tonight, so... I'm pretty sure, at least. Uh... Let me message my D&D &D crew. No D&D &D tonight. <clears throat> yeah, normally uh, Sunday night is D and D with the hijack crew, but uh, people are busy with stuff. Oh, yet there, where there's light, there hath been shade. The quest it ends on is out of this world. Uh, yeah, that's quite a ways away. Oh, jeez. I believe in me, though. I can do it. All right. Yep. Hello. Oh my god, there's so many of you watching. I just checked my, like, Twitch uh, dashboard. Oh my god, thank you for joining with me, you guys. 
this stream series has started with such a humble beginning that more people have joined in as they went on. Thanks for joining me. Aye, this is indeed the church we seek. It's surprisingly intact. What little is left of the church as I've seen until now have always borne the scars of decades of disuse. Its subterranean con construction hath done much to pro protect the hall from it, the ravages of time, yet the reason for its remarkable per uh, preservation may be deduced from its decoration. As faith in the Light Warden did wane, so rose reverence for the dark. And it follows did its followers did want for places of worship. To be plain, the standards which do adorn these walls belong not to those who build them, but to worshippers of the dark, the night's blessed. Who subsequently migrated to Raktika, yes? Indeed. "'Twas beneath the shaded bows of the Raktika Greatwood that they finally found sanctuary. Oft and many times did Yulmor make spurious overtures of friendship unto them, but they are no fools. The Exarch knoweth full well that Ishtola in her seclusion doth labor to learn all she may of the blessed and their past. Tis why he sent us here, I now see. The tablet of which he spoke no doubt provideth a glimpse into the history that she so yearneth to comprehend. Well then, we better hurry and find it. All right. First person shooter time. Hello, Mario. How you doing? Let's see. There's surroundings. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I know where it is, but I want to talk with the characters. I can barely see my hand in front of my face. If only that torch were a little closer. It's right there. But I want to look around if there's anything else, like Thancred's ass. Can anyone tell me what this infernal tablet even looks like? Were the tablet a fragment of holy scripture, it would most assuredly rest here on this altar. Yet this would, I presume, also have been where the blessed place of the front, the font of seeing used in the practice of their faith, whither then would they have set the tablet? Zoom in, enhance. Located the time worn tablet. Return the slab, or suffer my curse. The mad god, the mad god, King Ramsey, the mad god. Within the altar, thou sayest. Nought escapeth thine eye, to it seem. This is indeed the tablet we seek. Curious, these engravings predate the Knights Blessed. If I am not mistaken, they are written in the script of an ancient empire of Ronka, whose capital once stood in the midst of what is now Raktika. It will be no small matter to decipher them. Hmm. A fine gift for our seeker of truth. Tis plain the Exarch understandeth Ishtola only too well. But come, let us quit this place and make ready for our journey into the woods. Thank you for the lecture, Mario. Ere we depart, there is a custom of the Knights Blessed which I feel compelled to elucidate. As one might expect, they deem the light to be abhorrent and everything it touches befouled. Thus do they take the utmost pains to protect all they can from its taint, including their very names. 
To speak plain, it is the belief of the blessed that one's own name must never be uttered in the light of the everlasting day. Yet this commandment precludeth not to use another's, of another. Thus do parents protect their children, and in rare cases masters their disciples. So it is that Ishola hath taken the, mas the name of Master Matoya. Lest we offend them, I bid you speak not of her true name in the blessed presence. With that in mind, let us speak with the guard who keepeth vigil of the, uh, at the Great Woods Ball. Mm. All right, before I head to the Great Wood, uh, I'm gonna put away some dishes and uh, grab a thing. Hold on. So I might not be able to do things because uh, I'm not able to find enough things. Oh well. Basically, I was looking for batteries for a thing. Whoa, what happened here? There's a hype train going on while I was gone. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Hezerot, uh, Hezeret, and, uh, Obscure Avocado. Thank you for gifting subs. And the well done steak, thank you. Was that my girlfriend? It was not. Thank you. Thank you for this. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs and the, the bits. You are my girlfriend, chat. You're a very cute girl, chat. I don't compliment cute girls. Uh, rather, I don't compliment ugly girls because there are none. <laughs> Met Traveler, what business brings you here? Yes, right, of course. I think we should stay friends. I respect your decision. Chat, do you know Lahi? No matter how far he goes, man cannot resist looking back on the path he has walked. The untold stories and secrets of the past 
can be more alluring than the promise of tomorrow. And so he braves the forests of Raktika in search of mystery and wonder. Of Ronka, to which all seekers of hidden truths are inevitably drawn. We have arrived. Vast though these woods may be, they are, by and large, uninhabitable. Not so the swamps of Sidia, however, whose sparse foliage permitted man a foothold. No lands must remain beyond our grasp. Go forth, conquer, rule! Forgive me. A sudden pang of nostalgia for those halcyon days. Exploring virgin territories, subjugating primitive peoples, all for the glory of Garlemald. If you've brought your ivory standard, I'll be happy to tell you where to stick it. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Can we not simply take a moment to enjoy the view together? Or would you rather I spied on you from the shadows? <sighs> Much more of this, and I may very well begin to regret my show of good faith. If you really want to stay, then help us fight. Mm, no, <laughs> I think not. I am an observer, nothing more. I love that line delivery. Mm, no. <laughs> Even shielded by the shadows of these boughs, I feel the light's presence most keenly. To accompany you is taxing enough. To fight is out of the question. I will suffer your company if I must, but not your commentary. Hey, Danny. Sir, are you all right? You were screaming. Uh, sorry, I just got caught up in the moment. Reminds me of home, you know, back in the Twelves Wood. Tis plain our Asian counterparts mean us to follow wheresoever we lead. Were it otherwise, he would not suffer the overabundance of light in these woods. Verily, it per uh, pervadeth every corner. And so long as the Light Warden remaineth, the Sin Eaters shall be free to prey upon these lands without uh, uh, surcease. If naught is done, tis but a matter of time before the Blessed succumb. Two years past, a swarm of Sin Eaters did lay waste unto their large settlement, killing a great many of their priests in so doing. Though some few did survive, they knew not how to go on. Wayward souls in want of a crook guiding hand, for a mercy Ishtola hath provided that which they sorely needed. They have since endeavored to restore their home, and thither shall we bend our steps to Fort Gone. Hello. Sorry, it just reminds me of home back in the Twelves Wood is all. I think I got aggro from that pot. Oh well.
You can disable combat music. That's true. I should have. That was my fault. I see little sign of recent activity, nor hath any meaningful progress been made with the reconstruction. Mayhap Yashtola sought shelter elsewhere. Come, let us quit this place. Oh. Now, surround them! Oh, Erden, uh, Erinden. Thank you for gifting five subs. I didn't even notice that. Thank you. Much appreciated. That's a level three hype train. Nice. These senators, they're not like the others. There's a reason for that. Lower your weapons, please. We mean you no harm. How is it they can speak? It's a sin eater trick. They mean to kill us all. Uh Koopo? <sighs> that will seem a lot less amusing when we are forced to kill them. <laughs> Oh, for the love of... I had hoped that by accompanying you, we might come to understand one another. But all I have come to understand is that you have a knack for inflaming the natives. You've committed the cardinal sin of boring me. And so, I retire to the shade. Good luck. Did you see that one disappear? Uh, I think I preferred La Habrea. Enough. Runar, report. <gasps> Master Matoya! We apprehended them as you ordered, but are you certain these are sin eaters? The intense light of the ether I saw was unmistakable. If not sin eaters, then what? It is passing queer that Yishtola should mistake us for the enemy, is it not? Mayhap it hath been too long since last she beheld the radiance of thine ether. Master Matoya, hath time truly made strangers of us? Nay, I recognize you, Urianger, Thancred. And this is Minfilia of the First, of whom you spoke before. Just so. And knowing as thou must that we come in peace, might I prevail upon thee to have thy comrades lower their arms? First explain this other presence in your company. The one I know not. There is but one manner of creature in this world whose ether is suffused with such an abundance of light. Oh, yeah, that's right. It has been a little bit... It's been a while. Mine apologies, Master Matoya, but thou art mistaken. Before thee standeth our dearest comrade, the truest hero among us. Though he is but recently arrived here in the first, not one but two Light Wardens have already perished by his most puissant hand. It cannot be. Uh, <laughs> nice to see you too, Master Matoya. Master Matoya? Lower your weapons. Forgive us this hostile welcome.
come. I would give you a proper introduction to Raktika and its people. You have been busy since arriving in the first, I gather. But I would hear the tale of your travails in more suitable surroundings. With Fort Ghent gone, yet to be rebuilt, the Knights Blessed have made their home in a settlement in the northeast. I will await you at the entrance. Follow the path through the yonder gate, and you will find me soon enough. There you are. I was beginning to worry. I heard screaming over the horizon. Much like the Twelveswood, this forest has a way of dealing with those who stray too far from the beaten path. But I digress. Let me show you the home of the Knights Blessed. How long do you think it might take to start at the beginning and play through all expansions? Well, um, you can look at all my videos on my VOD, uh, my VOD channel, and see there is a measurement. You can measure. Probably one month, a little bit longer than that, I'd say. A month or two. Yeah, at least a month. I started this in October. Slitherbow is the largest of the blessed settlements. They worship no gods instead revering darkness itself. It is a curious kind of faith, but one which has granted them the strength to persevere in the wake of the Flood. That's just main quest, yeah. If you're talking about just main quest, that's like, I'd say like 60 hours of ARR, maybe like 40. 40 hours of ARR, 20 hours of East Expansion following. I hope you weren't expecting a grand feast by way of welcome. They are simple people. Now, I would hear of your travels away from prying ears. Come. And that's if you're just doing purely MSQ and even rushing a little bit. I would say take your time. Don't worry about being caught up. The content will always be there. I see. And now you seek the Light Warden of Raktika. In the days after I arrived in the first, I too relied upon the Crystal Exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half truths soon lost him my trust. My work eventually led me here to the forest, which I've come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Oh, it's Matoya's cave theme. Well, go on then. Some few thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. A great many relics of that civilization can still be found to the east in Ixmaya, or rather could be found, were the area not fiercely guarded. Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. That's some heels right there. 
Mayhap the Warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. Yeah, heels in the forest, they would not be good for walking in like dirt and Ask grass. Ask for the tablet. I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I did not know better, I would think someone was trying to curry favor with me. <laughs> Consider it an apology gift from the Exarch. Regardless, it will take time to decipher these writings. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. If there is aught I can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Thank you, Urianger. While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the Warrior of Darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Ishtola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with our altered circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Though separate, the fate of this reflection is nevertheless bound to that of our home. That I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. Mm. What of you, Thancred? Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? I am very uncomfortable with the energy we have in the studio today. My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed, if you'll excuse me. Now, this is not sass. This is just straight up like, ooh, I, ooh, I, ooh, I am on, ooh, I don't like this. Oh. He understands that I'm not the same, that I'm not her. Understands, perhaps, but does not accept. The question being whether he ever will. And whether you will, more importantly. As difficult as your circumstances may be, they are yours, not his. Tis you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life. In your own words, Ustola, must you be so ungentle? But you need not make any hard choices now. Why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. God, you're turning into her. I wish... I wish I'd never... When Ishtola first arrived in the first, she made swift work of the Cabinet of Curiosity. Her thirst yet unsated, she then journeyed hither, seeking the wisdom of Ronka. She found little in the way of the welcome from the blessed, however. It was not until the Great Fire, where she denied the Sin Eaters a feast of ether, that she gained their trust. Since then, I have served as liaison twixt Slitherbo and the Crystarium, that she might be kept abreast of the other's efforts. I am not indifferent to Thancred's troubles. Nevertheless, I will not apologize for holding him to higher standards after all these years. He has ever been a man of considerable resolve, and that is what I will continue to expect. You stole it, listen, buddy. Just because he can take you know, a blow or two every now and then doesn't mean the next one won't break the camel's back. A thick skin is a thick skin. It can still be punctured. Though it heartens me to know that some of us remain ourselves in spite of our present circumstances. I can but imagine how Alizé and Alphino have changed since arriving here in the first. Um... 
Change is part of life. We can but hope it's changed for the better. <sighs> You're right. And after my untoward remarks to Thancred, no doubt he thinks I changed for the worst. I will have to speak with him later. Okay, that's a start. Ren, returning to the matter at hand, I really must begin work on deciphering this tablet. In the meantime, perhaps you should take a look about Slitherbo. If there is anything you need, pray speak with Runar at the plaza. Yeah, it's like, it's like if you tease your friend a little bit too hard and you're like, ah, he can take it. It's like, it's good to check up. Check up on your pals that you tease. Make sure they're okay. Make sure they really are okay with it. Check in with your buddies. Sometimes you never know when you're going to take it too far. Welcome, friend. Welcome. My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? From where do you hail? My name is Victor Quibbles. I come from the Crystarium. From the Crystarium? I see. And this tablet you've brought may help us find the Light Wardens here in Raktika. Well, you are welcome to stay with us as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. Would it be all right if I joined you? Of course, of course. Anything for the guests of our dear Master Matoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Knight's Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. With our priests slain and our home in ruins, we are at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. It was she who drove them back, and with her g sage grace, uh, guidance, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she has become a central sh figure in our community, a great oak within whose sh uh, shadow may have come to find solace. That is not to say that there were not those hesitant to grant an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps it is the smile in her eyes when she speaks of the Sunless Sea. I feel whole again now that she is with us, and I have no doubt that the others feel the same. She is as much part of the Knights Blessed as any of us, and we are grateful for all she does in service of the Dark. But you did not hear this from me, yes? Now, you should know that there are certain customs we ask guests to adhere to so long as they reside within Slitherbow. To show reverence to the Dark? In a word, yes, but fear not, it is not too involved. Let us begin with some sim something simple. Follow me. Yeah, so... Oh. So, now we see what the Shadowbringers trailer was. It was a prequel to Shadowbringers, in a way. Showing what happened in the meantime with the Sons while we were, you know, while they were gone. I.e., the fire in that cinematic was Ishtola protecting Slitherbo. Or, I guess, the people of Raktika. Should you see any of our people come to this chamber, they have likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Raktika. We use the waters stored here to cleanse ourselves of the light's impurity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but it is one of our most important. Would you two kneel for just a moment, that I might rid you of the light's impurity? We mustn't be rude to our hosts. Oh, yes, of course, of course. As Runar lightly sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. And with that, you have been cleansed of the light's blighted touch. How do you feel? 
I'm not sure, to be honest. Not refreshed exactly, but I do feel different. Has this water been treated in some way? Only blessed by our priests. They are practicing the arcane arts. As such, it is said their prayers imbue the water with a faint dark energy. A prickling sensation. No one has ever spoken of such a reaction before. Uh, it might be, uh, ooh, yeah, yeah, d d crazy that. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. I wouldn't say it was unpleasant sensation, but I too felt something strange. Hmm. The dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect, unless... By the gods! Master Motoya was right! You are Sin Eaters! I jest, I jest. What you felt was likely no more than the chill of the water. Perhaps now would be a good time for you to acquaint yourselves with the people of Slitherbow. For that, I must teach you a customary greeting. Alin Tuta. In the language of Ranka, it is one of several ways one might say good evening. The world is not safe as it once was, and this greeting lets us quickly discern friend from foe. Is there a handshake or gesture we should know too? I would hate to offend anyone. <laughs> oh, precious. You need not worry. Merely speak the words Alin Tuta, and they will know you as friend of the blessed. I will await your return here. Now go. They are like to be heartened by your knowledge of our ways. No need to be shy, my friend. The blessed are a warm and welcoming people. You guys splashing? <laughs> thank you, thank you, yes, yes. Yes, I am very stinky, and I need a shower. Yulmore told me so. Thank you. I am now blessed by the water. Thank you, Th thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hashtag bliss. All right. Alin Tuta. Oh. Alin without caps. The elderly woman smiles warmly. Aw. I like seeing the Alin Tuta in the, in the Say chat. It's the bunch. Gotta scrub all the light out of you. Alin Tuta. Alin Chisi, welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in these woods for some time, yes? Be wary of these woods. You will find poison in near everything you see. But fear not, a medicinal tea will keep you healthy. Ask and it is yours. You are more than welcome to our medicines, friend. You need only ask. Oh. How welcoming. Elegant tutors. Alin Tuta. Ah, a newly come traveler. Alin Chisi, and welcome to Slitherbow. You must forgive us if we seem strangely reserved. We are a quiet and uh, taciturn people. Taciturn. Silent and serene as the sunless sea. The quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of eaters and other dangers here in the woods. Who are those kids? Playing hopscotch with no... They're playing hopscotch with no marks on the ground. What are you doing? Kids in Ronka don't know how to play hopscotch. Hopscotch EX, you have to memorize the lines.
everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but already I'm starting to feel at home. There is so much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. I can see now how they built such a thriving community. Ah, you are returned. Very good. No doubt they were glad of your company. It has been lo too long since we had visitors. Remember, if you have any questions, or there is anything else you need, do not hesitate to ask. He's friendly. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodges for your safety. As friends of Master Matoya, we cannot ask for your payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand. <laughs> it would be my pleasure, of course. I'm going to be nice about it. We are fortunate indeed to play host to such generous souls. The tasks I have in mind is simple enough. All I ask is that you take a jug of water, uh, water, and water, water the crops in the square. May I help too? <laughs> of course. One of you can do the filling and the other the watering. Speak with Ersabel when you are finished. She will be relieved to hear the crops have been tended to. While you take care of that, I will see to your room and warm uh, and a warm meal. All right, I need proper music for this. Right then, I'll fill you. Uh, I'll fill your water. gonna be a race this was the only jug I could find which was small enough to lift but I'm afraid there's a crack at the bottom you'll need to hurry to the garden before all the water leaks out take the jug of water to the square before the contents leak out you have 45 seconds all right all right here we go Water and water and water, water, 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 water and water and water, water and water and water, 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 water, water and water, water, water and water and water, water and water and water I did it! I did the water. I watered your plants. Also, I love all the comments under this video. It's like, when earth, wind, and fire make a band, so you have to make your own. <laughs> or like, uh, 80% of the earth be like water and water and water and water. Uh. Well met, travelers. I observed you earlier speaking with the others. Have you need of something? You water the crops. Ah, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I have been rather distracted of late. Watering the crops was always T Todia's duty, but she, she is no longer with us. We have since taken to sharing the duty, though never with guests. You are most kind. Oh yeah, a link. Let me get a link. Sorry. Here's a link to the water and water and water song. It's fantastic. Is there anything else we can do to help? We could plant something if you like. 
There is no need. The pot is small, it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. I don't know how you manage. Had the Blessed not considered leaving, life would surely be easier almost anywhere. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Tell me, do you know of our history, how our faith came to be? Uh, I... yes, I believe so. The Knights Blessed was initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the Flood. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community, which un uh, ultimately decided to strike out on its own in the Raktika Greatwood. I see you have read your history, but there is a history that is told, and one that is lived. Like so many others, uh, so many in those times, the first of the nice blessed lost everything. Their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls of those who lost to the flood when their bodies were reborn as sin eaters. The people were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned along with everything, everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. But soon they realized that where there is light, there must be darkness. And in that truth, they found a new faith, a belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond these burning skies, in the sunless seas above. That is why we pray for the safe passage and wayward souls unto that blessed black abyss, for the return of the night, that we may someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. We remain in these woods for the selfsame reason our founders first chose them, that we may lead lives of simplicity with the shade of these trees as a constant reminder of our faith. With so many seeking paradise in Yulmong, it's refreshing to find people who value a, a humbler experience. You are kind to say so, and many consider our way of life foolish, and so it must seem to those who yet cling to their whole worldly possessions. In times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it is all too easy to lose sight of why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast to material things, but to hold to those who went before us in our hearts, to keep alive the legacy that they have left us. This we must do for them, our children, and generations yet unborn. To keep their legacy alive. You guys are having a nice time by the fire. Be joining you shortly. Ooh, Runar's cooking something yummy looking. Getting some grub. Oh! Uh, there we go. There we are, Runar. How's supper? Done tending to the crops already. I learned about your culture. It's nice. Very good. It should not be long before your room is ready. Runar! <clears throat> In the woods, Sin Eaters. I fear they may have the touch. Where? In the grove to the southwest. For a mercy, they've yet to wander any closer to Slither Slitherbow. Oh no, not the cheese touch. Then we have no need to engage. Inform the guard that no one is to set foot outside the village until they have moved on. B 
But sir, what of Tododia's hearthstone? It must be retrieved before the service. Of all the times for Sinidas to appear. Are you just going to leave them alone? Under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beasts down. But if they indeed have the touch, I will not risk them corrupting one of our own. Was that what you said about the stone? What was that about that you said about the stone? A few days passed, Tadodia, uh, uh, Tadia, a child of the Knights Blessed, was slain by the Sin Eaters. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste, we failed to notice her necklace was gone. Strung to it was a pendant of jade, her heart stone. All of the Knights Blessed are given such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. It is custom to present the heartstone of the deceased at their funeral as an offering to the heavens. But now... What if... What if I could find it for you? I have experience fighting Sin Eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like it does others. Master Matoya called you Minfilia, did she not? Are you truly the Minfilia, descended from the Oracle? Even so, I dare not ask you risk your life for the Blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand by knowing that your people are in need of help, and I can help. Please, let me do this. Very well, but if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I could never forgive myself if we were forced to hold a, psych a second service. Yeah, Minifilia, small Minifilia. I nearly forgot about Thancred. What if he returns before I do? Hmm. I'll come with you. I'll be your buddy. I'll be a babysitter. Thank you. With you at my side, I'm certain we can deal with them in no time at all. Go swiftly, and may the shadows keep you both. <laughs> Minifilia, momphilia, yeah. Alright. Let's go kill some Sin Eaters. So yeah, this does confirm... Hello, Danny. This does confirm that uh, not all sin eaters, sin eaters will infect and change people into other Sin Eaters. Elahi! It should be around here somewhere, I think. There, the Sin Eaters. Ah, oh, yes, this is just like the one that turned Tesslane. Ah, uh, two of them. Okay, good. Great. I was hoping there would be only one. There's no way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. I'm going to I'm going to test her to be more independent. What do you think we should do, Minfilia? Fighting them together would make uh, a lot of noise, which might attract beasts and other eaters. But if we fought them separately and quietly, we might not have to worry about that. Very good. All right then. I'll draw one away while you handle the other. Pet, 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 pet. For Tessaline. 
That's not the one. That's not mine. <laughs> oh. No, you don't. Oop. And I'll help you with yours, too. Why not? There we go. Ba -da 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 -da. Nice job, kid. Victor, there you are. It's done. Though I fear I was a bit careless. I'll do better next time, I promise. I'm fine. You needn't worry about me. More importantly, we have to find the heart stone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the brush. Stone. You're somewhere. Hold on, Minfilia. Wait, Minfilia, stand still. There's something important I have to do. Philia. Even though it's a meme, this is legitimately one of my favorite songs in Shadowbringers. It's really good. And it's about to start again! That's my one complaint. It doesn't loop very well. It just kind of ends and restarts. Isn't there lore somewhere that, uh we can actually hear the music and it's like this music is supposedly music that can be heard by those blessed by the darkness or something it's the ancient singing yeah sound of the scree soak in the ancients all right nice I know. Scree! Scree! La Scree! Uh, with the kicker in tribal quest, you learn that it means something like welcome. No, it's, it's wake up, I'm pretty sure. Lahi is wake up. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Do you have any luck? It's beautiful. This has to be it. You know, Thancred always said that you are a man of many talents, and I'm beginning to... I think I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm even... Uh, if I'm to even be half the hero you are. The hero she was. Oh, I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. We should hurry back to Slitherbo. Luna and the others are probably worried. All, <laughs> all hail the great and powerful serpent of Ronka. Hell yeah. <laughs> Our lord and savior, the great serpent. Do I have the mount? I do not. I have not done the kicker and uh, beach tribe quests. 
thank goodness you are safe. I had begun to fear the worst. Here's the stone. By all that is dark, you found it. We can proceed with her service as planned. These blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits unto the sunless sea in the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for our, the blessed. I must insist you and your friends attend Tordia's service as honored guests. There is still much we must do to prepare, but please go and inform the others it will be held in the darker. When you arrive, there should be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. Hmm. The wall specked really high into strength and perception. I'm pretty sure that that must be canon. Like, I'm pretty sure with all our feats of strength and perception, the Warrior of Light is incredibly strong. Victor, I learned so much, not just strong in the power levels, but also strong like muscly. We can lift. Victor and I learned so much about the about the knights blessed while you were away. And we helped them recover their lost heirloom out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. There were sin eaters and... As long as he accompanied you. But do, be tr uh, do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. Uh, how did you... Let's just say a little bird told me. And it's telling me now that Victor has business with us. Is something the matter? Uh, we're gonna do the ceremony. They've asked us to attend the service. Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, is it? We'll take care not to be late, I promise. Between your earlier excursion and my patrol of the area for Sin Eaters, hopefully Ishtola and Uriange will be able to finish their work in peace. Thank you for having me. Uh, maybe I should put weapons away for this. Good night, Valerie. Thanks for joining in. The elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points over at a nearby corner where you might place it. A handmade candle of the night's blessed. It burns an eerie blue when lit. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Let us begin.
I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. upon you now, O bringer of shadow, to lead this gentle soul onto the sea. We call upon you, O warrior of darkness, to deliver her onto paradise everlasting. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. It was nice of them to invite me. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. I should have liked to meet her. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Dad Cred! Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Urianje and I have finished deciphering the tablet, and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. Yeah, uh, Anubis 
uh, Anubis the Goddess. This has been a continual story. All my streams of 14 up to this point have been one long kind of story and one long journey. Kind of one playing into the next, playing into the next. If, uh, like, if... If Final Fantasy XIV were a TV, so, a TV show, each expansion would be like a new season. And this would be like season four. Or maybe five, depending on your definition. You can't really watch season one anywhere anymore. Good, you're here. Thanks to the Exarch's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. You're you're super lost. Well, there are plenty of previous vods for you to catch up on if you would like to uh, if you'd like to see where how the story got here. Uh, on my VOD channel, Joe Cat, uh, Joe Cat Streams. So, lots of great background noise if you like, if you like putting on videos for the background. Initially, I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light. Much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Ronkin Empire, and was likely written under the direction of their ruling, uh, the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighbors and nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. And you think this ancient petition will somehow get us into Ixmai? Ixmaya? Indeed we do. For etching into this tablet is a method by which one may prove themselves an ally of the Ronkin Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins protectors to grant us safe passage. The problem, however, is I present presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscri inscribed with ancient Ronkin text and translates into a more modern dialect, which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I'm confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here in uh, Sidia. Quite close to Slitherbow, in fact. The good news ends there, however, uh, for it is in the possession of a rather radical faction of dark worshippers, the children of the everlasting dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough, I am afraid I must ask you and Thancred to assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we are to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. Alright, I'll stay here while, until your return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. Dad and uncle. Dad cred! Let us conv convene outside, to the west of Slitherbow, where the path diverges. What is Warrior of Light then? I'm the neighbor babysitter. I'm the babysitter that they regard as close as family. Danny says season one was a train wreck, sir. It got better around season two ish and three. Yeah Season one the thing is they took down season one and you can't watch it anymore But honestly season two is kind of a reboot anyway a soft reboot and you're able to start from there Without uh, prior knowledge and it still works out Season two is way too long. Yeah, and it kind of make, doesn't make sense at certain points and, But it does lay the foundations In camp and we seek us to the north. Alright. Scream! 
What happened to season one? It was really bad. It was really bad. Really, 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 really bad. And so they nixed it. And anything you need to know from season one, uh, you can know from watching the others. Or, I guess, playing. How did it get a season two? Because season two was kind of a reboot, in a way. By the blessed dark. Was I there in 1.0? No, I didn't play 1.0. Thank goodness you were unharmed. We would have arrived sooner, but we, too, had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You are acquainted of, uh, you are an acquaintance of Master Matoya, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange. What have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary, the usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna. But then I took notice of the venomous spiders, and they've been bleeding, uh, breeding them in much greater numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use their present uh, preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If we were to induce a threat to the nests which they had them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. Set them loose on the nests, and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to uh, enough to secure their hives. Have you anything we might be able to use? We should have smoke bombs at the outpost just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outposts and search about for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, take the beehive and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Lahi! Let's get some bees! <laughs> a large influx of bees ought to bring a stop to it! What's this? An overzealous... <laughs> Hold on, I need to think. What's this? An overzealous group of worshippers of the darkness? A mass influx of bees should put a stop to that. Go, smoke bomb. Will I play Monster Hunter Rise when it comes to PC? Oh yeah, absolutely. Having a smoother frame rate will uh, definitely. Smoke bomb. Oops. Uh, invalid target. Do I have to... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have to hit the bees. Okay. Um, large burlap sack. There we go. To the bee cave. <laughs> Ready the bee cannon. There we go. Alright, chat, once this once this plan happens, I want chat to f be filled with bees. Once we actually put this plan in fruition. Go. Oh. 
buzzing burlap sack. For God's sake, don't let them out. Wasp or predators to spiders, though. Ah, I see. Yeah, uh, can anybody vouch for the accuracy of Yishtola's words? Are bees actually natural predators of spiders? Is that true? That doesn't sound right. Yes? Very much so. Wow. I never thought. The guard returned to Slitherbo, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, Thancred and I were successful in acquiring what we need. How do you fare? Here we go. Some species? Ah, wow. This is more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. <laughs> you stole I didn't take you for a prankster. The children's settlement is to the west, a place they call Woven Oath. According to the guard, there is an airway apart at the entrance, which leads to the spider's nest. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. Lahi! Everybody's bringing their bees. Lahi! Thancred, what do you think of this? We should move quickly before any children arrive. Alright, get ready for the bees chat. I'm leaving the chat up so we can launch the bees at them. Hold! 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 Up there is the airway. Do you see it? A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Though, we should be probably loosen the ropes, keeping it close. Enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honors? <laughs> ah, bonding. Hold! That should do it. Now we wait. And... Bees! Go bees! Go bees! 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 <laughs> Bees! Bees! We find the abyss, they're everywhere! Oh god! Ah! Help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! Ah, bees! Oh god! Oh god, bees! Ah! 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 It sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all were drawn away from their posts. If you should come to blows with the children, I'll see that any signs of struggle are concealed. Failing that, I'll create a distraction to buy Yistola more time. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Well done, chat! We have filled them with bees. The concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing about bored in the shadows? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you both are ready. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! They're everywhere! Oh, I'm full of stinks! Oh. I hope my neighbors aren't annoyed at me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. And in. Either annoyed or very confused, yeah. I should leave them a note and let them know. Say I'm a voice actor. That's that's the least confusing way of doing it. The font of seeing suggests that this is a chamber of prayer. At the very least, they would not be not place this near potential distraction from their worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. Oh, 
No, I'm not gonna explain streaming. I'm just gonna say I'm a voice actor. <laughs> That's easy to understand. In a way, you are, so it's not a lie. Yeah, there we go. Yes, this is it. Oh, I will be but a moment. Keep watch of the entryway. On second thought, would you mind examining the murals on the walls while I look over this? At a glance, I can tell they are old, predating the founding of the Blessed and the Children, in fact. We're not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all we can. Lahi! Right. Time to look at some monuments, get some history, learn some culture. appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surround the warrior rejoicing in their victory. Hmm. Is there anything else? Any other secrets? How you doing, Ishtola? There's nothing to gain from staring at my backside. Now please, I need to concentrate. Oh, sorry. Jeez. Oh, uh, sorry to offend. The mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne, attended by other subjects. By their subjects. Hmm. The mural appears to be fairly old. <laughs> Chat disagrees. Uh. A knight shields himself and their comrades from an encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. Hmm. A knight. A knight, a conjurer, a wizard, an archer, and someone else. Hey, you, st you stole, you take a look at these things? They're, uh... These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. You recognize these, Arbert? There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka. It was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned, commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems... He actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Looks like you've got fans. Well, rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. Did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? I hope not. I've not been one for the spotlight. There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place.
Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. I now have everything needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, Victor, did the murals appear to be of any significance? Uh, one depicted the warriors of darkness. Depictions of heroes from the age of gods, the Runken Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Fa very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could be the curator of antiquities. Though it had no bearing on the task at hand. Perhaps that knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. Yeah, don't don't have don't have my deeds be drawn on there. Tataru will monetize it immediately. It was waiting. So I discover anything of import. All right. She's gonna turn it into a tourist trap, for sure. You see it back in Heaven's Word. Oh, yeah. It's only a matter of time before there is a uh, wind-up warrior of light. Oh, could you imagine? Oh, that'd be amazing. If they made a wind-up warrior of light for, like, every race. <laughs> that would be so much work, though. If you had a wind-up warrior of light for every race and every possible job combination. Yeesh. Victor. The guard told me you left with Master Matoya to wove an oath. And no sooner do you return than she locks herself away in her chambers without so much as a word. Oh yeah, and gender, that's right. She knows how I worry when she leaves without me. But she is safe, and that is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a seat here by the fire? The stew will be soon ready. Yeah, I think how they would, if they were to do it, I think the easiest way to do it would be have a base model for what race they were. So let's see, there's Highlander here and Midlander here. So that's two, because they're like two different models, essentially. Um, so you would have to make like a buff one and a regular one. Uh, Rogadin, uh, Lalafell, though you could use the same model for male or female because they're basically identical. Makote, uh, Aura, um, Viera, and Hrothgar. So that's seven different races. Multiply that by two. So there's 14, 14 different models, or at least base designs for the wind-up doll. Oh yeah, Elizen, that's right. I forgot Elizen, that's my bad. Everybody always forgets Elton. So that's nine. Times two is 18. Now, they don't have to be vastly different. I'm sure some of them you could lump their designs together because some of the some of the wind-up minions uh, kind of look very similar despite being like the same, or, or the different races, right? But you know, like Horchafont and uh, Emmerich, they would be like shared models, right? So that's 18 different wind-up models, potentially. Potentially. Um, but if we're to be realistic, let's say there's 18. 18 different wind-up base models, and then they could just make... Oh, jeez, but hair. Oh, crap, no, never mind. That's not possible with hair. Because they can't account for the hair that you might possibly have. Never mind. Because I was going to say, just give them job gear, but some of the job gear doesn't have helmets. They'd essentially have to remake every single hairstyle. In, you know, minion form. Just 
Strange. The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? I tire of these games, Orianger. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? The blessing may spare him the fate of becoming a light warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. He is not as he was in the source. Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the Wardens was not negated at all. I fear it was absorbed, that he has been suffused with their light. Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed. Everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Help! Someone help! The Umorans are come for us! We're under attack! And you know what I love about that cutscene? Oh, meanwhile in Yulmore. You know what I love about that cutscene? Uh, before we continue with this, I love that at, even though you're a silent protagonist, I like that you're not just a side character. Yes, you're a silent protagonist, and yeah, you do lack in some personality, but the fact that the other characters are talking about you and acknowledge you, that's really nice. You are a part of the, you know, their companionship. Lord Forthree, how good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I'm mistaken. Too long, at any rate. <laughs> May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. And now we hear Crystal Exarch taking on the Asahi voice. <laughs> oh my god, that, that shit-eating voice. Like, oh, it's so nice to see you. Like, that sarcasm, I love it. And you as disingenuous. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness, they have slain Sin Eaters. And by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. And now I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers. So I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. 
Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. You don't know that. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. Anubis, I don't mean this with any disrespect, but I think if Men you... are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way. I feel if you want a lot of these questions answered, I think perhaps watching the previous VODs to catch up might be a good idea. Because uh, it's only it's only gonna be more confusion from here on out, you know, without that context. I think perhaps, you know, I have, uh, the VODs are on my Twitch channel. And if you want to catch up, I think that's the best place to start. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. A paradise fit to grace the Eighth Umbral Era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. <laughs> bloated is an understatement. But man is more resilient than you think. Yeah, you underestimate His achievements people. are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will, once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. You poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now. And the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making? Or even a hundred? Well, to make a better life for them in those thousand or hundred years, right? You underestimate them, Lord Forthry. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know. That their children may never know. Don't most races live like 140 years anyway? Um, only really the Elizen live 120 at the high end, of course. Uh, you know. Most are around, you know, like 180, you know, 80 slash 100, not 180. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together, not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? Yes, actually. With tremendous enthusiasm, <laughs> for I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Fools, a lot of you! So naive! So painfully predictable! Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. Insurrection will not be tolerated. The people of this world are mine to rule. 
mine to command. And you are no exception. Psych. What? How did he? <laughs> Insolent swine! I will not stand for this! Do you hear me? Got my cobalt plush today? Yeah, the cobalt plushes are coming in uh, recently, and I'm very happy to hear. <laughs> I will not stand for this! I don't think you'd stand for a sandwich. Speak for the night's blessed. I do. I presume that is your doing. If you'll come to Pale, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. By Lord Vorsri's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmor. You will henceforth answer to us. And if we refuse? Is that so? And the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness? We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmor's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the Everlasting Dark. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. If only you knew. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmor to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, but you may have time to prepare. God, this is really ass backwards. The fact that they're like, Ah, uh, we pray to darkness and abhor light, but this other people pray to darkness wrong, so we're gonna... We're gonna side with the guys... <laughs> siding with the Sin Eaters to own the libs. That's Hold basically what they're doing. Are you suggesting we abandon our faith to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to Yulmore and dealt with as such. You're praying wrong. That's why I've teamed up with the people who pray to Satan. Even though I abhor Satan and all of his teachings, uh, we teamed up with this guy, this Satanism group, because uh, they don't like you either. We will discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty.
It's almost like they're crazy people, yeah. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, Danny says, FF14 Funko Pops of the main cast and villain, sir, by the 12, the races. And Hildebrand, do not tell Tataru. Don't tell Tataru, she will mass produce them. We have to keep the rarity low, the demand high. The god hath been afflicted with a most terrible and effic uh, efficacy. Uh, poison. We have attempted all manner of healing incantations. Alas, his condition remains unchanged. At present, we can but slow the poison's advance. I pray it will afford us sufficient time to find a cure. <laughs> we've assunered. We've assunered as much as we can, but it has yielded naught. How fareth the young god? The poison spread throughout his system long before he was brought here. At present, there is naught we can do but try to ease his pain. Do not blame yourselves, friends. All that can be done has been done. Even had we reached him sooner, it would have made little difference. The children employ countless poisons. Finding a suitable antidote is a nigh-impossible task. What are the rest of the blessed? How have they taken the news of Yulmore's generous proposal? With anger and dismay, we cannot hope to oppose them, uh, both them and the children. I considered a convocation of all the knights blessed that we might consider their ultimatum, but I know how they will answer. Master Batoya, I am truly sorry. We will not, cannot abandon our faith. But there is no reason for you to suffer for our decision. Your work is not yet done, and you still have time to flee. Flee? I am not wont to run from my troubles. In fact, with Victor's arrival, I am mined to take the offensive. The Yulmorin's presence here plainly stems from the desire to protect the Light Warden. I say we seek it out and slay the creature before they return. Were darkness to fall over Raktika, they would have no cause to remain. All of which is rather easier said than done, unless of course you finally deciphered that tablet. I have, as a matter of fact, and with it we can prepare everything we need to enter Yeek's Maya. What say you? We will need an, an, to act quickly, and I believe it can be done. We cannot deny our fate, but one course lies before us. <laughs> well, we are villains, are we not? Shall we not play the role? Yeah, it's not quite one-to-one, -one, but that was basically the line that she said in the trailer, which is very cool. Good. I leave the blessed in your capable hands, Runa. Very well. I see there is no changing your mind. By all that is dark, I swear to keep the blessed safe. According to the tablet, we will first need to obtain a seal used to identify the allies of Ronka in times past. One such seal should be waiting for us in a complex of underwater ruins not far from here. You have some experience with sub, uh, subaquatic excursions, do you not? <laughs> Trying to justify the underwater gameplay from uh, Stormblood. And this should prove a simple task for you. The ruins we seek are at the bottom of Lake Tusi Mektar. While you see to that, Menphilia and I will remain here and help shore up Slitherbow's defenses. Your aid would be greatly appreciated. All right, time to explore. Danny? Ah, shh, of course. Shh. 
water section on the moon? Oh, yeah. You know it. Lahi! There you are, ready for a swim. The seal we seek should be stored in a chamber somewhere inside the ruins beneath the lake. However, the entrance is seemingly protected by a subtle locking mechanism rooted in the symbolism of Ronkin culture. The Ronkin sought to live in harmony with nature, and considering certain animals to be sacred. Foremost is their pantheon was the snake, <laughs> portrayed as the protector of the wood and the arbiter of life and death. Below it were four others, each equal in rank, the curl, the colibri, the oppo oppo, and the wolf characterized by bringers of liberty, word, words, enlightenment, and harmony, respectively. To open the chamber cons containing the seal, the tablet states that one must pay due deference to three of these beasts by placing one's palm on monuments wrought in their image, and that this must be done in a specific sequence. If my interpretation is correct, the order can be discerned from three commandments which follow. Give praise unto the snake. Scream! By its strength do our lands prosper. Be as the opera opera, rival thy kin. As all parts seek betterment, so too does the whole. So, all right, I'm gonna write this down. The Great Serpent of Ronka. Okay, first is Scree Oppo. Be as the wolf, move as one. Wolf. Peace comes to all who seek harmony with their kin. The tablet says naught of the placement, size, or appearance of the monuments. Alas, hopefully all will become clear once you reach the bottom of the lake. Go safely. Serpent Oppo Doggo. Gotcha. Serpent Monkey and Doggo. Alright, let me get into my small clothes. Uh, Alright, here we go. Bottom of the lake, she said. Even further down, jeez. Okay. All right. Scree ook a woo. A woo. I wish there was more reason to go underwater. You find a statue of a snake. Put the palm on the snake. Yep. Scree! Sense something stir elsewhere in the lake. As it is, there's not much reason to come underwater. But, like, these water environments are beautiful and very well crafted. Spearfishing rhythm game soon, that's true. Lahi. <clears throat> there we go. Coral statue. Uh, this is no, not coral, not coral. Uh, there we go. Oppo monkey. Monkey. And then a Maybe down here. Yes. Once more, you sense something stir somewhere elsewhere within the lake. Perhaps a chamber containing the seal is open. Yes. 
Yes! A door opens to reveal... <laughs> I love that animation of, uh... Whatever it is, the sun and moon starter. That is a smooth, funny looking animation. So smooth. Take it, uh, secure it inside your clothing. I love how bouncy that animation is. Very bouncy. Pop Leo, that's what it was. All right, I'm back. Hey, you stole it. I got it. Did you find it? A small medallion bearing the image of an owl, the insignia of Ranka. This medallion, it bears an owl insignia of the empire. There can be no doubt this is the seal of Ranka. Well done, Victor. We can begin our preparations to enter Ixmaya in earnest. Bearing this seal, it should be possible to enter Ixmaya unmolested by its guardians. I will go ahead to Slitherbo and inform the others. When you have recovered from your ex exertions, meet with us in the cavern leading east of the village. There were owl people? No, but I think they just, you know, use the owl for symbolism. Such. Lahi. Right, before I go, I'm gonna snack because I'm uh, tummy's are rumbling, and soon, I think, in one more hour after I finish part one, I'm gonna go call the stream, get some proper food. Good, you're here. Runa opened the gates for us, but moments ago. Beyond lies Ixmaya, and presumably the Light Warden. It did not take long for the woods protectors to find me when I last, last I came here, and expected them to fall upon us just as quickly this time. Though we carry the seal, there is no reason for us to let down our guard. Now, let us seek out the Warden, and put an end to this reign over the, these woods. Alright. More Lahi? Oh man. Look at this place, no wonder they praise the dark down, like... The tree line is so thick, it covers, like, almost all of the sun. Found them. You trespass upon sacred ground. Be gone. Maybe we could talk over some tea.
sister. Is that? You've got sharp eyes. We are eyes. allies of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Hmm. It Love appears that. to be genuine. Then perhaps there is yet hope. Perhaps. So anime. We acknowledge your seal, but we must be certain of its authenticity. Follow the Azure Flowers to our village. There we will judge if you are friend or foe. Try not to stray from the path. All right. Wife, 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 wife. Follow the flowers. Would it kill them to escort us? I like her. She's my favorite, the purple-haired one. But if it affords us an opportunity to investigate Ixmaya, fine. At least it's not spider. <coughs> Whoops. Sorry. If you wonder why that keeps happening, it's because I I mean to, uh, when I switch scenes, it basically automatically goes to uh, make uh, OBS the main window. And I think, I, you know, I keep thinking that I'm still tabbed on to 14, so I press W to go forward, right? But then instead it goes to the waiting room, because it goes to that, you know, this thing, which I have called, named waiting room. So I guess I press W and it goes to the first W thing that there is. Which is waiting room. Hello. Nice to see you all. Oh, jeez. Sweats. Warrior women. You outsiders are a strange lot, aren't you? Good to see you didn't lose your way. <laughs> I would have the seal that we may confirm its authenticity. Straight to the point, I see. Very well. Hmm. There is no mistaking the, cre the crest of the royal family. It is of proper size, and by its weight it is plain that it was made from gold. The seal is indeed genuine. From three thousand years we have waited for this moment, and now you are finally here. I bid you welcome, allies of Ronka. I am Alme, chief uh, chieftainess of Fano. We met her younger sister. See, met a pleasure. We were beginning to lose hope that you would come. I beg your pardon. These are troubled times for my people. Though I can but imagine what has compelled you to venture into our woods. You must be tired of your journey. Come, take your ease. If you like, I will show you about the village. Though I must warn you, it is a long way down from the forest floor. So do watch your step. They're all very pretty. <laughs> Hello, I love you all. Please marry me. Where are the boys at? This was before they made... Um they made male Viera, so they had to come up with some reason why they weren't. I'm sure one of the NPCs will tell us. This way, um, what is your name? Victor Quibbles, nice to meet you. Victor, and this is a common name nowadays. How times have changed. But I digress. Come, and be sure to watch your step. Viera lifespan is about 240 years? Wow. So they could have been around before the flood, interesting. Hello. 
I had always hoped the allies of Ronka would come someday come, and that our duties to the Emperor might be fulfilled. Now that you're here, I'm honestly not sure what to think. Hmm. Olmet, Nymet. Is it all Met? Do all their names end in Met? No. Lilna. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Retrieve the seal of Ronka from the covered halls of Dwaddle. Dwa is that right? I am told it was quite beautiful in the days of the Empire. Would that I could see it for myself. Hmm. The lore from 12 is that they <clears throat> live in separate villages since male Vier are considered savage. Well, that's 12. That's not 14's lore. And also, keep in mind, this is the first. This is a different universe than ours, so Viera of the Source might be completely different than Viera of the First. Be welcome, ally of Ronka. Is there aught you would know about a village? You need only ask. Um, what kind of place is this? Fano was built here, and that we may better guard the relics of Kumul, uh, Astropolis, the Great Pyramid, perhaps, of being perhaps the greatest of them all. We live a simple life of hunting and training. We lead a peaceful life, and there is no threats to our border, that is. Villagers such as this were abundant before the flood. Sadly, Fano is all that remains of the Vs here in the Great Wood. Which is why we have guarded these woods so fiercely, that you and yours, the allies of Ronka, have at least graced us with your presence as nothing short of a miracle. Danny, Danny makes an interesting proposal, an interesting theory. Strong women equals weak men. <laughs> hey, I'm okay. I'm okay with being the weak one. No dawdling. Once we have learned all we can from the wardens and its whereabouts, we should be on our way. For 3,000 years did they wait. Incredible. For a moment, I was worried that they wouldn't accept the seal. They call themselves V's, is that right? Not a terribly diverse people, from what I can see. Yeah, it's all just them. Hmm. Is the, uh, chat, is there an NPC that will tell us where the males are? My apologies for the, uh, for the hostile greeting. It is a miracle our arrows did not find their mark. No, there isn't. It's mentioned at some point. Optional quest. If you would hear the tale of our people, speak with Almin. But, uh, dear eldest sister, she is our voice. It's a side quest? Okay. FF12 is in the same world as FF14? It is not. As bearers of the seal, you have a right to know what became of the Empire, and my people's purpose here. We are descendants of a palace guard, of the palace guard, which served under the last Emperor, and to this day we carry on the duty of our forebearers, the final decree of his eminence before the Ronka's fall. By wisdom, by the wisdom of our people, was Ronka made to thrive. Such knowledge must never be forgotten, nor may it be suffered to fall into the hands of the wicked. Keep it secret, keep it safe, and look to the coming of our allies. Unto them you shall bequeath our all, and thus will Ronka live on. Yeah, they reuse names in the Final Fantasy franchise all the time, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the same thing. Just like Sid, you know, they reuse the name Sid, but it's not the same Sid. By his command, we have remained in the Raktika Greatwood, guardians of Ronka's ruins, and wisdom held within. I hope thou wilt not think the question impertinent, but did thy people feign longevities? Oh, wait. Oh, Rianche. I hope thou wilt not think the question impertinent, but did thy people's fame longevity perchance play a part in the Emperor's decision to entrust this mission unto thee and thine? That was one reason, yes. We Vs would easily live to see three of your Elizen lifetimes. Uh, Elven lifetimes. Ah, yeah, they live a long time. Wow. We were also the fiercest fighters. 
there is none more fit than us to stand watch over the remains of Ronka. But our duty has grown ever more per perilous in the wake of the flood. Settlements such as this one were plentiful before the light came dominion over the land, but now, Fano is all that remains. Our numbers dwindle year by year. Before long, there will be no one left to honor the, Grem the Emperor's wishes. And you believe we are allies for whom you have waited. You have the seal, do you not? After three millennia of waiting, that alone is nothing short of a miracle. Truth be told, I had begun to think you would never come. Sister. <laughs> we are glad of your presence here in the Great Wood. The wisdom of Ronka is yours to you, uh, should you wish it. You need only ask. We're here to slay the Light Warden. You come in search of the Light Warden. My apologies, but I do not know where it makes its lair. We met. Do you recall any sightings of this creature? Hmm, not these past 30 summers. 30? <laughs> but that would mean... How old are you exactly? Young enough to remember. <laughs> With age comes knowledge. There may yet be a, a one among us who has seen or heard of the abomination you seek. We have leave to speak with other Vs, then. But of course. And we should split up and inquire individually. If someone knows something, I would hear it while there is yet time to act. I like that Menphilia asked the question, but I hate that they, uh... Have her playing the role of Vaughn and asking it. So I have a meme. I have a meme that I made when I got to this part, part the first time. Let me go find it. It's a fun meme. Fun, fun little meme. Let me see. I have a 14 exclusive Twitter. Like a 14 alt. Just so I could post all my screenshots and stuff. And lore bits about my wall. Let me see. Where is it? I was very excited for this part, so I made this meme. Let me find it. Let me find that meme. That meme is coming up eventually. Let me find that meme. Finding that meme. Where's that meme? Let me sh show you guys that meme. Where is the meme? Ah, yes, here it is. Here, let me show you guys. Good meme. Anyway. Let's see. Grab information from the V's. Needless to say, the first time coming through Shadowbringers, I was having a lot of fun. You search for the light board. I cannot say I've ever laid eyes on it. Gemstone Trader. Oh, right. That's right. I always forget about these. Is there anything I need? Eh, not really. Great Wood Planter. Huh. Oh, that could be good. Take that. Triple Triad card. Nice to see that they have triple triad in the first. I, or, no, I haven't seen it, but I have witnessed the horrors of lesser eaters. How they are wont to hunt in packs and carry off their victims rather than consuming them is on the spot. I suspect the warden is a grotesque copy, uh, 
corpulent thing, waiting patiently for its minions to bring its next meal. Hmm. Some things are universal constant, yeah. Hello. Your coming was foretold long ago, and yet we still were unprepared for your arrival. Judging by your dress, the world beyond the Great Wood has seen much change. Much change indeed. Beast Culinarian. Oh, nice. Thank you. My apologies for our informal welcome. I, it was a dream of mine to prepare a feast for the allies of Ronka should they one day arrive in our village. Your arrival was so unexpected I had no time to prepare. Aw. An outsider? But how? By the gods, allies of the Empire, my sincerest apologies for failing to note your arrival. It was the warden, uh, it was the warden you wished to know about, yes? My mother, may she rest in peace, told me once it, uh, of its appearance in these woods. Before settling here in Fano, she lived in a village near Raktika Falls until it was destroyed by the Sin Eaters. While out on patrol one day, she spotted a swarm of the abominations, one of which was different from the rest. It was larger for one thing, but what struck her was the way its fellows seemed to revere it. She was convinced that what she had seen was the Light Warden. All right, nice. We learned. We have our quarry. There's a theory that says FF8 is the future of FF3. Looking into it is interesting. Yeah, interesting theory. But it's not canon, though, of course, right? It's like because they would never canonize that because that impl the implications of that. But that is a cool. That is, I love those theories. It's not my... <laughs> this was such prying. This was not my intention. Such observation! This was not my intention, but your voice carries far. I know what it is you would ask of me. Unfortunately, the answer is no. I have not seen the Light One. I patrol the ruins perimeter regularly, and if it were hiding nearby, I would know of it. All right. Hello. I pray the others will be able to provide what I could not. Near Arctica Falls? Why was I not told of this? I see now why it has never been spotted on our patrols. I have never heard of this Arctica Falls but I can assume it lies deep within the woods of Ixmael. Just so, but the tunnels which leads there collapsed after a rather bloody battle with the Eaters and has not been passable for many years. We made several attempts to clear away the rubble, yet each time we were driven back, in the end we were forced to give up it up at, uh, as lost, thereby making it a suitable place for the Wardens to take sanctuary. There is perhaps one other way to enter, though it would be at the great peril to you and your companions. The Kitana Ravel, a temple to the northeast. It has been sealed for centuries, but within its path is that leads into the falls. Can it be opened? For the allies of Ronka, it can. First, we must go to Kamul Atropolis, once the flow of magic is restored there, the path through the Katana Ravel can be opened. This may sound like a simple task, but there is a certain obstacles which prevent us from attending to it ourselves, and we know not how to overcome them. The Emperor never gave our forebearers leave to look upon the secrets we are charged with protecting, that we might not be tempted, the means to do so were withheld from us. We can but show you the way. The rest is up. will be up to you. It would seem we have our work cut out for us then, shall we? <laughs> Did you have to ask? Is that Vera meme posted anywhere publicly? Yes, on my uh, for, uh, 14 alt 
Twitter. Let me grab the link. If you would like to follow me and see me post about things involving Final Fantasy XIV, uh, here it is. In fact, here's the link to the meme directly. Whoop. And here's a link to the Twitter specifically. While we attend to the matters in the Kumul Atropolis, I would ask that your sisters accompany Oriange and Thancred and share with them all they can of these woods. While we have every intention of investigating Raktika Falls, it is yet possible the Light Warden dwells elsewhere. With that in mind, it would behoove us to prepare an alternative course of action. Huimet, Simet, I leave them to you. Or miss it Simon. I don't know. Yes, sister. Should our present course prove false, doubt not that, uh, but that Thancred and I shall find any and all possible paths forward. Next Viera, Emit. <laughs> yep. To seek lies in the heart of Kumi. Yep. We shall go. Onwards. <laughs> well met. Hello. Hold on. There's a... Cracked Ronk and Thorn. Yeah, it sure looks thorny. Looking upon these structures, I cannot help but be reminded of the ruins of Girabanya, yet the manner in which they appear to be suppressing the natural flow of ether is more akin to the elegant pillars in the house of the Crooked Coin. No! You were able to keep up, I see. Well done. Right. It is said that the monuments themselves are key to opening the pyramid, though I know not how. That is for you to discover. Another puzzle, wonderful. I would have a closer look. Yes, I am indeed playing Dark Knight. Indeed, another puzzle, but for a blessing, it appears to be similar to the one we encountered at the lake. These statues are all depictions of the divine beasts mentioned on the tablet. No doubt they will open the way to the pyramid like in like manner. We have to but discern the correct order. Let's split up and search the area for clues. These ruins are covered in ancient inscriptions. The answer may, may well be hidden among them. Indeed. It may be best to transcribe them, as they are numerous, as you say. Better than to risk overlooking something. Though transcription could prove impractical for you, not being versed in rock and script. No matter. You will employ a different approach. Impressions. Oh, I'm going to put a paper on a thing and then rub chalk on it. Here. I thought to use these clay tablets to record any significant imagery we discover. But they will serve you just as well. Take impressions of any inscription you find. We will find. We will start at the base of the pyramids. We begin at the top. When you have finished, turn here, and I will translate your findings. Oh, sir, you have a friend request from this young gamer. Oh, I didn't even notice. I'm so sorry. I'm so. so I am so sorry. I apologize. I didn't even realize it was there for such a long time. Of course, I'll accept it. Yes. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Danny. Oh. You can see that my brain has turned to mush. Oh, hello, Sammy. Taking in the readings, are you? 
clay tablet. A simple tablet made of clay used to preserve. Oh, so I can just like, just like put it on there. Gotcha. Well, I better not uh, bend it on the way back. I still haven't accepted it? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. There we go. I did click yes. Let's go smoosh. Yeah. I'm taking breaks for foods and stuff. Yeah, I am. Grab snacks. I had uh, two sandwiches. You know, one off to the side whenever I needed it. You know, I used- I've climbed stairs like this. Uh, I- When I lived in Thailand, um, we took a trip to, An to uh, Cambodia, and, uh, the temples of Angkor Wat are, like, super tall like this. The, uh, the- the stairs especially are incredibly tall. In fact, they have a warning when you climb them to climb at your own risk, basically. I lived in Thailand? Yeah, for the first 11 years of my life, actually. Must be hard on the feet. Oh, yeah. It was super hard on, like, 11-year-old Joe, who was terrified of heights. I basically had to, like, go down by, like, foot, foot, butt, foot, foot, butt. Like, I would, I would put, like, one foot down, and then I would put the other foot down, and then I would, I would slide my butt down onto the next stair. So like I would I would put uh, so like imagine right here is the stair I was sitting on and then this is the next stair and then this is the next one I would basically put my next foot down to the the bottom stair other foot down and then slide my butt onto the middle stair it was terrifying Did I ever pick up any languages? Yes, I'm fluent in Thai. Although I've forgotten a lot of the language before. So the cop pom 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 chua fuck pom is it? Is that the word? See, I forget. Uh, pom. Kun Joseph. Joseph Chop. Uh. Ah, fuck. I forgot so many words. But I'm sure if I took a class, I I would. It would be a nice refresher. Like, I, I, I'm trying to think in Thai, but I keep thinking in English grammar. But that's not how Thai works. Thai grammar is different. Uh, fuck. I can't. I can't say it. I was trying to say I'm going to go eat food after I finish playing games. Watch a Thai TV show? I might. I trust you've made good use of today's, uh, those clay tablets. Just like chop land game. <laughs> I like playing games. Hold on. A moment while I decipher what you found. Also, I... I, um... I also... Thai is one of those languages where you can refer to yourself in the third person to mean I, which which is what I did. It's just a different... It's essentially a different dialect or different accent. Like, different people do it. Not everyone. Some people say uh, Lao or uh, Chan. Um, but some people say their own name. That's what I did. I would say Joseph, i.e. my name. Is that why you, uh, why you know what poop and tie is from the D and D crap guide? Oh yeah. 
So cheese poop and tie? No, key. Key. And you have to say it like that. Tie has accent marks that change the pitch of how you say it, so you can't just be key. You have to say key like it's going up. Key. Like up, like it starts high and slightly goes down. Key. A really good slash bad example um, is M-A, ma. Because if you say it ma, that means come here. If you say ma, like you go down and then up, that means dog. If you say ma, as in like flat and then upwards, not down and up, because down and up is dog, ma. But if you say ma, middle and up, that means horse. Or uh, gai, if you say gai, as in just the flat one, that means far. Gai, if you say up, just like the uh, the key, gai, you know, they use the same mark above their notes. Uh, gai, that means close. And if you say, if you say gai, like low, gai, that means chicken. Annunciation is very important. Yes, it makes singing very difficult. <laughs> Look up Thai music and you'll, you'll hear that the way that they sing is very interesting because they have to account for those, you know, different pitch changes. Nothing we saw at the base of the pyramids gave any hint as to the solution of the puzzle, focusing instead on how to proceed having solved it. Your findings, on the other hand, appear to form a riddle. Once assembled, it reads as follows. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heeds the call. Heed its call, avert thy gaze, forever fall. Uh, why do I feel if someone could e easily misinterpret someone in with Thai? Well, here's the thing. What helps is context clues, right? So, like, you know, if you said, uh... Uh, you know... You have to go find, you know... You have to grab that chair that's chicken, you know? If it sounds like they're saying chicken, it's like, oh, maybe they're saying far away instead, you know? And also, you ca you start to catch on the subtleties because some people might not exactly a slur, like slurring their words, not not insult slur, but like you know how some people slur their words. It's there are some times where people say the words so fast, but or like with not enough effort that those pitches don't come through. Uh, but you do start to catch it, like like the subtle pitches. Yeah. I had assumed that the puzzle would be in, uh, involve a sequence, but from wh what Amit and I were able to gather, it is but a matter of suffusing one of the statues with ether. Of course, it's always ether. Yeah, buffalo, 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 yeah. The question being, which one? Have you any thoughts? Hmm. In your talents for finding solutions to vexing problems, I think it best that you choose the statues. What say you, Victor? Let's try the order that we did before. Right then, after you've selected a statue, I will imbue it, imbue it with the required ether. Should it prove to be a trap, I am more than capable of warding off any malign magics it may contain. Now, which statue will it be? Um, might I hear the riddle one more time, actually? Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call, avert thy gaze, forever fall. Hold on. Come together. Together. Go thy ways. Mark the crown. Avert thy gaze. Hmm. Come 
Come on, Eileen. Oh, da, da, da. I think if I remember correctly, it has to do with where the statues are facing. Examining a serpent statue, you notice it's facing away from the curl statue. Okay, so come together. Come together, come together, come together, come together. Come together, come together. Opo Opo statue, notice it's facing toward your wolf statue. Alright. Wolf slash Opo. Wolf. Opo. Um. Go thy ways. Colibri facing south towards the woods. Examining Al, you notice it's facing north towards the Great Pyramid. Okay. So go thy ways. Is probably the Calibri. Because it's heading a different way. Mark the crown is most likely the owl, because it's looking at the crown. It's looking at the pyramid. And then avert thy gaze, the curl and serpent. Looking away. Looking away. Okay. Uh, serpent, coral. I think that's it. I think that's it. Nobody tell me. Nobody tell me. But I think that's the correct one. Another friend request. Oh. Yes, sure. I'm not going to remember who any of these people are. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do the wolf statue first. I don't know which order I'm supposed to do them, either wolf or Opo. Seems you were mistaken. Okay, we'll try Opo then. Sorry about that, Ishtola. Opo. What? Hmm. Together. Come together. Well, they're facing each other. Share despair. Go thy worries, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed the call, avert thy gaze forever fall. What? Come together, as in facing each other, is the wolf and Oppo. Fuck it, owl statue. Absorbed. Huh? All right, well, fuck it, button works. The way should be clear now. Come, let us. Someone approaches. Sister, Simon, what are you doing here? What has happened? 
Yulmoran soldiers. They have entered Ixmaya. Yulmoran soldiers, and what of the bless? Nothing specific, but it seems the Yulmorans had little interest in Slitherbor or its people. According to our scouts, their general and his men made all haste to the gates of Ixmaya upon finding it. Together with Thancred, we met and some others have engaged them at the border. You are to return and assist we met at once. They are not to set foot near the ruins of Fano. We will see to matters here and return as quickly as we can. Understood? Yes, sister. Be careful. Though I knew time was short, I did not expect the Yulmorans to move so swiftly. But we have come too far to turn back now. against us, my friend. Into the pyramid. I love being able to fly in New Game Plus. Which should be through these doors, in the confessional of uh, Tupasa uh, the Elder. But why is it not open? Magic appears to be flowing through the walls, but it's being obstructed as it approaches the door. Hmm. Is it not strange that only one of these pedestals bears an owl statue? Hmm. Tiny burb. Burp. Strange indeed. The second statue will likely uh, was likely hidden to keep the door sealed. We can cover more ground if we split up. Almet, take the chambers to the south. Victor, the one to the east. I will search the chamber to the west. Mother. Lahi. I wish this music looped better. That would be my one want for the Rock Tico Greatwood. Ooh, that's a way down. Hey, there we go. I've looked everywhere and... Wait, is that...? Found it. The statue. You found it. It looks light enough. We need but return it to the other altar, no? One might assume so, but nothing about these ruins has ever been quite so simple. I sensed a strange energy anima emanating from the eyes of the statue in the corridor of this place. Should this figure be moved, it would not surprise me if they suddenly stirred to life. A trap, then, for the unsuspecting as they are, as they attempt to return this to its rightful place. Precisely. Caution would serve us well here. Which is why I would ask uh, you to deliver the statue to the main chamber. An abundance of magic yet courses through these walls. For my eyes, distractingly so. I believe yours, on the other hand, would more aptly per perceive the traps for what they are. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting she's blind. Alright then. We will meet you at the doors of the confessional at, uh, to Pasa the Elder. Deliver the Yowlet statue. Alright, you will have two minutes to complete the task. Should you fail, return to the location and begin anew. Be wary of attacks from enemies, which will sap your strength. Alright. I have been trained for this! 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fucking, oh fuck water, oh fuck. Fucking, fucking, uh, I need to get the, uh, fuck, uh, fuck, fuck, uh, fucking ass, ah, uh, shit, ah, uh, fuck, fucking, uh, water and water uh, and water, shit. water, water, uh, and water, ass, water, 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 Do it right. And... Whoa. Come on. All right. Water and water and ah, water, shit. water, 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 and water, water and water, water, water and 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 water and water, water, water. Yep, water, I got water, it. I got water, it. I see where they are. Water, water, and water, and water, 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 and water, and water, 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 and water, and water, water, and water, and water, and water, and water, 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 and water, 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 and water, and water, 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 water,
I have to guide them? Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh, jeez, escort quests. Somehow different from before. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Nice job. Nice job. No. Ladies, ladies, come on, ladies. <laughs> let's go, lesbians, let's go. Okay, they are massive. How are we to get around them? Draw their attention with a glamour. It will not last long. The moment they are distracted, we must run with all haste. Ah, you are into illusion magic, I see. Ah, doubles. Hey, you stole it. Uh, could you do that uh, anytime? Like, say, if we, you know, when we get home. Oh. Okay, bye. Okay, Alvin, can you hear me? Oh, shit. Separate chambers, this mist. Poison, and it has nullified my magic. These markers on the floor, I think they show the way out. Okay, let's see. This here, here. Okay, yeah, this way. Because that will just lead there. So lead here. Um. Here. And then here. And here. Yep, easy peasy. <laughs> Team Rocket hideout segment, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Somehow we are still in one piece. That means little to the others if we do not hurry. Alright. Ah, shit. Oh, shit! Da 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 da! Oh, that is a lot slower than I anticipated. Sid! Sid! Start the airship! Start the airship, Sid! There we go. Did it. Where are all these coming from? Well, when a bolder mom and a bolder dad love each other very much, uh, they settle down and they have a nice life together and eventually they feel as though that they want to have a bolder family and so they have a bolder child see could it be ranjit if so we have precious little time here we go Come on, let's go, lesbians! Let's go! Let's go, lesbians! Let's go! Oh, 
Oh shit, it's Ranjit. Oh. We go. Here I come. I'm going to take care of this guy first. No holding back. Born a student. Didn't expect him to actually be in here with us. No quarter! Oh, Jesus! I think we have a healer here. This and that and this! Same. Hey, oh, white mage that can home gang. Nice. They're gonna hold him there. No sentinels. All right, I got them. I got it. I got it. I got it. Be working. <laughs> I think not. Nice. Idiot. Expertly done. How was I to know that that would happen? It looked like any other part of the floor. It did not. It clearly looked like a button. Might now be an opportune time to strike a bargain? We poisoned a number of villagers in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. Oh, now you done did it. This is the antidote. I dare say you know how potent their concoctions are and the futility of trying to counteract their effects. Now, now, try anything here and we're all likely to fall. Eventually someone will come to our rescue or yours. Promise us safe passage and we'll give you the antidote. Do we have a deal? We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit, as is yours. Oh, sh Ooh. General? Do not fail. How noble and pointless. Maybe you'd like to join her.
Is... is everyone all right? What in the... At once! Down with you! Weaponized rescue. Thankfully, Ranjit's cohorts had, had the good sense to fall back. We met should be here soon with word from Fano. We should hold our position here until she arrives. Oh, we still have but a bit a few steps fast. Why would she do such a thing? We should have tried harder to repel them. Please tell me you know if that hole leads to into another... into the woods somewhere. Were there, uh, were there another means of exiting the temple? There is no question that we uh, know of it. That we would know of it. But I fear that is of little consequence, for we have tried to mark the depth of the pit and failed. To fall from such a height. Sister, I've come bearing news. The Urmoran soldiers and the children have fled Ixmaya. They abandoned Slitherbo as well, though they yet remain in the swamps near Lakeland. Unfortunately, a number of the blessed were poisoned while fending off the soldiers. One we believe to be of their order found lost in Ixmaya, feverish and badly wounded. He was taken to Fano for treatment but I fear there is little we can do for him. He and the other blessed will not last long without an antidote. Then we must act quickly. If you use a spell vial, Minfilia and I can deliver it to the blessed at Slitherbow. You and Urianje should return to Fano and tend to the wounded villages there. Here we go. Courtesy of Ishtola. What about Ishtola? I know it seems callous for us to leave, but she leapt into that hole for a reason. We have to save the blessed, whatever it takes. All right. My sisters and I will remain here. We must be certain no soldiers are still lurking about. Come, Victor. Let's not Yishtola's sacrifice be in vain. F to Fano. Yishtola's <laughs> at work. Oh, thank God. Where does she work? In the hole. Did cat mom die again? All right. I guess. Yeah, I guess. She, uh, this'll be. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Sammy is poisoned. Marianche. Heaven forfend. Runa. Twas he who forestalled the Urmoran's process, pr procession, and in doing, afforded thee time to traverse the temple. 
quickly the antidote. Special restorative, uh, uniquely crafted to cure uh, poisons. Concocted by the children of everlasting dark. Come on, get up, buddy. Lunar appears to be visibly pained. Perhaps he requires another dose of medicine. Medicine seems to take effect as the color slowly creeps back into his cheeks. It would appear the worst hath passed, those wounds yet won't for mending. I shall minister to him forthwith. Rest fix I privy. I shall attend to Runar's ministrations. Quest accepted. Rest. Runa, thank goodness. We delivered the antidote to Slitherbow, and from what we could gather on the way here, the Ulmorans have had the good manners to withdraw. Thank the gods they did, or we would never have made it here in time. I'm told we have Runar and his comrades to thank for keeping the soldiers occupied prior to their retreat. They were preparing to come for you and Yishtola, it seems when Runar rallied the villagers and pursued them out of Slitherbow. Ixmire, in the care of the Vis. Thou art safe now, friend. Pray, rest thee a while longer. No. No, I am all right. Somewhat heavy of limb, perhaps, but otherwise well, I assure you. I am glad to see you are all safe. When we realized where the soldiers were headed, we knew something had to be done. Do not see Master Matoya. She was with you, yes? What happened to her? Mm. She saved the knights blessed, albeit at a cost. Spare me your riddles and speak plain. Where is Master Matoya? Begin the search immediately. I will come with you. What are you waiting for? We must find her. She could be trapped or hurt or. She is alive. She is alive, damn you.
Forgive me for interrupting, but our scouts have apprehended an intruder. We thought perhaps he might be an associate of yours. This is embarrassing. In my defense, they are surprisingly tenacious. So, what trouble have you gotten yourselves into this time? So, uh, our friend Ishtola was, uh, sorry, Master Matoya was doing stuff and then, uh, Well, well. What an intriguing turn of events. My condolences, by the way. It is never easy to lose the ones we love. I guess that's something nice. Well, she is dead, isn't she? Wishing it were otherwise will not make it so. All right, that's insensitive. That you should be indifferent to her loss is no surprise. But to us, she was a friend. The best of friends. You have something on your mind. What is it? Hmm. Um, there was a powerful gust of wind as if out of nowhere. Didn't happen with Ranjit or that other guy. Pray recount to us again that which thou witnessed in the ruins, omitting not the slightest detail. Okay, well, she fell down, and then there was uh, this big gust of wind, and it burst out, kind of like a fart, except it didn't smell too bad. Flow. The teleportation magic she used to spirit us away from Uldar after the bloody banquet. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Ah, you also experienced a fart that didn't smell bad. Interesting. I thought I sensed a brief disturbance in the live stream. How reassuring to know it was not my imagination. <laughs> I felt it only once, I should mention. Which would suggest she is still adrift on its currents. Then I fear she may yet be lost to us. For it was only by the grace of the elementals that she was plucked from that great ethereal river. Ah, very well. I'll go and fetch her. Huh? Excuse me? Perhaps a clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hey, Sammy's up. Oh, thank goodness. Now then, if I'm to fetch her for you, I will require a suitable place to work. We must find somewhere that resonates strongly within the life stream. And by we, I mean you. To that end, I give you this, an ethereal lamp of my own design. Keep it close as you venture out into the wood. The brighter the glow, the stronger the location resonates with the life stream. Once you've found a likely spot, all you need to do is whistle. You do know how to whistle, don't you, hero? Just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> Jeez, oops. Mandy. 
Well, what are you standing around for? Get searching. You do want to save her, don't you? Okay. <laughs> it's not working, Emmett. Though I'm loath to trust him, I suppose we have no choice, for now at least. Do you really think you can bring her back? Could it truly be within his power to pluck Ishtola from the life stream as he claimeth? It is a feat beyond even the greatest uh, practitioners of the arcane. Yet if he would attempt it, we cannot well stand in his way. I confess I do not fully understand what is happening here, but I gather we were right to bring this man to you. We found him asleep in the shade of the tree near the ruins. A fine way to behave when one's companions are in dire straits. Ah, uh, he was sleeping. I am relieved to know he is a, an acquaintance of yours, though I see you are not close. If he should displease you, we would be happy to deal with him. Ah, uh, don't bother. He's got plenty of bodies. He's already killed seven other worlds, oh yeah. Now would be a good time to call for Emmett. Spitting on us, Joe, but I thought that's what you wanted. Yes, this place should serve well enough. Might I have a little space? I need to concentrate. Every time I go to like a like a fan meetup, everyone's like, oh spit on me. So yeah. <laughs> Is that not enough? Was her soul again? Ah, there you are. This is the second time Ishtola has used flow to go into the life stream and be plucked from it. He, he's done it. He's brought her back. Oh, nice. He even brought her clothes. Stola, are you all right? <sighs> yes, though I cannot imagine how. What happened? You use forbidden magics again, girl! What would Master Matoya Thou think? Thou didst invoke the power of flow, which thence did usher thy soul unto the life stream. to save the antidote and after that <laughs> yeah. 
I did something exceedingly reckless, for which you will just have to forgive me. Okay, all right. No. <gasps> oh. Master Matoya! Oh, thank the heavens, you're all right. I had nearly given up hope. Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? Come now. Did you really think I would go gently into that dark night with so much left undone? So many mysteries left unsolved. Is there aught you wish to say to me? A word of thanks, perhaps? <laughs> Emmet Selk, the Asian of whom I spoke. Twas he who plucked thee from the live stream. I see. Thank you. Differences notwithstanding, you saved my life, and for that I am grateful. Was that so hard? But let us turn our attention to more important matters, such as the Katana Ravel. Nice, yes, yes, you yes. You better not have explored its depths without me. Uh... <laughs> Evans, no. In fact, I was waiting for you to return. Hmm, yep. Yeah, you've done this before. I anticipate you'll do it again in the future. Well, Almut and the others should be pleased to see you in such uncharacteristically high spirits. Let us return to Fanoff, then, and discuss the coming expedition. Every expansion, they gotta make Ishtola do a whoops, I died, psych questline, yeah. It happened in uh, ARR slash Heavensward. It happened in Stormblood when Xeno sliced into her shield. And Walker, she's gonna do something where it's like, oh no, Ishtola's dead, but everyone's gonna be like, ah, she'll be back. What a touching reunion that was. It what fair brought a tear to my eye. But as we both know, such tender moments are nothing if not momentary. Before long, they will remember their many differences and return to squabbling. Hmm. <laughs> Says the arch Archbringer of Chaos. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, dear boy. But seriously, we Asians do what we do for the greater good. For the rejoining. Though we may sow the seeds of chaos, it is man who tends them, he who reaps their bountiful harvest. But I grow tired of these arguments. If you would kindly refrain from retorting and return to your customary brooding silence, I will take it as thanks for, re for rescuing your companion and leave it at that. Now, you mustn't keep your friends waiting. Hug him? Oh, I should have hugged him. It's okay, we'll see him again. I can hug him when I see him again. He's lanky? Oh, yeah. And his, like, constant hunch is a mood. Like, his little... Just like, look at his posture. He, he... Emmett stands how I sit in my chair. I told you, I tire of these insane arguments. Shouldn't you be getting ready to slay the next Light Warden or something? <laughs> oh boy. 
My apologies for having put you all through such an ordeal. I could see no other way than to, uh, way to save the Knight's blessing. Happily, both they and I yet live thanks to you. But our work here is not yet done. We must make ready to enter the Katana Ravel and put the Light Warden to the sword. Alright. With the Yulmorans gone and your companions now returned, I think it best you now you go now before they can recoup. With magics flowing once more through the Great Pyramid of Uxna, the entrance to the Kitana Ravel should now be open. Before we leave, Uriange, did you discover anything that might suggest the Light Warden hides elsewhere? Nay. Though we had but little time before the Yulmoran's most unwelcome arrival, we scoured the nearby env environs and spoke once more with the one called Cory. Having hearkened to her tale, it is my judgment that the Sin Eater, which her late mother did uh, espy, was indeed the being we seek, and that is most likely residing in the vicinity of Raktika Falls. In the absence of any subsequent sightings, I have no reason to believe our quarry hath sought out a new sanctuary, and given the considerable difficulty we face in reaching the falls, we may be certain it hath not disturbed by man. Then our course is clear. We must navigate the Katana Ravel and make for Raktika Falls. Though you, uh, though you see it is but another obstacle to be navigated, the Katana Ravel is the oldest, most sacred of our temples. The accumulated knowledge of the Empire is said to reside within. Knowledge which is rightly yours as allies of Ronka. You are welcome to explore. I fully intend to survey every ilm of it once our mission is complete. Were the Emperor still alive, he would be overjoyed to hear you say so. But I want, must warn you, though the way is open, it is still heavily guarded. To discourage trespassers to test the worth of our allies, it had to be, to be so. Be careful in there. I love this dungeon, me too. In fact, uh, this dungeon has their gear, the gear that they're wearing now as uh, drop gear. And uh, that's what I use for uh, not only theirs, but also the Slitherbow people. Uh, the and all those. And I use this top as my dancer top for glamour. Head east and you will find the path of azure flowers heading to the ravel. It's very good glamour. Master Matoya, I know, like, this top. This top and the, uh, the these tops are the ones that are in Katana Ravel. Master Motoya, I know I cannot dissuade you from going, so please, promise me you will return safely. The nice blessed need you. You need not worry, Runa. I shall return and bring with me a long-awaited gift. One of the knights blessed will treasure now and forevermore. Now, let us away. Emmet? Where's Emmet? No Emmet? Yes! Lest you doubt, I won't be helping you do battle with the Light Warden. To accompany you thus is quite taxing enough. Now, if you've no further questions... Um, are there any other Asians here in the first? Not a single one. Happily, I'm quite content to mingle with the masses. And even if I did crave the company of my own kind, one might say we're understaffed at present. There are no strict rules governing how we work, though that has not been without its consequences. In the beginning, we were each responsible for a shard, and free to do as we wished. But Igiorm, Igiorm's impetuous temperament showed us the folly in that. In light of her failings, we took to working in tandem, as the situation demands. Mitron and Logriff were supposed to take care of the first, of course. 
Alas, they were slain by the champions of this realm shortly before the flood. Expendable though they were, I found them quite useful. But that is a tale for another time. Actually, I don't. Then run along back to your friends and leave me be. On to the dungeon. Yeah, story time with Emmett. Lahi! Hello, everyone. Once again, we go into a dungeon. Three duties in one day. You can feel the ether flowing through the door. A gentle push may be all that's required. Our earlier efforts were not in vain, it seems. Stay on guard, Victor. We know not what awaits us inside. Okay, all right, all right. The last dungeon for the night and hopefully the last things I need to do for the stream. Uh, so let us see who's on the list. Who's next on the list? Uh, da, 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 da. Next is Balawa. Is Balawa here? They are not. Uh, it's not look like it. Uh, so Lin is Lin here. Lin, 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 Lin. Lin, yes, you will join me. Unless I wait, did I have you? Did I have you part of a recent duty? Oh, you were Don Meg. Okay, never mind. Why did I not scratch you out? Um, Kira. Is Kira here? I think I might have just looped back. Uh, I, think, uh, I think I might have looped back. I think everybody else who would have been on the list has uh, gone. Uh, Kazran, I know I haven't had you. Yeah, you just got here. So we'll have you. And, uh, let's see. So, hmm. All right, well, I guess I'll just start the list over again uh, for now. I'll keep this list here for if these people show up again. But uh, yeah, let's make a new list. And I guess we'll start. Uh, Zeke, I haven't had you on in a while. Yeah, and um, let's say... Uh, was anyone on the list from the trial? Yes, I think I brought up a lot of people. But you know what? I'll bring uh, Minori. Why not? You haven't been around. Yeah, I haven't had you been part of it for a little while. There we go. Oh, Alfwin, you're new. Ah, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, you're on the list. Okay, I'll I'll have you next time. I'm sorry. It's because you're the friendless color that I didn't recognize. I'm so sorry. I put a star by your name so that you will be high priority next time. Okay, into the katana rabble we go. Then we can go home. This is a fun dungeon. All the all the Shadowbringers dungeons are fun. I like them. Also the Lahi remix. You can hear the Lahi. Lahi. La 
breaks a bit from the normal flow at the start. Yeah. Yeah, instead of doing like a mob pull, you just fight like a mini boss right at the beginning. It's pretty cool. means I don't have uptime. Also, this dungeon's fun to pull, and unlike uh, Don Meg, you can actually do the big pulls, like, reasonably, with the heals. Because the sinking is not as harsh on this one. So I'm gonna pull big as heck. Uh, let me know if I should slow down. Also, I got a white mage, so I should be okay. Yeah, I think we're I think we're okay here. Plus, I've got all my cooldowns. Ah, fucking... Sorry, I'll grab that. There we go, I got it. <laughs> Can't see what's going on. It's great as I get to use Blackest Night more. <laughs> Very nice healing, Kazrin. Yeah, I like that you can use the Blackest Knight on others as well. I'm not very good at it, but I like that you can. I just use the Blackest Knight to eat one of those AoEs. Worth, maybe? What do you think? I could keep up time. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I took zero damage. Hey, look at that. I can just stand in the AoEs. Huh. And hey, look. Free, uh... Free Edge of Shadow. Ah, this boss is fun.
Blackest Knight. Free mana. All right, and now they combine the statue and the stump. This side. And over here. Getting free Edge of Shadows. Statue, that statue. Right here. BGM was only added in 5.3? Oh, really? Hmm. Very nice. 5.2. I don't know who to believe. I'm gonna believe mini boss music never actually was added in and all we're hearing is just placebo. It was 5.2? Yeah, but one person said 5.3, so I don't know who to believe. Uh, you think I could do that? Yeah, I could probably take that. I don't know who to believe. Several guys or one guy? Blackest Knight is so good. Like, I love pressing the Blackest Knight, and then, like, a few seconds later, I'll see my free Edge or Flood of Shadow. I'm like, that means that all that time I took no damage. Which is a great feeling. I think I gotta keep the, the pull here and not go any further. keep going are you sure okay well it's too late now i just wanted to be sure all right i got scared because whenever i do this in duty finder like this apparently the healers have a lot of trouble but i guess you guys uh are braver than that I have definitely wiped a few times on that big pull. <laughs> Feel you like an inflation artist. Hey, these are my own jokes against me. Go. 
only dungeon I've actually been worried about healing is Doma Castle. An aggro tank can get a lot going there. Yeah. I don't remember how tough Doma Castle is. But I remember one, I was trying to do wall-to-wall -wall pulls, and the, the healer rescued me. <laughs> uh, I felt a little bad when that happened. Yeah, Batsquatch. I love pool, big pulls in Doma Castle. I like big pulls too, both as a tank and a healer. But I don't know, I guess some healers are too scared. Some healers are too scared to, like I ran into a healer in like, I don't remember what it was, in, in a Heavensward dungeon that would purely only heal, like, and I was like, hey, uh, you mind taking any tips? And they were like, only use Cure 2. I'm like, no, the opposite. Don't only use Cure 2. Oh, F Zeke. <laughs> Wait, no, it's the Google Library. It's the great Google Library. Um, and like, they stayed far away from me. Like, because I was doing big pulls and I was like, hey, wow, these mobs are taking a long time, but it's because of the healer was staying far away, but they seem to be open to, uh, to feedback, luckily. I was very happy to let them know, like, hey, you should use Holy. Use Holy more. If you're, if you're a new white mage, use Holy. It's really good. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have stood there. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. All is well. Why would you not use holy? I guess coming from other MMOs, you would think that white mages are only supposed to heal, probably. They're too scared. They, like, the healers are too scared and they feel as though everyone needs to be topped off at 100% all the time. And they don't understand that, like, people are just going to regen that, you know? They're just going to regen the health. You're fine. Oh, well, uh... I think we can do it. You and me, Zeke. You and me. We can do it. I believe in us. I've got the Black Knight. I'll be fine. Yeah, LB. Uh, that might help. Oh, oh, Zeke, no! It's up to me! It's up to me! I gotta stand away from that. I believe in me. I have a heal. There we go. Oh, shit, Ripper Fang. Oh, jeez, I don't have Blackest Knight. Oh, no! Ow! Seven <laughs> percent. Oh, that, I'm not gonna survive that. No way. Ah, oh, five percent. Okay. Close. Close. Living dead. It would have just prolonged me being dead. Living Dead would not last me 5%. If I was a paladin, I probably would have survived, yeah. I would have been able to heal Zeke. Oh, the music's still going. Oh.
Yeah, bosses are immune to stun. I, I can't stun them. Is this a bug? This must be a bug because this music was added in 5.2. <laughs> Alright, I believe in us. Remember, every time you wipe, you're better at the game. Alright, here we go. time my blackest knights better he's gonna do oh no, that's fine what dark missionary there we go that's how <laughs> that's how batman likes to have sex So you can actually tell where those things are going by how they're oriented on their shadow. I think, anyway. Bye, Phalanx. Thanks for joining in the stream. Yeah, so if you look at them... Wherever they are to the closest edge of the shadow, that's the opposite of the direction they'll fall. So see where that... It's going to fall this way, this one. See? Yeah. Is Dark Knight an easy job to learn? Ah, uh, middling. I would say it's middling. If you read your tooltips... Now, people have said on the crap guide that reading your tooltips doesn't always tell you what to do because some of them are confusing, but, like, when you're... In my opinion, if you're getting skills one skill at a time, it shouldn't be all that bad. You know? If, if there's... If one skill... Like, because as you're leveling up, you only get one skill at a time. You know? So you only need to know that one skill once you get it. It's when skills get replaced. That's true. That's true. But even still, I think the majority of the tooltips are pretty self-explanatory. It's my opinion, though. But I know it varies from job to job, but uh, Dark Knight is definitely a job that the tooltips are easy to understand. It's still, yeah, it's still better than not reading it. I don't know what, you know, the, uh, what people are saying when, when they're like, uh, that's not true when that, when, but it's like, but you should still read them. It's like, reading your tooltips will be the best way to, uh, learn your job. And then people are like, yeah, but some of them are confusing. And I'm like, should you not read them though, then? Like, does that mean you shouldn't read them? Obviously not. You should still read them. Even if they are confusing. Reading them is better than not reading them. Mm -hmm. 
looking at boosted WoW Refugee. Listen, I I am a proponent for boosting. I boosted Dark Knight, and I think I play it just as good as I would had I not. Like, there, nothing's wrong with boosting as long as you learn your job. I'm probably going to boost Monk. You know? But you know what? I'm going to learn it properly. I'm going to check my skills, learn them one at a time, use the striking dummy, you know? Is there any downside to boosting? Uh, well, I mean, you'll have a level 70 job that you have no idea how to play. That, for one. But I'll show you guys. I consider myself, like, someone who's pretty good at learning how to play a boosted job. And once Endwalker comes out, I'm gonna prove it with Monk. Great for all classes? Yeah, exactly. Plus, I got things I gotta do. Like, I don't have job... I, I don't have time to level every job from 1 to 80. Most class types play similar enough that you can boost Dragoon if you did Samurai and be okay. Yeah. If it's of the same role, odds are your skills will translate. This is the more nuance of the job. Is uh... Oh, I love this Gunbreaker gun. Look at that. It's like a cleaver. It's like a saw cleaver. There's a Light Warden. Here we go. Looks like a chain sword from Warhammer 40k without the saw part. Yeah, looks really cool. out of heaven instead of cat out of hell Ooh. come back I should dark I should the blackest knight somebody whenever that's on them that would be smart look at him he's got like a mandrel face Mega servers, yeah. Arm's length. Hey, it works. Arm's length works. Oh, look at that. center yeah nice yep you want to look at the heads for that one oh minori oh i should have put the black oh well oh, nice jump That's a bad place to put poison. Okay, well, that's on me. That's my bad. Stand over here. Shoot. 
Nice! Minori did arm's length. Rend. Who's got it? Who's got it? Oh, I can't. The blackest knight you. That's right. You want to run from that, buddy. Confession faith. Uh, Minori, take this! Hey, I got it in time. Just, the thing hurts. Got a phone stack. Oh, okay. Whoops. I guess I didn't do that right. Whoopsie. Whoosh, that hurts so much. Almost there, 4%. No more poison for you! I stood in the fire. I see, I see, I see. Gotcha. I didn't look at his face. That was my that was my problem. <laughs> the toe beans. Alright, thank you everybody. Thank you, Minori, Zeke, and Kazran. Ooh, Samurai Sword. Uh, all right, can I, no disrespect to katanas or anything, but can I be real for a second? So many katanas look the same, but I guess the style of sword is so very specific that there's not much you can do with it. They look very similar in my opinion. I'm hard-pressed to find a katana that doesn't look, you know, the same. All right, anyway, thank you, everybody. Then again, what can you do with a katana, you know? Overrated? I think they're rated just fine. I just think a lot of them in this game don't look very enticing. There are some very cool ones, but a lot do look the same, yeah. Well, because, like, katana, it's all due to the just characteristics of a katana, right? It's like, it is, you know, the characteristics of a katana is a long blade, and there's not much you can really do with it. Yeah, if you modify a katana too much, it's not a katana anymore, yeah. Careful, you summon Gaijin Goomba. Gaijin Goomba himself told me that katanas are not very good swords. So don't be mad at me if I say they're not good. Which I didn't. Be mad at him. Yeah, what does Gaijin know about Japan? He doesn't know Japan. Nothing. Nothing. Anyway, I ate that mandrel Cerberus thing. Delicious. And bring the knight back to Raktik. The Light Warden is dead. The Blessed's prayers have been answered. Aye, that they have. His condition yet troubleth thee? It does. Though he shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. He must be told. Would you describe it to me, Marie-Ange? Paint for me a picture with your words. A sea of shimmering stars, 
diamonds strewn across a raven gown, boundless and beautiful. Tis an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source, calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. Thou is touching mine ass. Well fought. Let us return home. <gasps> Dan! Look, it's another Dan, everybody! I had a Dan earlier, and here's another Dan. It was a Dan that was a guest on the show. The Murals. Thank you for tuning in. If I am not mistaken, they predate the Empire. How can you tell? A peculiarity of the paint. Most are made from mineral-based pigments. But whatever was used here is older than anything I have ever seen. Aw, you've been watching? Aw, I'm glad. Shout out to all the lurkers in the chat. I know you guys don't talk, but I appreciate your presence nonetheless. According to Almut, this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients. What events do these murals commemorate, I wonder? Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. Come to lead us to safety, have you? <laughs> I was bored. But how is the hero of the hour? Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. Thanks. You're plotting something. Every hour of every day. <laughs> but never you mind about that. As I have told you a thousand times before, I like to watch. Nothing more. Well, I would quit this place and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. You recognize these scenes? That I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections. Sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. A vision shared of a paradise lost. Preserved only in song and scripture and pain. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again, to look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. Before the great sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name. 
and by his grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin. She who was to serve as his shackles. To bind him and hold him in check. And so they fought, and they fought, and they fought. And in the end, Hydalin was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. Right, that is definitely the same story that we know. She's been keeping him at bay. But what makes your perspective unique, Emmett? That concludes today's lesson on long forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wont. So, the Zodiac versus Heidelin thing, we kind of knew, but we didn't know that beginning part. We didn't know that Zodiac came first, apparently. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But... What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh... Oh... They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Assians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> finally, finally you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. Funny, that phrase was said to us by uh, Varus as well, when we were in the war room, having a parlay. We Assians know because it is our history, our story. It was we who summoned Zodiac, we natives of that sundered paradise. Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world, for our people, for all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same? Nice flick at the wrist. And yes, as some have noted, for some reason, someone decided to put that scene and that reveal in a trailer. But luckily, I did not see that trailer, so I was able to see, uh, to hear the reveal of that as it happened. But yeah, so, uh, Hydaelyn and Zodiac. Hydaelyn was the one that came second. Zodiac was apparently summoned by the Assians to protect them from calamities. And apparently Hydaelyn was born of conflict between the Athians and thus destroyed or at least held Zodiac at bay 
destroying Asian civilization. According to Emmett. That was an enlightening experience, though not in the way I had hoped. Do you suppose there is any truth in Emmett Selk's claims? The recent events plainly warrant further discussion. I think it best that we wait until Alphano and the others are present. Emmett Selk included. How convenient that he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. Well, no matter. For the present, we should return to Fano and make certain of Yul Morin's, the Yul Morin's withdrawal. After that, Slitherbow. The Blessed are no uh, doubt elated by what has come, become of the sky. Uh, we're nearly done. Nearly there. Nearly at the end of part one. Also, I love the nighttime version of Lahi. Ten hours. I think this is going to be the longest stream yet. Usually they're around nine hours, but this one's gone a little longer, I guess, because of my guests. You are returned and unharmed, I see. Indeed, I am pleased to report that the Light Warden is no more, thanks to a large part, a large part to you. That death of a single Sin Eater should make such a different difference. As our numbers waned, so too did our hope that the ruins we have devoted our lives to guarding would ever find purpose. Yet here you are, the allies for whom we have waited these many centuries, and with your arrival came the chance to pass our legacy, the ancient wisdom of the Empire. That alone would have been reward enough. Never did we imagine it would serve to banish the light that pervaded these woods. On behalf of the Vis, our forebearers, and the late Emperor of Ronka, you have our deepest thanks. It is we who should be thanking you. Our journey through Katana Ravel proved most enlightening. To be privy to such knowledge is an honor, one of which we never hoped. Please, you need not be so humble. But we do our duty as decreed by the late emperor, should that he were still with us to express his gratitude in person. But sister, uh, does this not mean our duty is fulfilled? To our allies, perhaps, but the ruins cannot be left unguarded. So long as we live here in these woods, the secrets of Ronka must not fall in the wrong hands. Is Runar still here? No, we escorted him back to Slitherbow shortly after you set out. If you would return to the Knights Blessed, we will not keep you any longer. I suspect they would be glad of your company. First time catching a stream live? Hey! Thank, thank you, Almet. I look forward to a day when you might share a more leisurely visit to the ruins of Ronka. We will await your return then. Alright, back, back to Slitherbow. Alright, here we go. Alright, disband this. Runar! Good boy! Ah, you are returned, and none the worse for wear, I see. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Yomoran soldiers, more importantly? They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. The children of the Everlasting Dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. 
try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. Ah, that's good. The sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. You are the bringers of shadow. The warriors of darkness. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. I suppose you're not entirely wrong, but we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say, but please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. <laughs> I'm sorry, Runan. But there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts, as we will hold you in ours, now and ever after. By the boundless dark, this I swear. pains me to leave, it is time I returned with you and the others to the Crystarium. But before we go, might I speak with you in private? I will await you in my chambers. Uh... Listen, Ustola, I'm sorry, but I don't like you that way. Thank you for coming. I thought to keep my suspicions to myself, but after witnessing your victory in Raktika Falls, I fear they proved true, and so I must share them with you. From the first, when we met at Fort, uh, Fort Gone, your ether has appeared tainted, suffused with the o an overabundance of light, not unlike the Sin Eaters. When you defeated the Light Warden, I fear the light which poured forth from it was not negated by Heidelin's blessing. Rather, it was absorbed into your being. Oriange also suspected as much, though he is unwilling to share his thoughts on the matter. One thing is certain, with every warden you defeat, the danger to you grows greater, greater perhaps than we can imagine. If you begin to feel anything strange, anything at all, pray inform me at once. You should hurry, before the others begin to worry. Once I have sorted my things here, I will join you. Oh, thanks for being straight with me, Yushtola. I'm sorry, it it wouldn't work between us. I'm sorry. Wait, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Right up there. Lind? Yeah, sure, I'll add you, Lind. took one last patrol of the perimeter. All things considered, Slitherbow remains relatively unscathed. Thanks for the antidote. Uh, thanks to the antidote, all the, those who are poisoned will make a full recovery. 
and with the night sky returned, their prayers have at last been answered. Ma, 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 I am so smart. Let me say my big words. Oh. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Shall we be off then? Art thou certain this is best? Also, once again, my timing is nice. It's nighttime. I'll not deny there is a part of me that wishes I could stay. For two years I have lived with the blessed, learned that culture, even going so far as to adopt Master Matoya's name as my own. I but pray I did honor to it. Now is not the time for doubt or hesitation. Come, we must return to the Crystarium. Yeah, Matoya's theme. Back to the Crystarium, back home! Can't wait to talk to my boy. Too bad it's cloudy. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. Whoa! Enchantress Ar Aurora! Whoa! You broke- you, you nearly broke my, uh, my notification. Sorry for those who heard that beginning. Yeesh! Thank you for gifting 20 subs. That's a sub bomb. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. That is much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, the, the notification went... <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you, Enchantress Aurora. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. All things considered, it is hardly surprising that Alphano and Alizé have yet to arrive. But where's the Exarch? My friends! Tis good to see you all again. Hey, there's the boys. Alphano, it has been too long. I assume your presence here means you've uh, brought word of the Warden hiding in Raktika. Not just uh, learned of it, we killed it. Found and slain, you say? I should have known. Ilmor has but recently dispatched soldiers to all corners of Norvrand to defend them. I am glad to see their efforts were wasted on the Great Wood. Speaking of Ilmor, what came of your meeting with Volthry? Yes, about that. I, it proved to be... Uh. Exarch, you mustn't push you, yourself. Your time away from the tower has clearly taken its toll. No doubt you are all tired as well. Having travelled so far, why don't we all take a much-needed rest before we discuss our findings? I thought to propose the very same. After your clash with the Warden, you deserve a chance to recuperate. It's settled, then. We will reconvene after everyone has had time to settle in. Hey, sleep time. Shadowbringers is the first, like, real expansion where we consistently get time to rest. You know, that's not interrupted by something else. It's like, ah, oh, we should rest. And then we do. Like, in canon. Not just implied, and then, like, implied we rested between quests. And it's kind of nice. It's nice to come back to a nice resting spot every now and then. Come back, sir. Yes. Ba, 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 ba. Somebody's taking a train to the sleepy time junction. The pacing of this expansion is good. Oh, absolutely. Hey, Edward. So there's a light sealed inside you, is there? You wouldn't know it from the outside. You look the same as you ever did to me. Hmm. And what if it does? What if that changes? What if it overwhelms me? What if I grow a weird face hair? 
I'm damned if I know. It's not as if I can lift a finger to help myself, much less you. Have faith in your friends, look out for them, and hope that they look out for you. What more can you do? I guess that's true. Think he was telling the truth? Emmett, I mean. All that rot about Heidlin being no different from any other primal. If so, what would that make her blessing? Are we just slaves to her will? That is concerning. How would we know? Ah, let's pay him no mind. Lies the Asian stock in trade. Well, it doesn't sound like... I mean, it sounds possible. Villains, heroes... All a matter of perspective, they'd have you believe. One man's fond memory, another's waking nightmare. And no, I did not draw Light Warden uh, Victor, but that does give me an idea. Me, I'm no saint or savior. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, it felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. The quiet after the storm. I always took comfort in that. Hmm. Meanwhile, in Garlemald. Our first look at the actual city where the Garlina Empire resides. I wonder how much of these models will be reused, how much of this environment will be reused in Endwalker. Oh, oh. What did the scouts have to report? Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. Oh god, they're so cool! A stalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to hold the line for so long. <laughs> but then they did have Ishgardian reinforcements. Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Tis but the calm before the storm. And sh To say nothing of Black Rose. All the more reason to hasten our search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough. Though I have received some troubling intelligence. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. Odd. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. Were I a betting man, I would say here, in the capital. Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning. But a corpse might, given the right encouragement. Mm. In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host, so the question becomes who? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done. Bloodless games make for poor sport. Mayhap if father... Nay. I am a stranger to him in this body. Besides, there is but one hand that can make me whole again. My enemy. My friend. Hello, Xenos. 
the real Xenos. I know not what entertainment occupies you, but if you will not clear the way for me, then I shall seize the reins of fate once more. Did they ever explain this? No, but it's like, it's... He, this is Xenos. It's got his voice, and it's got him saying, you know, my friend and all that. The hunt. We know it's Xenos. They're not hiding it. But how the Echo? He got himself an artificial Echo. That apparently allows him to body jump. going on oh geez is this gonna be an 11 hour stream oh god I've completed Shadowbringers part one yes oh thank god yes a cliffhanger oh thank goodness okay part one of Shadowbringers oh god that was longer than I expected yeesh Okay, thank you everybody for joining me. I'm gonna call the stream there. I'm sorry, no, no pomp and circumstance or uh, s celebratory or, or much ceremony to this ending, but I am starving and it's late. And uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, I don't actually know if I'll have time, seeing as how long this took, I don't actually know if I'll have time to do all of the role quests on stream. But uh, part two of Shadowbringers, we start Friday be there after thanksgiving i hope i hope you all have a wonderful thanksgiving uh i hope you'll join me wednesday for the next session of necro hunt let's find someone to raid shall we um let's raid our good pal connor shall we he's a voice actor uh connor mckinley also goes by distortion devil he is playing the Banner Saga, which is a wonderful little indie strategy game made by a bunch of people who used to work at Bioware. Uh, Distortion Devil. Uh, what shall our raid message be? What do you think? What do you think our raid message should be? What do you guys think? Lahi? All right, Lahi. Everyone shout Lahi. Lahi! All right. Bye, everyone. Good night. Lahi.